Ah, yes, a lovely mishmash of music here. Gonna slide that down a little bit. Hypercole kills Ryu with kindness and bullets and says, My birthday is here, John. You can't escape it, John. Also, as of a few days ago, it's been a full year since you hired me as an editor. I'm very grateful for all the great experiences I've had with this community. Thank you, everyone. Happy birthday, Cole. Also, you you didn't have to Ryu, but thank you. You didn't have to donate at all. Literally, I, all you're doing is giving me back my money I give you. <laughs> but thank you. Happy birthday. Hopefully it has been a good one. However, you did say a while back that whatever game I play on Game Clearing would dictate how well your year's gonna go. And, uh, this may not be the best sign. Because today we are playing Home Alone 2 Lost in New York for the Super Nintendo. And hopefully if we beat it fast enough, The Simpsons Bart's Nightmare. So, uh, both pretty mean games I used to play as a kid. Both not exactly considered uh, good games. So uh, we'll see what happens. This is the concierge of the Plaza Hotel. Dot dot dot. This is Tim Curry, by the way, on screen. You can definitely tell. Well, I mean, you can kind of tell it's him. I'm alerting the other hotels around. There's a little vagabond using credit cards. His name? Kevin McAllister. Sorry, Kevin MC Callister. The sickest DJ around, five feet of trouble, blonde hair, blue eyes. Meanwhile, on the other end of the phone. Calling for Lefty Louie. That you, Louie? This is Harry. What? I can't do a good Joe Pesci, sadly. Yeah, the simp, uh, Marv is still with me. What? Yeah, I know. I know. Look it, never mind about that. <clears throat> I'm calling the guys from the gang. Me and Marv need some help to bag a wise Alec punk. Listen up. Here's what we do. I am listening. I'm listening. What are we doing? What are we doing? Are we getting rung like a cowbell? Is that what's happening? Are we getting rung like a cowbell? Is that, is that what I'm waiting for? Game over. That's it, we already, we already lost three lives. So, one of the weirdest things about this game, and I distinctly remember this as a kid, is how brutal and easy it is to die in this game. All right, the buttons are reversed in this one. So Tim Curry's character here is one of the ones that can instant kill you if you're not careful. Just an adult can just grab you and murder you. But now we have the screw attack, so now we should be at least a little more safe from enemies. We can pick up cookies and pizza, slide on our knees into luggage, and that's basically how this whole game is gonna go down, is we have to do a bunch of various things to make sure we stay safe. Certain things will kill us no matter what. We can get weapons like this dart gun, but then things like this vacuum cleaner will kill us instantly, so we have to be very careful. We can also go into stores. And usually you want to do that because stuff is hidden everywhere. Just jumping around usually reveals something like this machine gun. In fact, don't be surprised if I miss a bunch of pickups because this game just has a lot of stuff in it. Can I screw attack through you? Yes, I can. Cool. All right, as long as we can hang on to the screw attack, we'll be okay. It does make most enemies pretty trivial. Also, there's some way to get up there. I don't think I ever figured out how. Ah, damn it, and there goes the screw attack. 
At least I think you can get up there, because there's some things I can't reach. So what part of this actually resembles Home Alone? I mean, it, it actually is based off of Home Alone too. So like, it's in the, the hotel, and then the rest of the stages are based in New York. They're all actually locations from the movie, just taken to an extreme. Uh-oh, hang on, the cops are here. Oh, is all, all I have in here ammo? Damn it. Gotta be careful with him. He's another guy that can ring a cowbell. Cowbells are a major threat to Kevin McAllister. Oh, the floor is closed. I can't go in there. Oh, no! Okay. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Get out of here. You're literally not supposed to be on this screen. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, we got, we got a problem. We have to ring this, we have to call the elevator as fast as we can. Get out of here, get out of here, Kevin. Oh, thank God, that was actually not supposed to happen. Who's that character supposed to be? Eh, just a random cop. Someone said he's a creeper. I don't remember if there was an actual character like that, but. He will, he will uh, ring you like a cowbell if you're not careful. Do you like Home Alone 1 or 2 better? 1. I like 1 better. <clears throat> okay, so if I remember correctly, the way this works now is that we have to go through... Oh, no, I can't damage him. We have to go through each floor. Oh, nice, we got a 1-up. And then just kind of... We can go around and stock up on items in certain rooms. But only the doors that actually have a no do not disturb sign on them. It's a little silly, but it makes sense. Crap. It's gonna, there we go. The small gun only stuns enemies. The large one will actually kill them, but we need to hang on to some of these. Nice, screw attacks back. Uh, because there's a boss fight at the end of this stage that we will really need the heavy artillery for if we want it to go by quickly. Okay, we reached the end of the hall. Now we should be safe to go back. I think if you go in one room, that's all you need to do, or if it's just if you get to the end of the hall. Let's just take you out. Our health are the little dots above the word power. And uh, we get an extra life every time we get a full pizza or eight slices of a pizza. Is it just one room? Okay. What, are the, what is the goal of this game? Uh, you basically go through the rest of the movie trying to get to, uh, trying to survive long enough for your parents to show up. There we go. This bad boy right here. This one we need to hang on to for as long as we can. All right, more ammo for the stun gun. That's the only thing that was in here. Now, I think they said if I go back to the door now, it's... Or, oh yeah, the elevator's ready, but I'm gonna go check the other doors just in case there's equipment. Or one-ups, because we could use... I know one of these rooms has a full pizza in it. Oh, shit, it's Tim Curry! Tim Curry! I'm sorry. I loved you. Oh, all I had was cookies, damn it. I ordered Tim Curry just for cookies. Nope, that's all I was here, damn it. Pizza slice. More cookies. Nope, that's it. Damn it, what floor has the pizza in it? Excuse me. Actually, I had the screw tag. I probably could have just done that to him. Oh, well. <clears throat> I 
Is Tim Curry too strong to kill with a screw attack? Yes, he is very powerful. He cannot be killed by mere flipping into him. Any character that can just kill you instantly with a grab move cannot be killed by the screw attack. It's just a case of trial and error of realizing who can do that, which is kind of a bummer. Like this lady, she only does one damage otherwise, so we can do that. That cop will instantly kill us if we're not careful. I think the lady who throws the pillows I can use the screw attack on. Man, it's just one item in every room? For some reason, even though I knew it was a NES or SNES game, this is not what I thought a Home Alone game to be like. Uh, these games were a little odd. I played the, um, the first Home Alone game for the SNES the other day. I hadn't played it before. It's, a uh, crap. It's, well, it's also that. Uh, it's very interesting. Oh, shit. Ah, we lost our life. Uh, but I do actually want that power up. So let's go ahead and get that back in our inventory. Well, the screw attack's gone again. And I don't think I can hurt her with, with the knee. Nope. Probably should just be using the the pearl necklace to take them out. Ah, oh, thank you. There we go. Got it back. I wonder if the one-up I was thinking of, I wonder if it only shows up if I also have the screw attack and find a second one. Maybe that's what it is. That wouldn't surprise me at this point. <clears throat> I just remember playing the first one and that one's kind of wild. Oh, dude, like the first SNES one? is, like, I played it for the first time, is weird. Like, it's not the movie. Oh, crap. It's not the movie at all. It is literally, like, it happens, like, a year later. Uh, the Wet Bandits are out of prison, and they're getting revenge on Kevin, who is again home alone. Like, somehow his parents left him alone again, and he has to guard the house from them. Uh, but this time around, like... Kevin, or sorry, I can't even remember Joe Pesci's name. But either way, the Wet Bandits bring back, they bring backup, so they got like a whole gang with them. And you have to find every item, like every expensive item hidden in your house, and apparently your house has four wings. Harry and Marv, thanks, thanks chat. So yeah, you have to, you have to stop Harry and Marv and their whole gang from stealing things in your house by picking them up and then dropping them down the laundry chute and then going into the basement and putting everything into a giant vault. It's really weird, but it kind of has the best you lost a life screen out of any game I've seen in a long time. Hang on. I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you here in a second. I'm sure I can find footage of it pretty easily. I think AVGN also showed it off, so if you watch enough Angry Video Game Nerd, you've seen it. Damn it, I swear one of these has a pizza. I am running out of rooms to check, though. Uh... The Grumps also played it? Ah, okay. Uh, let, me, let me skim and see if I can find it. I might have to, like, watch someone's review to find it. Uh, so I think any long play is not gonna have it. Yeah, this long play plays pretty... pretty... Uh, pretty efficiently. I don't think they ever get a game over. Or lose a life. A life screen. I may have to ask. Steven made the thumbnail lose a life. Oh my god, they did a first 20? When did this happen? Yes, Dan even says Steven and Chaz did a first 20 on it. Alright, let me let me see if I can find it. Uh, 
Dan, you would probably know better than me. They never played it perfectly, right? Oh, no, they totally didn't. Unless, unless it's been cut out. There's no way that was cut out, though. Have I played the NES version of this? Yes, that was a game I rented as a kid. It kicked my ass. Yeah, that game is hard. All right, I found it. Good. <laughs> here we go. Let me jump over here. So this is from um, Steven and Chaz. So this platforming with these ice physics is... Oh, you're doing it. Watch. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Backtrack a little bit. You got it. You got it. <sighs> that is horrifying. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah. That's okay, the screen. So thank God you start here. When I you lose a life, really that's the screen that happens. You, Scream it, can and you all. Not shoot the bats. Uh, I don't. Why? Well, possible. Oh, hang on. We'll just shoot bats. I, it's there's great. There's no way to adequately describe. It's great. How it's so good. Just. And then I think when I think when you actually close the vault too, there's like a happy one. No. There's clearly. Oh, <laughs> they lost. Never mind. Pick, just a pick. I'm sure they have the actual like you win one here somewhere. I like keep seeing is oh no oh no oh no. Man, I feel bad. It looks like they struggle with this game, and meanwhile, I, I got to the next stage no problem. Oh yeah, here we go. They eventually did get it. Yes. Screams yes, and he's just very <laughs> off in the distance. Oh my god. Better hurt. Hold on to that screen so it's the thumbnail for stream. Ah, it'll happen anyways. It almost always does. Uh, why are we not playing this one instead? Because I didn't play this one in my childhood. I played the NES one, which was also a nightmare. In fact, I would say the, the NES one is way more in tune with what Home Alone is, but also way harder in a way. They just had to use a shot of him in the bathroom? No, that shot is famous, man. Like, it makes a lot of sense that they use that. The NES one is way worse. The NES one is absolutely fascinating, of, of Home Alone 1. It's absolutely fascinating. You have to survive for 15 real-life minutes uh, while Marv and Harry are trying to kidnap you. If they get you at all, it's a game over. Oh, for fuck's sake. Get out of here. But, like, literally, like, you run around, you put down traps and everything. It's really cool as a concept. It's just survive for 15 minutes. It's it's so cool. But it's also, you know what? I have to show it now. Hang on. Uh, here we go. From longplays.org. Home alone -y. Copyright 1991, Bethesda Softworks. Published by THQ. Alright, so the whole point is you run around and you grab, like, traps. If any of the wet bandits grab you, you immediately get a game over. But, like, you just put things down and they keep getting tripped up by it. You have to survive 15 minutes like this. It's, uh... It's kind of wild. <laughs> Honestly. I believe the traps can only be used so many times, but you have to keep picking them up. But you can go around the entire house, and there's even, like, a rope to escape to a treehouse. It's absolutely wild as a game. But it is very difficult, but it's e it, there's like a weird way you have to cheese it if you want to win. It's it's insane. Uh, let me see. At the very end... This is, this is the victory screen. It only has two screens. The victory screen and the you lose screen. And I guess there's a map screen to see how much time you have left. If memory serves me, the actual world record for this game, this is one of the easiest games to get a world record on because all you have to do is beat the game 
without pausing the game and you tie for world record. I believe during a GDQ, there was like an eight person race of everyone trying to get the, the world record at the exact same time. <clears throat> oh, you know what? What I didn't show too? Uh, this damn face here. If you get... <laughs> If you get a game over in the game, if you get caught, this is the screenshot that shows up in certain versions of the game. In other versions of the game, Kevin's face doesn't show up. It's just the fireplace and the oh no speech bubble. It's really weird that there's two different versions and this was what they changed. That was an actually, come to think of it, that was a game I actually rented at least once and tried to beat. So we could technically play that tonight if we get to it, but I already have plans for the two other games we're doing. Uh, that is invincibility if memory serves. Now, there's really nothing here, huh? Okay. Yeah, oh, oh, not only is it invincibility, it's a uh, super fast mode. This is fueling my nightmares. Maybe that's why they actually changed it then. <laughs> I I need y'all to realize that's just that shit was my oh god, that shit was my child. There's the one up. Y'all are just basically getting to see what made me me at this point is shit like that. So if you ever wonder what makes John John, then you know it's weird shit like that. That's my childhood right there. This explains so much, doesn't it, Jess? All right, there we go. The actual elevator we need. The Proton John Definitive Collection? I don't know if I'd go that far. None of this explains your game breaking curse, though. I don't think anything can explain that. Other than, like, ancient curse. So is this how we rebuild you? This is actually my therapy sessions? I thought you guys were aware of that. What would your definitive collection include? Hoping for a vinyl? What would even be on a vinyl from me? Uh, all right. I don't remember if I can use screw attack on the boss. Oh, wait, you're here first. Oh, you I can use it on. Yes, okay, perfect. Alright, you, you done yet? <laughs> you done yet? How many hits do you take? Samus, I don't think you taught Kevin McAllister enough. I'm using the weakest screw attack, apparently. Wasn't exactly the one chosen by the Chozo, but don't think he has a choice. Jesus, come on. How many hits do you take? I know this is doing damage because he's like, he's doing the bent over and he's got the explosion effect. This is correct. But what if he can't, what if this doesn't do enough to actually kill? Sir, I need you to stop existing, please. What the fuck? Can they not be killed by this? 
I'm beginning to get nervous. Ah, shit. Okay, man. Yeah, there you go. I lost my screw attack from that. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't want to waste the bazooka, though, but I think I'm just going to have to fucking use it. That was instant death? Yeah, anyone who can just grab you is an insta-kill. Which is why you gotta be careful. I'm really curious if that's him dodging. No, that's him taking damage. Alright, well, plan B. Oh, fuck! Oh, we're in trouble. Ah, oh, what did we do wrong? Neat! <laughs> Guess that's why that's there. Didn't we hit him with three of these already? Or did we only hit him with two when we were using the screw attack? All right, well, we are super in trouble for the boss. Because that wasn't the boss. Uh-oh. Shit, I did not want to get up here. No, I have no choice now. Don't go in the machine, Kevin! That'll kill you! Ah, this dude just hates his job. He's got a good, good arm, though. Well, really good arm. Oh, boy. Oh, right, the meat. The meat also hurts. All right, time for the actual boss. Sue Chef of Doom! No, I didn't realize I could actually just use the knees on him like this and, and combo him. We hit him so much he lost all his clothing. And exploded into cookies, because of course he did. But that, that's the first stage. We spent nine months thinking we had the worst luck in the universe. We were wrong, little buddy. I wish I could do a good Joe Pesci. We're doing fine and we are gonna do even better. We ain't robbing houses no more, we're robbing toy stores at midnight. We're rich. You wanna shut up, Marv? What's the difference? You ain't gonna talk to anybody except maybe a fish or an undertaker. Oh yeah, doesn't... Oh yeah, Kevin grabs that girl's ass to get out of this situation. Oh, it's like you again, you nerd. Huh, what? Take that, creep, pow! Hey, come back, you kid! Saved by an ass grab. Home Alone 2! Okay, now we have to go through Central Park. Oh yeah, so there's a uh, random guys trying to club our kneecaps in the bushes. They will be trying for quite a while. They're very determined. We need to A, be careful of them because they can just kind of show up instantly and hit us. And we need to try to find some power-ups. If we had the screw attack, we'd probably be fine, but unfortunately I lost it because of the, the police chief. Oh, right. I forgot about this. This is another spot that we really could use the screw attack on. We have to climb the Great Wall of New York. Or at least I think if we climb up here, we get an item. Oh yeah, we can just move forward here. So yeah, let's go back and get some items because maybe we can get the screw attack. I do have the machine gun a little bit. There we go. Take them out at least. So Central Park is full of muggers that uh, hiding in shrubs every two feet. Checks out. I've only been at, at like in like the daytime in passing, so I will take your word for it.
Oh, right, I forgot the hitboxes on these are not uh, the best. Screw attack. No! Damn it. Yeah, sometimes it feels like they just don't work. Okay, screw attack obtained. Uh oh, speed up attained. Full light, oh my god, everything's up here. Hell yeah. All right, so we got a one up. We got a bunch more machine guns. <clears throat> Some cookies. And I guess that's all we're gonna get here. Is the screw attack item the turtle dove? Yes, and that's because of the pigeon lady in the movie. Who is in the movie later. Ah, damn it. Screw attack can't damage enemies on the ground, directly on the ground, and unfortunately that rat counts as one, so we've already lost the screw attack. I also believe there is no way to actually regain health, so anytime we get hit, we just gotta accept it and move on. Oh god. I also don't remember where the checkpoint is in this stage. It's been a while. Oh. Well, I mean, if everything respawned, I'll accept this. I doubt we're that lucky. This isn't terrible. This is way better than I thought it was going to be. Okay, well, that's good start. That, oh my god, is everything back? No way we're that lucky. No, mm. Everything but the one-up, huh? Everything but the one-up. Interesting. Okay, that's fair. That would be a little too broken at that point. That, I think that's acceptable. I'll accept that. How far are we into the game versus the actual length of the game? The game itself is four stages long. Technically, the fifth stage is just a boss fight. But yeah, uh, the farthest I ever got as a kid was stage three, and when we get there, you'll understand why that's as far as I got. The actual, like, long play, not the speed run, the long play I saw for this game is about 20 minutes. But that's going direct ahead, like you know where to go kind of deal. Yeah, this is where the two rats messed us up last time, right? Oh, I can get those guys, but yeah, lost it again. Can really use... Oh god, dogs! I don't remember if those are insta-kill or not! They're not. Let's see, we've got a sewer, which we have to go down. And there she is, the pigeon lady. Who we now have to fight? I forget. I think we just have to, do we have to survive or do we have to take out the doves? I forget. Oh, it's just survive, okay. But for some reason, the ground is slippery. I guess because we're in the sewers? And that means moving is very difficult. Thankfully, she's a checkpoint. Damn it. All right. I have no idea how long this segment even goes on for, but I think after this, we're on stage three. All right, more pigeons.
Come on. How long does this go on for? And we're friends now! Go that way! Okay, bye! Alright. The uncle's house, 12.30 in the morning. Welcome to the maze. This was where my gameplay stopped as a kid. This is stage three of technically five, basically four. This is a maze where each room, you have to take out Harry and Marv. Taking out Harry or Marv gets you a key to go to another room in the maze to again take out Harry and Marv. This happens eight times maybe, I don't remember. But either way, we have to worry about Harry and Marv instant grabbing us now. There's one of the keys we need. The keys are thankfully labeled for what doors they're needed for, so you're not gonna be in a situation where you don't know where to go next, as much as it is wandering around trying to find the next key. Oops, damn it. More cookies. I really could use some more equipment, but I'm a bit nervous about these rats. I feel like we're going in an infinite loop at this point. Everything just looks the damn same. I beginning to think we are in a loop. Nope, that actually was the end. Okay, cool. Really was getting concerned it was just some weird ass loop. Damn it. Get out of here. Oh, okay. What do we even have to do at this point? I know that key that's up on that ledge, we have to fall down to get. I actually remember that. Somehow. But I don't remember how to actually get there. Oh shit. Okay. Can't go in this door. More ammo. More invincibility. Can't go in that door. I think the only doors we can go in are the marked ones. Oh boy, that could have been bad. Crap. Um Don't be a dead end. Okay, good. That's not helping, though. As long as I have ammo for the guns, we'll be fine. The problem is we gotta make sure we have that ammo. Okay, come on. What else we got here for equipment? More pizza. What's your opinion on Home Alone 3? Eh, it was okay. I think that was the last one of the sequels I ever saw. I definitely didn't see four or five or six. Oh, is this the one I have to fall down or does this kill me? That's the one I have to fall down to get that key. Damn it. All right, well, we know where that is now at least. Excuse me. Let's go get that key. What about the British reboot? I haven't seen the British reboot. Out of the way. Okay, straight down was it or? Uh, shoot. Was it here? Yes, there we go. First key. Okay, it is in our inventory at least, so. It just flashes randomly to show that we have it, I think. So let's find that specific line. the British reboot come in? I don't know, man. Someone mentioned it. I figured they were just trolling at that point, but there probably is one. Knowing knowing TV in general. 
I'm just gonna, okay, so that's the door we need, but I'm gonna make sure there's nothing I need to worry about over here first. Okay, there's a Mario springboard, one there. Pearl necklace here. Screw attack's back. I don't think I can use the screw attack on Harry and Marv, though. I think they are immune to it. Come on, come on. I can't screw attack through the sawdust either, so I have to be careful. The house finally run out of sawdust? Good lord. Get out of here. Door number one. <laughs> it's the one I got trapped on as a kid. No way. Okay, I can go through them when I have that power up on then at least. At least there's that. Oh shit, too fast. Is it random the order you get? It must be. Or was it a different one I couldn't figure out? Because there's another one that's like that. So, they slowly hover up from the ground. You need to jump on their heads to reach the key above. Oh no, it lowers the key by doing that. Uh, okay. Just gonna go ahead and, uh... Probably gonna get myself killed by doing this. Nope, I'm out. Bye. Yeah, you enjoy being stuck there. Okay, did we ever see this symbol? No, it's right here. This one. Pretty straightforward. The old two bo toolbox trick. Are they vengeful ghosts? I mean, at this point, I'm surprised they were never killed by Kevin. Okay, a bunch of straight lines. I don't think we've seen that one yet. Oh, there's a one up. Could really use that. Where'd I have the drop down to get that? Looks like it's just after the door we used. Okay. Fuck! Okay, well, good news is it puts us right back where we were. Second movie, Marv would be dead from the bricks. I mean, to be fair, the second movie, I do remember the traps being a lot more brutal. So that checks out. Where do we find Screw Attack again? I guess it doesn't really matter. Because Marv should be right here, although we did take him out earlier, so I think he might be permanently gone. So falling down here somewhere should give us that pizza? Oh, crap! Well, now we definitely need the pizza now. That was shitty luck, but all right, we'll roll with it. As long as we can get this pizza, we'll be fine. Because then we at least, because I believe this game, zero is not a life. So it should be, there we go. Now we need to find a bunch of straight lines. Jackass. Where do we see a bunch of straight lines for a door lock? Yeah, have we even seen that yet? We had to have, right? I think we've gone everywhere. Here we go. Oh, here we go. I think this is the one as a kid I couldn't figure out. You gotta do that. Couldn't figure out what to do because the last time they had them coming out of the ground, I had to grab a key above the door. You gotta whack-a-mole them in by jumping on them multiple times. That was what I couldn't figure out as a kid. 
All right, so from here on out, this should be blind? But I feel like I've already seen... There's a trap I still haven't seen yet. Like, there's like a bowling ball one? Maybe the order's randomized? I don't know. Z was to the right from where you were. Ah, shit. Okay. Well, then. Let's just drop down there. There's the five. Nope, that's not it. I think I'm on the wrong floor. This is just the pizza slice we found last time. There we go. Uh... What? <laughs> Oh, wait, I think I see what I have to do. I think that's what I have to do? I have to get this over to the... Yeah. That's exactly what I had to do. There we go. That definitely should have killed him, for sure. Okay, the Mario block. I think that was floor three, right? Because there shouldn't be anything over here. Yeah, no, that's a dead end. Congrats, you just murdered a man. He'll be fine. Probably. Nope, not that one. Uh, was that top floor or was that this floor? Crap. Don't worry, we can fix him. We have the technology. We can make him a competent man. Nope. Okay, must be the top floor then. Who is less of a killer? Kevin or Kiryu from Yakuza? I mean, neither of them have clearly killed a man, but I think, wasn't there like a, a fan-made movie that like even, I might be imagining this or maybe I'm thinking of just some fan-made movie, but for some reason I thought actually Macaulay Culkin was in it, where he just became like a, like a jigsaw killer equivalent because of Home Alone. I think it was like some fan video, but I swear Macaulay Culkin himself was actually in it. That is real, I have just been messaged. Can someone, if, if that is real, that definitely exists. All right, that corridor digital I'm seeing. Wasn't it just an edit that made all the traps deadly? No, I think it's I think it's straight up like he becomes like a serial killer or something. All right. Uh Shit. Wrong target. All right, let's try that again. Damn it. I'm pretty sure I have to hit that gasoline, then hit the match. Or hit the hit the candle. I was joking when I asked if Kevin grew up to be a jigsaw apprentice. I mean, a couple people have thought the same, so clearly not alone in thinking that. Is this what you meant or no? Rated R home alone? I don't think that's it. Oh, Gex found it. I think this is it. This looks right. I'm gonna mute this and give it a quick scan.
Yep, this looks right. This looks right. <laughs> I don't think I can show this. But I'm going to link it here. This is called Drivers, Episode 1. Just Me in the House by Myself, starring Macaulay Culkin and Jack Dishel. And of course, now that I want to just show the thumbnail, I won't do that. Yeah, so I'm just going to quickly scan this, like... Like, I think it's, like, Macaulay Culkin, this character. So, Kevin McAllister becomes, like, an Uber driver? Yeah, so that's actually Macaulay Culkin. And, like, at some point, like, they... Or I guess not, he's just riding it. I thought he was the driver himself at that point. But at some point, like, someone tries to rob them, and then he, like, captures them and, like, ties them up. I don't want to scan too far, because I forget if it's R-rated or not. But, yeah, like, literally, like, it's just... He tries to torture him like Jigsaw with, with household traps. It's just... It's comedy based, but like also at the same time, it's pretty twisted. So I just don't want to go into it if I'm misremembering it. He still looks like a drug addict. He's cleaned up. This is, uh, so he is a driver and then reverses it. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, this was from Christmas 2015. And like, I think nowadays he looks, he looks much healthier. Like, he, he was at some point, I believe... Wasn't he actually a drug addict? I forget exactly what his full story was, but... Regardless, he had a lot of pressure on him from being, like, a childhood star. And I know that he has since turned his life around a lot. What I've heard. So I'm actually, like, impressed with Macaulay Culkin. God damn it, I cannot make that shot. Macaulay Culkin's most recent acting stint is on American Horror Story. Okay. There's the shot I needed. There we go. And he also was on AVGN for, I believe, Home Alone games. Yes. He actually showed up there. Or was it for a game his company was making? I forget exactly what. There was some crossover with AVGN and him. And that is, yes, you're right. That is definitely two murders at that point. That We definitely just killed Joe Pesci. Crap, I think the door was right there. Oh, it's for Page Master. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. Hey, John, what's next for TRG? Fuck if I know. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. We don't have anything new recorded at the moment. We haven't even finished OJ. OJ's got four boards left. We have an idea for what we're doing next, but uh, that has not been recorded yet. I think we have a little bit of Wheel of Fortune still recorded, and I think we have at least one game of Anticipation still recorded. And after that, we got nothing. Yeah, we need to record... Yeah, Dad, Dan can confirm. Dan would remember exactly how much we have left. Mario Party DS? We can't. We're not in person. Why do we have to keep telling people this? Fuck, I think I need to get to the top of this to shoot that ball. Yeah, that's gonna fail. I'm pretty sure I have to get to... Oh. Of course I can stand on that part of the chair. Why wouldn't I think to do that? It's just low enough to not... Oh, that's brutal. Speaking of TRG, do you have any plans for the 11th anniversary coming up soon? None at the moment, but hopefully we can think of something. The problem is, though, like, with Coliseum so close, we might not do anything in lieu of Coliseum coming up. Okay, cool, it does reload. Sweet. Have I gotten my booster yet? Oh yeah, I've had my third booster for a while. Worst case, you have the Coliseum VODs to add to TRG. Yeah, but we're gonna run out of... What I'm saying is, 
We are going to run out of recorded stuff before Coliseum. We need to do a recording session soon, but Tim moved, which complicated things for a bit. Both of them went to MAGFest, which complicated things for a bit. So we're just, we're stuck waiting right now. We're hoping to record this week, but our usual recording time it, this week is instead a Coliseum meeting to finalize the schedule. So that takes priority. You're at the risk of being out of stuff to post for the first time in a very long time, is what you're saying. Exactly. Normally, we're like a year ahead on TRG videos, if not six months. Right now, we are maybe... Uh, actually, there's no maybe. I can give you a definitive answer. Give me one second here. No, 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 no Sibamato. No Chibamato. Uh, Over the Sea is the board that just ended on Saturday, right? Yeah, so you guys have Dark Citadel going up tomorrow. And that was recorded... September 30th. And then the board after that... was recorded... <laughs> December 23rd! <laughs> so... Running out! Running out right now! Uh, I don't remember where that diamond was. Is that back at the beginning? I feel like it's the only one I haven't seen. TRJ online only from now on? I mean, until we can meet up in person again, yeah. Parsec's not an option. Emil doesn't want Nintendo ninjas to come knocking. We've done Parsec. How else do you think we did Battletoads? Okay, we've made it to stage four. I have never been here before. I have no idea what to expect. Of course, there's no secret there. Oh, yep, yeah, there was a slice of pizza. Never mind. One more and we get a one up. Oh, I am not a fan of this. I thought that was a reason against Mario Party. What, why is there just a blowtorch there? Because <laughs> I can't jump off the rope. Oh, are you just, you just hanging out there? All right. What are... How does that still hurt me? What?! All right, fair enough then. Nice slide, Marv. I stubbed my toe numerous times on the safe stuck in the ground. All right, well now I gotta be insanely careful because I'm pretty sure zero doesn't count as a life, which means last life, and uh, we gotta game over and have to start all over again if we don't get it now. But at the same time, I don't know what's going on in this stage. I never got here as a kid, so uh, this is blind right now. This is hella blind. Jesus. Oh, okay. Good to know. Okay. All right. Whoop! Could really use a one-up game. Like, even just one fucking slice of pizza would be enough. I just need one slice of pizza. We have no health left either. This sucks. This sucks. Uh, 
You're not even gonna give me one slice of pizza. Are you serious? I just need one. No, I don't need cookies, I need pizza. P-I-Z-Z-A, come on now. Ammo. Game, for the love of God. One slice of pizza. Oh wait, did the cookies give me health? Cause I have two notches again. Oh, thank you. Thank you. How hard was that to do, video game? How hard was that? I, I would love just a slice to get even another one up. That would be phenomenal. All right, here we go. The boss fight to end all boss fights. <laughs> we need to get this. Now we have the bird lady helping us. Oh, but we're running out of weapons here. Oh no, I forget how to even tell her to attack. Oh, there we go. Oh crap, we're running out. We're running out of weapons. Come on. I do have three mega bazookas. Uh, it might be time to use them by the looks of it. Is that it? So I'm running out, oh, I'm running out of weapons. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Problem, that's a problem, that's a problem. Oh my god, oh my god. I don't know what I need to do here other than hope that the lady helps me. That's it, that's what we have to do. Three, three hits from the pigeon lady. So it doesn't matter what I do, it has to be the pigeon lady. One hit. Two hits. Crap. Uh, come on. Missed. Got it! Did we do it? Is that it? Is that game? Oh, hell yeah. That's game. And Kevin descends from heaven through the power of pigeons and Christmas. And then goes right back up. Because he's not getting away that easily. Thanks! Oh, Kevin, we were so worried. It's okay, Mom. I'm fine. I know, but have you got something against spending Christmas with your family? Ha ha ha, Mom, you ignored me two years in a row. No, but New York is the best place to be. Meanwhile, in jail, grr, little brat. If I ever get my hands on him again. Yeah, but 
At least we get a turkey dinner. Marv, you turkey, shut up. The end. Ta-da. <laughs> they died in jail. <laughs> Uh, that's it. We did it. Hell yeah. That, I'm not gonna lie, was still faster than I expected us to beat that. I thought we were gonna get a game over at least once. I'm a little surprised we didn't, although we were pretty damn close to not doing it anyway, so. That was a, a very early, yeah, a really early mission complete. Let's slap that in the old spreadsheet then. And it's a complete as well, because there's no difficulty settings for this game. So nice we got it twice, hell yeah. That is six games cleared so far this year on stream. Four of them were revenges as well, and now we're about to start, well, after the break, we'll start game number five. For revenge, that is. And seven overall, hopefully. All right. Let's drop some eggs. Is this a stream revenge or a childhood revenge? Childhood revenge. The two games I had planned for tonight were both childhood revenges. Because they were both games I used to rent back in the day. Oh, this next one, uh, a lot of people I knew rented it, but I don't think anyone I knew actually owned it, weirdly enough. But it feels like every kid I knew that had a Super Nintendo had this game, at least rented it and played it. Has TRG ever thought to do a versus race for a game on the main channel? Yes, but we can't find a game that's an even footing for all three of us. That's the reason we haven't done it. Marv actually comes back in Home Alone 4 trying to kidnap a prince. I can't tell if you're lying, but it's believable at this point. The Marv thing is actually true with the prince. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Totally blind for the three of you would be equal footing? No, it's not. That's why you got the kappa there, and you know that. And how about you play two different games with similar play hours in your race games uh, are familiar with? So here's the thing. So, like, if we... You know, actually, you know what? Here's the best way to put it. There's no game that we could easily race that the three of us are on equal footing. Almost every game I could think of, two of us are good at it and one isn't. It's almost exclusively like that. Is it an NES or Super Nintendo game? Tim and I are good at it. Emil isn't. Is it an N64 game? Uh, it's a case of either the guys are good at it and I'm not, or... Emil and I are good at it, and Tim isn't. And then, uh, depending on where you go there, it just kind of slides around. So, there's no game that I think the three of us could agree on to race that we wouldn't be like, alright, this person has a huge advantage. We could do blind races, but that's kind of my specialty, so I also feel it might not be fair. And again, if it's a retro NES or Super Nintendo game, Emil didn't grow up in that era, he's gonna get bodied. We would have to do something that's like 1v2, which we have pitched that idea as well, but um, nothing's come out of that one either. Super Mario RPG, how would we race that? <laughs> like, if it had, uh, 
I don't think a Super Mario RPG race would work for the three of us, because we're not speedrunners, so we don't know the shortcuts. Maybe a randomizer. That, that could probably work. But Tim's got a lot of experience with Mario RPG randomizers, so he would add, be at a distinct advantage. Uh, and then there's the fact that otherwise, racing would just be, it's an RPG, what do we do? Like, we all the fights are in the same place. Super Mario World? Emil would never agree to race Super Mario World against me. He knows that's a lost cause. Pokemon randomizer? Uh, Tim doesn't really play Pokemon. He has played it, but uh, I don't know if he'd be down for that. And also, eh, for me, for me as well. Bioshock 1. Oh yeah, that'll go great. Shovel Knight, Emil, again, would have no advantage. Like, uh, just, if it's an 8 or 16-bit game, assume Emil has, or at least even themed that way, just assume Emil has, like, no interest or no experience. Ever thought of doing a co-op Super Metroid or Link to the Past randomizer between the three of you, or is that too much for of a stream-ish thing? I think that might be better fit for a stream, personally. But, um, Emil would probably be interested in doing that, since he's got experience with both of them now. And Tim and I can fill in the gaps where he would be lacking, so that's a maybe. Left 4 Dead 2, if possible. I don't think there's any way I'm going to be able to convince the guys to do a proper first-person shooter on TRG. Especially an M-rated one, because Left 4 Dead 2, I'm pretty sure, is M-rated. I would be stunned if it wasn't. Blood and gore, intense violence, language. Yeah, it's M for mature. Fortnite? Oh, man. I would laugh my ass off if we had all three of us playing trios on Fortnite. Absolutely laugh my ass off. It would be hilarious. Doubly so, because I would be the only one who knows what they're doing, and even then, I'm not that good at Fortnite. But it would be funny if they could not do as well as my eight-year-old nephews. That would make me laugh. I would love to pitch that as an idea. I don't think that one's going to happen. TRG versus John's nephews. Oh my god. That's just for me at that point. I'm the only one who gets the enjoyment out of that. I'll push for it. Dan, I love you. You're the best. <laughs> What about Borderlands? Borderlands is not short. It is uncomfortably long in a way. I wouldn't I don't think I could stand pitching Borderlands for TRG. New Super Mario Brothers Wii race. I mean, we're probably all rusty enough we could probably do that. That's not a terrible idea. Would it be longer than Dokapon Kingdom? I forget what the runtime on Dokapon was, but it if we did DLC, yes, it could be. And also, yeah, someone else brings up a good point. Borderlands is also rated M. So I never got my question answered about Mario Party and Parsec. That's because I didn't see it, Colin. You're gonna have to re-ask it. Would you ever redo an older game you played on TRG? Uh, probably not. If we did, it would have to be like a hack of like 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 newer Super Mario Brothers Wii, something like that. Monopoly, that could be done. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna start writing the ideas. I actually like. I'm gonna start writing down. Give me a second here. Battle Block Theater, that is two players, but it is doable. If Battle Block was properly was three players, we'd do it. We would have done it already. So. Uh, Monopoly. 
Sonic Shuffle. Uh, that might be a meet in person one. I forget exactly how good the emulation is for Dreamcast now. Trine, I've pitched Trine before, but none of us have experience with Trine. Jenga or Eels and Escalators? I'm not familiar with Eels and Escalators. Is that just Snakes and Ladders? The new Busta move has multiplayer. I mean, a bunch of Busta moves do. Introduce a meal to Yakuza? All right, if we're trying to pick short games, don't suggest Yakuza. <laughs> that is not a short game. Uh, Jeopardy, um, we did that for a stream once. The others weren't super interested. Emil wasn't interested from what I remember. How does Goldeneye sound? We recorded Goldeneye before. It went poorly. I'll leave it at that. Uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. The online mode of the new re-release of it doesn't let you save local progress which would complicate doing actual playthroughs online, so that one might be better done in person. Define a short game, uh, because RPGs have twisted my opinion on short. Under 20 hours! <laughs> so technically not short, medium. If I'm saying Borderlands is too long, aim lower than Borderlands. How long is Borderlands? Borderlands is 22 and a half hours. Okay, that's just the main story. So yeah, under that. Sentinels of the Multiverse. I, I'm the only one out of the three that's familiar with, actually no, I mean, I might've played it at Steven's. I'm familiar with the board game, but uh, I don't know how the video game version is. I've heard it's all right. I did not realize it was this hard to run a collab channel. When every member of the group has completely different game experiences, it can be, especially when you can't just meet up in person. Like we can use Parsec and emulators to make up for some of that, but sometimes we just don't think of a game until like someone either pitches it or I just or we just bump into it. Earth Defense Force? I've already got that on the list as a suggestion. I want to do World Brothers with them because that one is not M-rated like the other ones are, or some of them are. And I think it's just silly enough to work. I just forget how long World Brothers is. Uh, that's, okay, a couple entries say 12 and a half hours. I, yeah, that's a maybe. I could see that possibly working. How about Dragon's Crown or other beat-em-up games? Dragon's Crown, as much as I would love to do that as a playthrough, will never happen on TRG because of... I don't even think I need to even finish that sentence. Uh, but Big Titty. Uh, Sonic Spinball? I don't hate them that much. Hyrule Warriors? I said a short game. Psychonauts? God, that would be fun. That would actually be really fun. Why not something from Castlevania? Because Castlevania's... There's only one... Is there just one or is it two? Multiplayer games on that. And we... I actually pitched Harmony of Despair. And it... Went poorly in the sales pitch, to put it bluntly. They were not interested in Harmony of Despair. Which made me sad. They didn't like the camera, right? Correct. Correct. 100%. Scott Pilgrim would be fun to watch. We originally were supposed to record Scott Pilgrim back in like 2013, 2014. But when we actually sat down to record it, part ways through the first episode, we all realized I was the only one who knew anything about Scott Pilgrim. None of the others knew any of the characters except for Scott. So... They were like, well, let's order the books and watch the movie, and then maybe we'll know it better enough to do that. And at the time, the Steve, or sorry, the uh, the Wallace DLC wasn't out. So I said, well, let's, then fine, let's wait for the Wallace DLC to come out, and then, like, you watch the movie, read the books, and then we'll have people who know what they're doing. 
the Wallace DLC sucked, and then no one was interested or ever watched the movie or read the books. So, uh, that one got sideshelved again. It is on the suggestion list, but it, it was supposed to happen seven years ago. Dragon's Crown, we talked about this. Big titties got in the way. Actually, come to think of it, is Dragon's Crown teen? Wow, that is T for teen. Holy shit. Blood and gore, partial nudity, suggestive themes, use of alcohol and tobacco, and violence. And then that, that could theoretically happen, but I think that's a stretch. I'm gonna throw it on there just in case. I thought it was M. Dragon mark for death, potentially. But uh, that basically plays like a Mega Man Zero game, and Emil has what might as well be negative uh, Mega Man experience. But I'll write that down on the list regardless, because it is a bit more forgiving since it's a party-based game. Overcooked 2 is already on the suggestion list, but we probably want to do that with Tom if we do. River City Girls, two players. Would prefer three players. Hat and Time Co-op. Is that even stable enough? To, I guess it might be. Uh, that's a maybe. We'll put that on the maybe list. Was Mega Man X originally going to be an LP but was canceled? Yes! No, no, it was gonna be a stream, I think. Oh, no. Uh, Mega Man X was originally supposed to be a full playthrough like Mario 3, but I think I was gonna get him to do it on stream. But Emil game over multiple times on the highway stage in X1, like the very beginning stage. Like I said, Emil has negative experience with the Mega Man series, and uh, it would have been a disaster. It would have been an absolute struggle. So it got shot down. Is Shredder's Revenge out yet? No, that has no release date yet, other than this year. Ratchet and Clank all for one? The guys didn't want to do it. I brought it, suggested it, and they said, it's weird that this is like in the middle of the whole franchise. And two of us don't have any experience with the franchise, and honestly, All For One kind of sucks compared to the rest of the series. So that one got shot down. How about the Game of Life 1 or 2? That could happen. Let's write that one down. I feel like most of the things I've written down are board games, though. Star Fox? Uh, same deal. That was recorded, and it brought up... Well, no, because we did... Wait, we already did... Oh, you mean Star Fox 1. Uh... Maybe? That could be done as a single-player one, maybe. Alright, I think I think I think we're done taking suggestions for now. I think we're done taking suggestions for now, because a lot of people are repeating things that have been said less than five minutes ago and not realizing why I, I said no. So we're just gonna stop here at this point. So let's go let's go drop eggs, let's go take break, let me grab cocoms and we'll come back and we'll start our next game. Case in point, someone immediately said Mario Party for DS, which we have shot down every fucking time, because it needs to be in person, guys, please! Please, I can't cross the border. Uh.
Sorry, I just got out of the shower and missed it. Fair enough, but you were also like the fifth person to suggest it. So it wasn't just that you said it after I shot it down, is that you were one of multiple people after I had shot it down. So just just to clarify for you, Guteng. You in fact, I think I you were the third person I said can't do to, at least. So All right, where is... There's a list. All right. King Monty Anonymous, Ryan Curtis, and Italian Enzo, thank you for the gift subs. Nixbear99, thank you for the brand new sub. Welcome to this All This Chaos. I hope that you've enjoyed the list hour, or I guess the list 20 minutes, at least, at this point. John's been shooting down Mario Party DS for the past week. Oh, it's been a month, at least. It's been, well, it's probably more than that, but consistently, it's been a month. Sorry, I wanted to just Battle Network. Mega Man? Battle Network? The RPG? Or did you mean, like, the GameCube one? Which I can't remember the subtitle for it. I don't think Battle Network would be a good choice. Do I think Emil would be fine at that for Mega Man knowledge? Yeah, no, I think that would go great. But also, yeah, that's worth looking at 16 hours for that, for main and extra. I don't know. I, I, I would put that on the maybe pile at best. Network transmission. Thank you. That was the one I couldn't remember. But also, yeah, I was going to say, most people don't seem to like network transmission from what I've heard. And from what I remember... Uh, I struggled getting past, like, it's it's a hard start for that game, from what I remember. Oh, shoot, I dropped my... I closed the egg list during that. Oops. Uh, thanks, everybody, for hanging out as long as you have and subbing as long as you have. I'm going to skip the list for now, but special shout-outs to Earthshade for 98 months. I thought I saw a hundo snuck in here somewhere, but I think I missed it. N nope, I do not see it. Alright. Your eggs tonight, folks, are courtesy of the following people. I got two eggs here, but they're both from Game Fan, so I'm just showing the one for now. And that's You Did It, Sam! Which again is spoiled by the thumbnail. Courage, mon ami. You must that balloon went really fast into space. Sam probably just passed out from the fucking acceleration alone. Alright, we're gonna go to break. When we come back, I'll grab some CoComs and we will be playing The Simpsons Bart's Nightmare for the Super Nintendo. Another game we're trying to get revenge on. See you guys in a bit. So is that a no on TRG Plays Dark Souls? Correct. <laughs> Whew.
Look, you weren't supposed to pick me. I mean, then you don't have to show up. Did you actually leave? No, no, he stayed. Okay. <laughs> the silence made me think he did for a second. I'm just really good at doing that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I also I don't have notifications for leaving on either. I should turn that on just so I can know if someone pulls that. I aged. Happy I birthday, aged dude. Today. Happy our birthday, done it. Board. I did it. You existed. I existed. Huzzah. Even though you're like nine months older than me, I'm go still gonna call you old man. That, not wait, I'm nine months older. <laughs> Pretty you? sure. <laughs> you just turned twenty-five. Yeah, I just turned twenty-five. Yeah, I'll be twenty-five in nine months. Yeah, you two Probably. are like the youngest members of the team, or like, or amongst. I'm pretty sure we are. I, I think we are the youngest. I thought Camille was the youngest. Uh uh. She's two years older than me. I'm pretty oh. sure. Never mind. Her. Thank y'all for the birthday wishes, by the way. Really appreciate it. I mean, because I remember when I was the youngest. <laughs> You're welcome, Bubba. <laughs> I'm making people. <laughs> we're we're making people in mod chat feel old. <laughs> Sorry. All right, you need games for TRG to play. I have this quaint little game that I think you all know and love. Wordle? It's actually not what you're thinking. It's, it's no. Wordle. You can no, just say it's Wordle. It's okay. Uh, we're, we'll do Wordle. We'll just play Wordle. No, actually, a uh, Fury of Dracula. Fury of Dracula. I'm not familiar with it. It was originally a board game, but there's all it's also on Steam. You're essentially playing the uh the four primary vampire hunters back in the time around Dracula, as one player also is playing Dracula. Four players try to hunt him down while Dracula causes chaos. We say Fury of Dracula is what it's called? Yes. I'm sorry you dipped in. Oh, it's a board game. Oh no, there's a digital one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't make you. I didn't mean to make you feel old. You did. You did, Des. I'm sorry. Oh, I can see exactly why you like this game. I just saw the first couple <laughs> pictures. I'm like, oh, it's one of these. Yep, this is exactly <laughs> up this alley. Uh. <laughs> it is in fact a board game, board and card game, but this is the digital version, which looks interesting. Might be a. Might. Oops. Please explain why do you think this would be right up my alley. I would is, like to know. It is very much a board game. And it is very much a board <laughs> game that if you looked at it visually, you would think was just Risk. <laughs> Here. Uh, this. This is right up Shamrock's alley. <laughs> this this is, like, I saw this, I'm like, yep, I can see why you pitched this. <laughs> oh boy, a map of Europe! <laughs> yeah, I love maps. Uh, hang on, I gotta clean the cartridge. I swear I don't. I don't have a map game problem. I swear. I swear it. Isn't that just ticket a ride? It okay. Aesthetically, it looks like it. Wouldn't even surprise me. It was the same studio that worked on the digital version. But uh, from what I saw of combat, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. That is not like ticket to ride. There are trains though. What are board games? <laughs> what is a board? Is it a, is it a, do you put the game on the board? Is it, is it a board that's supposed to make games? I don't know I what can't, I can't tell if you're trying to make a joke or if you are legitimately <laughs> confused about the concept of board games. <laughs> it is what our ancestors used to play. We call them physical video games. You, you name like 99% Why are we calling them video it? games still? There's no video involved. <laughs> name me like- just say like any like 99% of board games just y y you say the name of it, I'm just like uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> you don't know what risk is. I I don't think I've ever, actually no, I don't think I don't think I know what risk is. We must teach Wait, him actually? the ways. I don't know what risk is. Do we have should we put him through playing risk? I feel like that might be mean. <laughs> oh great. Oh, yes. No. I feel like I feel like here's the things that are a rite of passage as being a kid. Although this has changed considerably since, uh, play Risk and play Monopoly. You don't have to finish it because most people don't finish either. 
but you have to at least know what it is to understand true board game suffering and why so many people move to video games. Maybe another day. Yeah, Maybe. definitely not tonight. I am not in the mood for risk tonight. I'll tell you that. 100% not in the mood for risk tonight. Uh... You guys put two po two choices <laughs> that say yes. That's cheating. Yes That's and yes, yes. Cheating. I know. No, if anything, that makes it harder for yes to win because it's splitting the vote. Yeah, exactly. But if yes, yes wins, it just they uh <laughs> they counteract. Ah, uh, yeah. No, if yes, yes wins, that means it super won because it means it also beat the fact that other people voted for yes. No, but a positive, and positive making. Wait. There's no, three options, Cole. There's three options on the poll. There's yes. There's yes, yes, and then there's no. But for me, a negative, me, yes is a negative, so a negative, negative is a, I'm fucking, Yes no. is not a negative, Cole, you're not even winning this, I get what you're trying to do. It's a negative do. to be. Just because you find it negative doesn't mean it's the definition of it. Yeah, two I'm negatives sorry, can just... cancel each other out. Two positives still make two positives. I'm sorry I don't play board games, okay? I grew up with a GameCube, I didn't grow up with Risk or D&D. <laughs> I mean, I, I grew play up with Iho Cheerio. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> but like D and D is like one of like it's like it's like well, it's not really a board game. It's more just role play, I guess. Unless you want to make a board of D and D, then it would be a board game. I'm confusing things <laughs> so much now. See, this is how much he doesn't know what board games are. He said D and D is a board game. Oh, shut up. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, games I grew up with was like Game of Life, Trouble, Battleship, stuff like that. I had classics. Uh, I had a bunch of things. Um... Oh, and Stratego, which might explain a lot about me. Yeah, it would actually. I I don't think I've actually played a full. No, I played one game of Stratego. It was at a meal's place. Hmm. Because I had like no one I grew up had it. So I never knew anyone who had it. Oh, y'all are judged. Okay. I'm being judged. A lot. And on your birthday, too. Happy birthday. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's fantastic. Happy birthday. Here's a psychoanalysis of your psyche. <laughs> I don't need this right By a bunch now. of random people on the internet. Uh... Aren't you excited? Aren't you ready? Wouldn't you rather we just went back to listing games for TRG suggestions? Oh! By Anyways. the way, has anyone suggested Mario Party DS? I'ma slap you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 my dude says, a man named John live in my protons? It's more likely than you think. Get a free browser check today at CaptainFalconSchool.com. Thanks for the very legit ad. Bad Chechpun says, ready for pain, particularly Bart's Nightmare. I have strong memories of that game myself. Apparently a lot of people do. Because I had a bunch of people like reacting more to that than they did to Home Alone, on Twitter at least. Uh, that 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 Cole with the Ryu earlier. Talcario says the perfect pick me up to a mon to a two Monday Monday. Oh, I've been there. Some Mondays are two Monday. I agree. Uma Cole Paul says yes. I'm here to bring cow of good luck. Moo. Uh oh, Speak speaking of good luck. Here here's bagel. Hey, bud. He's not sure about going out, so he's going to Hmm. You alright, buddy? Okay. You can stay in if he wants. Ew. You just gotta be good. You gonna be good, buddy? Oh, Pop. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta open it up. Are you sure? Yeah. Go for it. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. <laughs> uh, Bramnet says, Luckily, cows do not equal cowbells. That's true. KGK1818 says, John, have you seen Mario and Luigi The Mask? Best parody series I've ever seen. No, I have not. Is it The Mask as in the Jim Carrey movie in the comic book series? Because if so, I'd be curious where that would even go. Needs more cowbell says, all in the name. Xander the Goose says, John, how do I convince my friends to play OJ with me? I'm the only one I know who has the game, and God, it isn't fun alone. Um, first, you have to convince them, do they like suffering? 
and then you pitch Mario Party instead, and then then after they get upset with that, he's like, oh man, I have something way better. Or way worse, depending on which way you want to look at it. Truth be told, if you want an actual discussion for how to get them, you they gotta be into board games, because it is essentially a glorified board game. That's that's it. You gotta be like, hey, here's a board game. Like, there's even a I think it might still be on Steam. You can just buy them a group pack for the game, because everyone needs the game to play it. It's only it's online only, there's no local mode. For multiplayer at least, so that would be I'm your best sure bet. It still has the uh it should still have the bundle. Yeah, give like gift them a copy of the game and then guilt trip into it. That's yeah, there's probably a four your pack. best bet. Four pack for fifteen bucks. <clears throat> Just go send it to your friends. Uh, da, 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 da. A bunch of mission completed by Viper Fang and Fox McCloud. Rio9 says, Hello, I'm Troy McClure. You might remember me from such streams as Fortune Cookie, Bagel Threw Up Again Edition, and Game Clearing Paperwork Simulators. This time we're here to look inside the mind of this young scrapper. What horrors will we see? Oh, I felt the tail. Hello, buddy. Holy shit, there's Yeah, I have a feeling. I have a feeling you would enjoy that one. Uh, Crash Ryan says, Tom Scream, Tom Scream. Zugs Wayne says, Greetings, Protonathan of Jonathan. It is now midnight where I am, which means it is my birthday. And as is tradition, I offer bits of birthday luck. Or for birthday luck. These are the last of my free bits from the long-forgotten ads for bits feature that Twitch stupidly removed. <laughs> Thank you for bringing a myriad of entertaining and meme-worth content. Happy birthday, Zugs Wayne. And yeah, uh, I get why they got rid of that, because I think they were losing a lot of money on that, to be perfectly honest. I'm pretty sure Freebits was actually costing Twitch a lot of money. But I also really miss that feature, too. I'm, I'm with you on that. Even if it barely worked in Canada. It was great it was in the States. Just watch ads on my phone and get some bits. Roto says, with all the talk of game suggestions for Tier G, why not open a suggestion a submission sheet for people to submit to like with game clearing to make it more concise so you have it all in one place rather than during these sporadic suggestion sessions? The problem, the reason I haven't done that is kind of simple. Everyone keeps suggesting the same games over and over. <laughs> so, uh, so if I just write down what's were suggested during a, like a sporadic su suggestion like this, I'll probably get the same list that I would get if I asked a month later. But I have thought about maybe getting a suggestion, like, link put on, like, the website for TRG. I think that's not a bad idea. Even if, again, it will probably just lead to the same suggestions over and over. I will admit, there was some variety this time around. Crash Ryan says, have some birthday bits, Cole. Keep staying awesome, dude. And now we hop to Art Block. Art block is actually pretty short. We might actually get through them all this break. And then after that, it's time to go suffer, which is why I'm stalling as long as I can. Here's another way to stall. Uh, go comfy. I mean, I, if you mean stall, you mean clicked a button. <laughs> there you go. I did it. I clicked a button. Congratulations. Yay! 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 <laughs> From Gabber19, hello everyone! In the next installment of the Pancake Festival Chronicles, the Shin Ramming Incident is brought to a close. In this art piece, Sir Waffle enters the fray, and as a peace offering, he comes bearing a warm, enticing plateful of one of Cole's favorite breakfast foods, which he happily accepts. Now that Cole has his precious waffles, Rosa Dawn can enjoy her pancakes in peace, and the gang can go back to enjoying the Pancake Festival. Now with Sir Waffle in tow. Enjoy! We got, ow, my poor shins. Please, good gentle folk, stop the petty competition, or sorry, stop thy petty confrontation. Is that a waffle god? Hello, Hypercole, sir, waffle at thy service. Would thou be interested in some waffles, my good sir? Yes, please. It's okay, Cole, let's dig in. I should probably go to the hospital soon, though. Man, how hard did you hit Rosa's shins? Jesus. Sorry about that whole mess, John. Let's enjoy this delicious food. <laughs> Thou art welcome, Pancake Lad. Shall we go enjoy the festival? Thank you for your help, Sir Waffle. Yes. Clap, Lick, and Beef Roos just having a good time. Thank you for the the end of the Pancake Festival Chronicles. Gabri, appreciate it. Hey, Rosa, you know that thing in uh, Smash Bros. where Luigi accidentally does a super powerful uh, launch? Yeah, yeah, that. Sorry. It was oh, but just, just to her shins. Perfect. Great. She'll, just to her shins. She, she'll send you the hospital bill. 
<laughs> and she'll probably send it like this. Just like this. From Gaspet. Oh, oh, doubly, because Ryu's here, apparently. Uh, from Gaspet. Missile Pigeon. That is all. That's from Vampire Survivors that we played on Saturday. Ryu, look out. It's a Missile Pigeon. I did it. Watch this be the one time he runs out of ammo. Nope. No, it was not. Nope. All right, from uh, Relic162 kills Ryu with kindness and bullets and says, Oh, heck, it's my birthday. Or it, it was my birthday a few days ago. Let me try that again. Oh, heck, it's the first game clearing stream since my birthday. Time to donate for birthday luck. <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday, Relic. Thanks. Enjoy the birthday luck. All right, where were we on our block? Thank you for Missile Pigeon. And next up. From Junko, Chinese New Year Countdown Challenge Day 23, Took Kid, Bat and all. Cute. Nice done, Junko. Thank you. Next up from Mika. Here's the finished version of the 8 bit Vaporeon sketch I posted on Saturday with ice cream. God damn it, I never got ice cream. Fuck. Now I, I want actually a, do have Now I want a blizzard, but I'm pretty sure Dairy Queen closed or is closing in eight minutes. I actually do have ice cream. <laughs> Damn it. I don't I don't need to order it. I actually can just get ice cream. <laughs> it's very cute, Mika. Thank you. Next up from Junko, Chinese New Year Countdown Challenge Day 24, Miari, Tales, Tales for Agas OC. Tales, would Miari wear something this revealing? I feel like she wouldn't, but I know you saw the picture on Twitter and, and uh, said very cute, so I know you approve. I just feel like this might be out of character for her a little bit. Thank you, Junko. Next up, speaking of ice cream, ice cream from Storm. Half-assed image edit is half-assed, but I just wanted to make something to do with Beefaroo in an ice cream truck after the egg. Also on the puff, uh, Puffieri post, I wasn't bashing Walker. Everyone in the house agrees it's stupid and we make fun of it, but it's just kind of that kind of show. Okay, that's what I figured you were going for, but I was just like, yeah, like, yeah, Walker Texas Ranger is, is the dumbest show, but in like the best way. I wasn't sure which which stupid you were using. I'm glad it's the, the dumb stupid. I feel like that did not narrow it down for or explain it to anyone who doesn't understand what I'm talking about like that, but... It's entertainingly stupid. Also, also, I did trying to do a sprite-based ice cream truck, but uh, it just didn't look good, so I went with method two. Find an image on Google. Well, there you go. Thank you for that, Storm. Gotta Wait. get that clip art. Dairy Queen doesn't close in January, where? Fuck no. Dairy Queen does normal hours. People buy ice cream in the winter. Case in point, me. <laughs> I would do that Actually, in a heartbeat. They usually send out uh, coupons during the winter because people don't buy enough ice cream. Yeah. I'll just have better ice cream. Next up from Reds. Hey, John, here's some rough and quick sketches of Rosa John with various facial expressions. It was a fun exercise to get back into drawing regularly and warm up uh, to working on my portfolio. All right, let's see what we got here. The disapproving face, the face, the huh, God damn it face, the, the little mwah, kiss, blowing a kiss face. Ugh, face, but not as strongly. The oh shit face. Oh god, what do these others do? Face, the what the fuck face, and the eh, that was pretty good face. Nice, all good faces. Thank you, Reds. These are all very cute. Dairy Queen closes in January in the U.S. At least where I live. That's crazy. Yeah, no, they're they're open all year round here. Hold that on. must be a local thing. Need to check. Someone else says it, here it closes in November. So yeah, apparently that's that is a thing in the states. Mm, mine's open. But apparently only in some states. Yeah, even Ailita says theirs is open. Yeah. From tedious Totoro, because of you, John, I've decided to log the games I clear this year, and I've set myself a challenge to do a piece of art for each game I clear, so I can motivate myself to do more art. Well, that's clever. I know a couple people have done that in the community. Hopefully that'll motivate you more and you'll enjoy it. First game, Genesis Noir. I'd probably describe this game as a combination of 2001 A Space Odyssey, Into the Spider-Verse, and a noir film. It's a beautiful four or six hour game that tells an amazing story about the universe. I highly recommend it. Honestly, that sounds kind of cool. I might look into that. But originally when I saw this picture, I thought you had played Exit. Because the character is, uh... Actually, no, because there's no red tie, so that would be the only thing that keep it against Exit. But the, the main character of Exit is wearing, like, a fedora... Or like that, that kind of hat, and he's just all a black like outline, but he does have a striking red tie, and that's the color clash on him. So I guess it's not quite the same. Cool, thank you, Totoro. 
If Dairy Queen only serves ice cream, they close in the winter. If they also serve hot food, they stay open all year. Oh, that actually makes sense. But oh, yeah, okay. no, but yeah, no, this one, like, I think all the Dairy Queens here in, in town are like hot eats, cool treats, or whatever their motto used to be. So I think they're both. From Jasper, Bufferoo version 2.0 went from cutlet to the whole steak in a few years. Still a sweetheart either way, though Bufferoo will end you if you try to eat him. Inspiration for the redesign, a boss from Spyro 3 named Spike. Goes from 2 foot 8 to 8 foot 4, damn. A slight tweak to the Bufferoo design, this time inspired by probably my favorite boss fight of any game from my favorite game ever, Spyro 3. Still holds up so well. Because when the CoCom said they wanted more of Bufferoo as someone whose art is 85% big dudes, I will supply that demand. Fair enough. You got a good old buff steak there, too. Thank you, Jasper. Good job, Jasper. Next up. Cowbell Alone 2, Lost in New York. The back page. And there's the cowbell head. You mentioned being shaken like a cowbell. This is the first thing that came to mind. Now, would this be Cowbell McAllister or Kevin McCowbell? Kevin McCowbell. Definitely not. Ain't gonna stop me. Horizon, the next picture you draw better be like... The plate better be covered in blood because you couldn't actually like fully succeed and it better be like tofu <laughs> instead and then you just see like the looming shadow of bufferoo in the corner being like don't you try it again next up sweet home alone from ryan curtis hearing how the nes version of home alone plays sounded like a horror game and of course the first horror game that came to mind was sweet home so i made this quick edit man the part where daniel stern's face melts off was freaky yeah, Sweet Home was the game that actually inspired Resident Evil, because mm -hmm. Capcom made that, and it's a, also a Japanese horror movie from, I believe it was the 80s? Chat will confirm that for me. But yeah, I've heard good things, and I've only played a little bit of it. Yeah, before there was Resident Evil, there was Sweet Home, the film that inspired the movie and video game franchise. Experience the first true survival horror film. Thank you for the Photoshop, Ryan. Next up. Ah, the bazooka. Versus, oh, I thought it was an Emmy for a second. I thought that was, I thought it was GLaDOS for a second. <laughs> From Chloe, Chloe, and yet the Emmy was still, uh, will still slip on a pile of marbles down the staircase into a hot iron and get like a pool of frozen water dumped on it. I do wish we had a Home Alone that had something crazy like this. In any case, enjoy. I heard the, the Genesis ones are actually different and all right. Like we played the first Home Alone game on Genesis. It was pretty fun. And I think the second one is also pretty different too. I think that one even starts in the airport. Thanks, Chloe. <laughs> oh no! I couldn't resist drawing you making the Home Alone face, especially after you showed the oh no screenshot. I don't think I, yeah, I don't have it up. I closed the damn window. I was gonna pop it back up on screen. Damn it. Thanks, Ditto, for the oh no. And the last one I got here, and that's the end of Art Block and of our timer, so that lined up perfectly. Home Alone, lost in John's game. John is lost in his game alone and he needs your help to get him home, but watch the nefarious punster and toilet man as, uh, or it's game over. What? Have you ever thought of you and Chugga doing two player collabs on your each other's channel since that's what you two originally planned? Can I pitch three games to you? One is Ruby Grim Eclipse and other two you would have to take turns. It's the story mode from my Hero Academia's One Justice and Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. If not, these can, I suggest Turtles in Time and the SNES Power Rangers beat em ups. So teaching Chugga. What? <laughs> so teaching Chugga to play Arkham Asylum. A little bit of a word soup there. I feel like that was a bit of a jump there, Waluigi. Uh. uh. Want a good board game? Play Sorry. I love it. Uh. I mean, that's essentially in Clubhouse Games, so. <laughs> if anything, like, all, for all the board game suggestions, we're probably just gonna play Clubhouse games. Ooh, no. Uh, I already wrote that down. Damn it. All right, that's caught up on Art Block, unless there's something off the refresh, but we'll get to that later. Because now it's time for true suffering. It's time for Bart's Nightmare. Oh, boy. And not Virtual Bart? No, this is easier than Virtual Bart, thankfully. I don't think that's too hard to do. Eh. I mean, I, I also wouldn't call this an easy game. I heard you were playing Uno. No. Get out of here. Trey, no. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> this is not a Uno night. <laughs> Just 
climbs out the window and just was like, fuck! I mean, it's a dream, so he wanted his homework back. All right, if you're not familiar with this game, it is, for some reason, like, every kid played it, because I think it was one of the, not the first in-home Simpsons game, because I know there's a bunch on the NES. But for some reason, like, everyone tried this, because it was kind of neat. It's a cool idea. But it does get really mean in certain ways. We have to collect all of Bart's homework, because it all blew out the window in his actual nightmare. If we collect it all, he has all the homework done in reality. So, but uh, the, the less of it we find, the worse his grade is. So to beat the game, you have to find all eight pages of his homework. And if you want an A+, you also need like some ridiculous score, like 125,000. Like it's a surprisingly high score. The game is also really confusing. Actually, now that I think about it, is there a Simpsons game that isn't hard? Uh, I thought I had an answer for a second, and then I realized I did not. Um, Wasn't there a Simpsons game based that's on a movie? The Simpsons movie is probably one of the easier ones, yeah. It's like, the more I thought about it, it's just like, huh, they're all kind of bullshit, aren't they? Damn it, Otto! Oh, that's gonna miss, damn it. So, this up here is our health meter, all these Zs. This bracket is where the Zs need to go. So you use these bubbles to throw Zs up into your bracket and they get added. However, um, only blue Zs can be added. Red Zs actually pop your bubble. And uh, again, if they miss the bracket, they just go straight up into the sky and nothing happens. Just to show, red Zs pop your bubble and I only have so much gum, so I need to earn more. There's a couple different ways to earn a lot of different stuff here. Actually, I'm gonna try to jump over this basketball. This is a present from me Because that creates a skateboard. Look and if I stay on my skateboard long enough, I actually what? get more health. Well, friends. Problem is, I sometimes I just can't see shit. Again. And that can lead to tragedy. And if I stay on my skateboard long enough, I actually, my health bracket gets extended. Also, Hydroid. Was that what that bomb was? I was looking away. Yeah. Oh God, hi Gerard. Re How's it going, buddy? Okay, so there we go. We extended our health bar a bunch, so now we can easily get a bit more health. Let's get a page of that homework to appear. We skated past one, at least at one point. Uh, shit. Which button is the watermelon? Damn it. Ah, yes, the watermelon button. I mean, yeah, no, seriously, it, there is straight up a button for it. It, like, it's weird. Th this game, as you can tell, is meant to be like a weird dreamscape, and it definitely succeeds on that feel. But sometimes it's, uh, obtuse, let's say. I don't even know what you're supposed to do right here right now. <laughs> right now, I need to find a piece of paper and jump on it. That's my homework. Okay. But right now, I'm also trying to basically future-proof myself here, getting some extra health, extending the health bar, and avoiding getting turned into a frog by Lisa. Although Wait, I'm why is very much succeeding getting run over by Otto. Why would Lisa want to turn you into a frog? Because it's a dream. It doesn't have to make sense, that's kind of the point. The saxophone reverses my controls if that gets me, so I gotta be careful of that too. What if I want to make sense of it? <laughs> well then you're gonna be very miserable. Okay. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Fuck. All right. Well, whatever. Let's find some. Let's find homework. Lost. I would have been so lost in this game as a kid. Dude, as a kid, right I was lost. Like I didn't have the manual. Half this shit didn't Ooh. make sense. So you're just collecting health right now just to have some for later. Yes. Okay. Essentially. Uh, there's eight. There's eight pieces of homework we need to get. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna grab that. Thank you, Skinner. This is invincibility. It makes me move slower, but I cannot be hurt. So he just gets. Is he... This is this is his Sunday school suit essentially. He wears this when he goes to church. Oh, he's okay. a good doodle. There we go. This question mark tells me where the nearest page is, and it's that way. This is a present from me. Thank you for the gift, Subtropic Sky. Try and make sense of a John stream? Yes, clearly. 
well, friends. Oh, I look forward. I think to the suit can take three again. hits, or like if, or if I jump in a mud pile, or if X amount of time happens. I think, I think all three of those eventually lead to it disappearing. Keep going also, to the right. Also, those gift subs were tier threes. Wait, wait a minute. Holy shit, they were tropic. Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus, thank you. I need to make a special alert just for that. Apparently. Those are beefy boys. This game, Gerard's bobbing his head. Gerard, do, do you remember when uh, Austin was trying to play through this damn game? Like, uh, this was an, actually, speaking of game clearing revenge, like, PBG went through this. He streamed it at some point, or did it for his gameplay channel, I forget which, but he also suffered trying to beat this game, because, again, it's pretty obtuse at times. There we go, war off. Uh, there come the bullies. No, 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 out of the way, I need homework. What the fuck's the homework? Damn it. Uh, this is my last piece of gum, too. I'm a bit worried about that. I try to think of, like, what would be considered, like, if any games I would want to play as, like, revenge for my younger self. And it's like, I can't really think of that many games, really. Most of the games that I would have done, I've done within the last four years. That's fair. Oh, that's, okay, these are all a little too close. Come on, come on, line up. Line up perfectly. The only exception is to finish the entirety of Pokemon Stadium Round 2. I never had an original red cart, so I never had any of the imports for that game. So I've been doing it with oh the god. rentals. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I didn't know I could do that! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Um! Um! Why are you wa- Okay, okay, I'm, I'm lost here. Why are you walking backwards? Because uh, the saxophone. saxophone cursed me. So now I'm a frog, and now the only way to be not become a frog is to... I need to grab this gum quickly. The only way to not become a frog is to find that old lady who's blowing kisses at me and get a kiss. Huh. Oh, wait, there she was. Is that her down there? Damn it. Ugh. I forgot how weird the jump physics are in this. There we go. Back to normal. We still haven't... We found one piece of homework, and we flew past it, and we have not been able to find one since, which is unnerving. Looking at the, uh, the how long to be for this, it's, uh, or not the, the, the long play, I mean. If you know what you're doing, you could beat this in under, under an hour, apparently. Oh, yeah, no, the game is short if you know what you're doing. The problem is, uh, most Knowing people that. didn't know what the fuck they were doing. Uh, yeah, watermelon seeds, what button is that? I've been what? told what we have to do in order to win to this, win this game, and yet I still don't understand what the fuck is happening. Yeah. What button is watermelon seeds? Oh, I can't use it when I'm in this mode. Here, let's just... Oh. Run over! The mud actually did not... I thought that got rid of the suit. Somebody run over me! More watermelon seeds. I think my plan for the skateboard has kind of shot us in the foot because now we can't find the easy page. Oof. I was thinking the watermelons are lives, is that not it? No, the watermelon's a projectile. I, the only thing I know for sure you use it for is to destroy the TVs. And that unlocks a page. But we haven't found one in a while. So I need to either find one just blowing in the wind, find a blinky and jump over it, or destroy a TV. None of which has decided to show up lately. In fact, here's another skateboard instead, which I'm gonna uh, take advantage of and regret this, probably. Damn it! Oh my god, why is the jumping so fucking <laughs> weird?! What is this about doors that I'm Finally! The god! Packs? There we go! Homework! Jump on the page... and choose a door. There it is. Let's go for blue. Oh, these are the doors. Each of, these are, each of these are mini games. And we got one of the better ones. Thank God. This is Bartman. Bartman the superhero has a slingshot of unlimited ammo and must defeat pretty much everyone in Springfield. But he has a poo's help who drops squishies. At least I think that's what that's supposed to be. Yes, the perfect weapon to destroy Or, or it's beef jerky. I can't tell which. Oh 
god. Okay. So this is this is honestly one of the better mini games in the game, which is uh, a little depressing if you think about it, but it's it's otherwise all right. So we have to defeat a bunch of different bosses in this mode by just kind of scrolling to the end. It's essentially a shmup, but we control the speed we move at. All right, who's our first boss? It is Sherry and Terry in a hot air balloon. And that's that boss down. <laughs> you can like, you can you can hold it down for charge shots, which gives you distance, or you can just tap for like quick shots. They go like nowhere, but you can rapid fire them. So that's basically what you're supposed to do. You essentially just kind of cover the screen so no one can mess with you. It's it's a little silly. There we go. Got a Z. I think that's some more uh, health meter for out in the actual world again. Gerard says this game doesn't make sense to a lot of people, but if you watch the early seasons, it makes a lot more sense. Yeah, this is like this is 92, so that's like that's what like three season into The Simpsons four. Why is this cloud here? Get out of here! You're supposed to just leave. All right, our next boss is a Barney riding a pink elephant. Why is this cloud here? It is not supposed to be here. It just really likes you. How is that two games in a row now we've glitched something and made uh, and during a boss fight an enemy appear that's not supposed to be there? Same thing happened in Home Alone tonight with the elevator. All right, Barney's dead. Cloud, get off the screen! Cloud's out for revenge. It really is, holy cow. I'm trying to also remember, there's a one-up somewhere I can pick up, because I know I can have a fourth one. This minigame, we get three lives. That's what the Bart heads are. And then the actual health meter is the the Bart meter on the left there. How many, how many bosses are, are there in this? Five. Five, five, yeah. But two of them are refights. If you die, do you have to do the whole thing again? You are correct. That is gross. <laughs> All right, is this one of the refights? It's Smithers! And we're dead. <laughs> well, that was quick. Yep. There's a specific place you're supposed to stand to fight Smithers, and I forget where. Oh, if, 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 you, lose, if you lose three lives in this section, then you yes. have to start over. Yeah, okay. but the problem is, again, Smithers' little darts do two of them kill you instantly, no matter what. So I need to remember where to stand to fight him. Or stand far enough back to shoot that. Oh boy, we're cutting this pretty close. Smithers! He's out of dark, though. There you go, just left. All right, we need to find a one-up. I think these crusty balloons can have one-ups. They have health for sure. There we go. Nice. I think, we did, I think we missed a one-up earlier too because of those. Mm. From Gerard, there's one game where you go into a bloodstream level, and I remember being like, oh no, this isn't The Simpsons. Turns out I was wrong. There's a Simpsons episode about it. It's weird. I do what episode was that? Dude, I don't remember that episode. Like, most of the- you're right, most of the minigames do tie into the show a little bit, but I can't remember all of them. <sighs> one of these has a one-up somewhere, and I feel like it's down there, but I don't know if I want to chance it. If I fly poorly, yeah, that one up was between those two clouds. Shit. No lie, I feel like the, because I never really watched Simpsons that much when I was younger, or really like throughout my life. Or is it the, here? the, the oh, most fuck. like, like I, I think the thing that I remember the most from the Simpsons is this one time, like during high school, where uh, it was during a, uh, it was a, during a literacy class. And a, um, or an AP writing class or something like that. And we were shown an episode of The Simpsons where they literally go to hell. <laughs> and that's what I remember. And here's the worst mm. part is what crossed my mind is which one? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Shit, shit, shit. shit if there shit, are multiple shit, ones. Shit, shit, You have to fight him twice? What the hell? We just said that, Cole. I said there were refights. Completely missed that. Sorry about that. Tunnel vision. All right, well, good news is zero is does count as a life in this game, and that should be the end of fighting Smithers. Problem is, you can probably guess who you would be fighting after Smithers. Oh god, I really need a one-up. There's no way we're beating Mr. Burns with no lie. A poo, please! That's health! That's just health! Ugh. 
really need a one-up. We will not win this fight unless we super cheese it. And even then that'll take forever. For your LA class, your teacher showed you the Treehouse of Horror for the Monkey's Paw bit. Oh, what? the Monkey's Paw episode's just really good, though. All right, so I gotta remember, there's a, there's a strategy to actually, like, making sure Mr. Burns never hits you. I have to remember what it is, because otherwise we're in trouble. I think it's something like strafing down like this, he can't hurt you. Yeah, I think actually that's exactly what it is. Nope, maybe not. What would be the audio equivalent of tunnel vision? Uh, selective, selective hearing. hearing. Selective hearing. Yeah, that's what happened. Which sucks, because I don't want to feel like I'm being rude. <laughs> I've just accepted that I am rude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we might get lucky. We might get lucky. Oh, come on. Oh, he's so close. He's so close. Oh my god. He's so close. Got him. Yo, let's go. That's our first page down. Sit up, Shep. What? As a joke? That's assuming I had good social skills. <laughs> We're back. What the fuck is the watermelon seed button? Oh crap. I got my controls reversed. Oh, uh, but it changes that too. I need that Z. Oh, bye, Lisa. Also, from what I'm seeing with the minigame doors, avoid the green door. We have no choice. We have to. If you if that's the Indiana Jones one, we have no choice. It sucks ass, but we have to do it. Now that's Bartzilla. Oh, Bartzilla's fine. Door. That one's easy. So I was asking in chat, are there continues and save points? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna guess no. No. No, absolutely not. Alright, so it's very short. It's just really hard. <laughs> You're probably gonna spend a lot of time with it if you get a bunch of game overs. One of those games. <laughs> Why do you think I didn't beat this as a kid? Who developed this again, LJN? Uh, Acclaim published it. I forget who the okay. actual devs were. Sculpture Software, maybe? They did a lot of stuff with uh, with them. Oh, Bart. Sculpture oh. Software, correct. Yeah, they did a lot of Simpsons stuff. Okay, so we're out of gum, so we can't get any more health unless we get the skateboard. But I have to jump over the Jebediah heads to get more drops. Are you my brother, Rex Racer? So for gum. Well, oh, wait. we can also just take the skateboard. I'm sorry. It's the orange door. Don't go through the orange door. Bart, why did you turn around? Why not? He wanted to. I hopped on the skateboard trying to go right, and then he went to the left. Well, okay, apparently the game took pity on me. Oh, fuck right. you! Oh, no! God, oh, God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> what a bitch! And this is another reason why many people did not beat this game as a kid. Ugh. This is... Fucking rude. <laughs> yep, it really. Ah, oh, fuck. You also can't jump on the homework pages as the frog, I believe. Oh, oh, controls are unreversed now. Thank you. This makes me appreciate modern game mechanics nowadays. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, let's find out if I can jump on this as a frog. Oh, I can. Never mind. Yo. Uh, oh no, orange? it's there. Uh, is orange the itchy and scratchy one, or is this? No, oh, this one. All right, oh, we gotta talk I about told this one. You. This is the one everyone hated. This is the one everyone hated when they played this game. This is the Indiana Jones segment, which I think has a completely different name. It's like Illinois Bart or something like that. I think it's like another like state they picked for the name. Mm. But uh, the Temple of Maggie is terrible for two reasons. One, every piece you step on moves another piece of the map and if a and if it goes too low if you step on it 
you die. Idaho Simpson. That's what it was. Thank you, Kopaka. Idaho Simpson. Yeah. Um, you only get one life unless you get an egg. If you get an egg, you get a one up, but the eggs disappear very quickly. In fact, uh, let's go get that egg now so we at least have one try. But notice how every step I'm making is raising and lowering these things. If the space in front of you or behind you has a flame on it, if you jump on that, you die. You can also attack enemies with the face buttons. And here's the real kicker. This thing right here, the Maggie idols, they will attack you unless you hold the R button. And I believe this is the only minigame in the entire game that uses the R button. So if you didn't have the manual, you would not know that you need to move the camera forward to make sure that that pacifier doesn't hit you and kill you. Uh, it's an Air Flintstone situation. Use the R button in this one point in the game. <laughs> yep. I See, love the, the music here. That one up disappears really fast. So, I remember the first stage not being too bad. Oh, first stage. How many stages are there of this? Oh, uh, I say <laughs> that, and then I have surrounded myself with fire on all spaces. I actually cannot make progress anymore. Any movement I do kills me now. So oh, I fucked up. what? Case in point. Wow. And yes, as I did say, this is the first stage. This game has two of the Idaho Simpson stages. Hmm. Thankfully, if you, if you beat one, then it's it's permanently done and you don't have to do the other. Problem is, you have to get to, damn it, you have to get to that point. Mm. How was and, the ribeye? It didn't, sorry, go ahead. And as you might be noticing, uh, the space that moves things doesn't necessarily line up with what you would expect. So that one, that orange one just moved that red one. That orange one did nothing. It's a lot of trial and error. Like like Gerard said in chat earlier, you have to memorize which one's the correct one and go the correct path. He is 100% correct. It is actual memorization or just uh, shuffling, I believe. Because I think sometimes there's just a layout that just works a lot better than the others. Oh fuck, oh yeah, and also if he hits you, he moves you backwards. Ooh. Fuck, and I didn't get credit oh. for the one-up either. Come on. That's dickish. But here's the thing. We have to beat both of these if we want to beat this game. We have no choice. We have to play these. God, but I hate when those guys move you, though. So if you die here, do you basically just get kicked back to, like the street where you have to get another page. Shit. Yeah, now if I lose, I get kicked back to the, to the street. We take damage. So if we had no health left, this would have been a game over completely. Oof. Yeah, there's a lot of micromanagement essentially now. God damn it. Oh, come on. Wow. There's so much lag on your whip. So uh, if you press it too early or too late, you don't get any benefit from it. So you've got to be just be going essentially because you can catch him like as he starts his animation to jump over I can't get to that egg in time if you're wondering I have gotten to the end of this one once but not the second one which way are you coming which way are you coming Oh my god, these guys spawn so fast. Come on. Get out of here! Wow. <laughs> it's still not done. We did it. There we it did it. Okay. We did the first one. Alright. Okay, at least they don't make you do both in a row. <laughs> they do! <laughs> oh! Never mind! But if we <laughs> but if we fail this one, we and come back here, we start on the second one again. So it's okay. not its not the okay. end of the world. Oh, but it might actually be, because I actually can't move forward. Uh, oh. I need to figure out which one of these spaces moves that one up. Bottom row. Bottom row? I'm pretty sure it's the bottom row. These oh. guides might have cheats. Problem is, uh, yeah. All right, well, we got the first one. 
Ooh, we got the okay. first one. That's the important thing. All right, so we took a hit from that. We've got eight hit points left. Look, Chad, nope. it's fine. He got a page, so it's fine. Eight hit points, no gum. Oh, God damn it, the saxophone. All right, there we go. That should have that should have spawned a page. The the oh no, it gave us a pillow. That's what it did. Right. Okay. Oh yeah, we need to do that too. Uh, three pillows is a continue, essentially. Oh okay. Three oh. three pillows basically means that if we lose our bracket, they give us a new one. Okay. So there are some insurance policies. But you only get pillows specifically if you jump over Blinky. So it's like very rare. Yeah, rare enough that it's noticeable. What did I even get hit by that? Oh, because I didn't even see a Jebediah head there. And it just wore off. All right. Get out of here. Every time he jumps, it sounds like he's saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. He might be, he might be generally, genuinely. Get out of here. Ah, damn it, I want to keep the gum on screen. Where is my, oh. Where's my next homework? God, I forgot how high the spawn rate is on enemies. Good God. Oh crap, oh crap. So I have to hit the saxophone, otherwise they'll just slowly take away my health. At least it turns them into rats and they go away, so. That's basically all the mechanics in the game at this point. We just have to find the pages and do the rest of the mini games. There we go. Oh, let's grab that. That's a bomb attack. Oh, don't tell me I just barely despawned the homework. Fuck off. Oh, oh no. Wow. Starting to like Virtual Bart a bit more. <laughs> Virtual Bart's more straightforward. It's just the mini games suck. This one is not straightforward at all, but the mini games are mostly good. Uh, let's go yellow because I think that's itchy and scratchy. That is. All right, we're in an itchy and scratchy cartoon. Itchy and scratchy, you're trying to murder us, and they can do that extremely well. We have to be careful. But. We can fight back. I don't know why, as a kid I really like this minigame, and also this song has been stuck in my head since I was a kid. I still distinctly remember this song from this game. I've watched enough Tom and Jerry, I can fight back against mice and cats. <laughs> uh, but what if they start bringing in bazookas? Hmm, that's and, a problem. And, oh no, flamethrowers aren't yet, apparently. Well, we're in oh. a cartoon, so that there means if I just reach around my back, I can pull out whatever I need. All right, if memory serves me, uh, two things. One, fire is an instant kill, no matter what. So if okay. we get burned, we lose a life. And two, I th is it Marge's eyes or is it the lamp? Can spawn multiple one-ups. It must be the lamp. It is the lamp. Cool. Lamp. All right, let's grab this fire extinguisher, because honestly, it's a better weapon. Sadly, we can only hold four one-ups at once, so uh, I can't get any more one-ups to spawn. And then if shit like that happens, then you just, you lose your fire extinguisher. And because we cleared the room, it despawned, so back to the hammer. And we got burned by the vacuum cleaner, so dead. And that removes our weapon, so now we're stuck trying to find a new one. There we go, good weapon. Long range gun. Once again, range wins the day. Yep. Like I said, it doesn't matter if we have full health or not, if any fire from that, from these vacuums get us, or that bazooka shot, we're done. Or that! Uh, what was that? That was a flamethrower that, uh, that one of the characters had. 
Okay. All right, we're done in the attic, and now we should be in the kitchen, which is the end of this area. Oh, you son of a bitch. Ah, ow. The phone's for you. I don't want it. Uh, there's Damn another it. way to earn one up, so I'm trying to remember what it is. I think I, if it's I put out the fire, but I don't think I can do that with the hammer. I think I do actually need, yeah, I actually need the fire extinguisher. Damn it. Oh shit, speaking of, oh god, giant knives. Um, okay. <laughs> Oh! Oh! I- I forgot the cans of coke can- oh, fuck. That hurt. Get the cans, get the cans, get the cans! Bart, why are you so slippery? Oh my- Oh, we died! Shit! The knives were insta-kill? I didn't realize that! I still had health on the meter! Damn it. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure everything in that minigame is just, you die. It wouldn't be as bad if it wasn't for that fact. Yeah, like, it, it'd be fun otherwise. And I know that the, the second healthy, itchy and scratchy stage is even worse. The, the, se the second is one is food. just mean. Damn it. I was about to suggest focus on getting health. You trust? Yeah, I would love to. Uh, they're not giving me many Z's to grab with the bubble gum. There's one. And the skateboard's a good option, but it's got. Uh oh. Okay, good. That works. Ooh. <laughs> no, Lisa, I don't want to be turned into a frog again. All right. I don't remember how fast you even get health in this with this mode. God damn it! Well, we got more health at least, and there's another. God damn it! Cause you can't. Ugh! You lose no. your forward momentum at times, and it cancels your jump, and your jump just goes straight up. You can't. You can't jump and move. You have to be moving then jump. Castlevania rule. Castlevania rule. Yeah. Hit detection is not this game's strong suit. But here's the thing. Oh no, actually, it is straight up Castlevania rule. For some reason, I thought it was still free range. Okay. Ah! Well, we at least got two Z's out of that. Let's let's try to find the homework. Blinky! Come on! Oh, you son of a bitch. That's three. Alright. Auto! Fuck. Well, we lost health on that one, I'm pretty sure. And we're out of gum again. I actually don't think you did. I think you still. I think you were at seven when you got hit. Oh, no, you're still at seven. Also, doesn't help that the health bar is literally spread across the screen. That I is... understand why. Well, to be fair, I, the reason for that is because now I can get any Z's I want now. It's actually really good that it's spread across the screen. Wait, that... I guess we didn't take damage from it, at least. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That did not count as a jump over them, apparently. Okay, some gum, at least. There you go, John. I believe in you. I bet 10,000 points that you won't beat this on stream. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't. Uh, well, John beat this by end of stream. 78% say yes, 22% say no. I should bet my 156 points. Hell yeah. Well, the good news is we're getting points, so our score is going to be decent. We might actually have a chance of getting the A plus if we can beat it. Problem is, we have to beat the game. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn it. Ugh, and I don't get the hint for where in the world the homework is unless I jump over enough, uh, enough mailboxes. Oh, this sucks. This sucks! 
I hate that that's backwards when you're uh, when you're cursed as well. That's just so rude. Where in the world is Homework San Diego? Come on. God, some enemies I jump too early, some I jump too late. There we go. Ah, there we go. Bye. No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, thank God. Oh my God. Uh, let's try purple. <laughs> you almost got run over. <laughs> this is the bloodstream one that uh, Gerard was talking about. Ah, uh, okay. It is basically, uh, Dig Dug. I'm also just gonna preemptively turn on the flashing light warning. Because oh, if memory no. serves me, eventually we have to pick up the Radiation Joe icons, and those are bright. Do I not have the... Why is it so uh, tiny? Why is it so tiny? Pur it's purple door, yes. Uh, it's not and motion sickness. Flashing lights warning. It's just for purple doors, yeah. Uh... Just gonna preemptively turn that on, because like I said. So here's the weird thing. So, um, Bart can be poked by the needle guys, like, I think five or six times. But if a grenade gets him, it's over. Mm. So essentially, anytime you see a grenade guy, get rid of them. Oh, is the flashing no, light as bad as I remember it being? I might have overreacted on the flashing lights. Touch six of the uh, the fusion guys to get another free sheet of homework. Yeah. At least that's what the guy decided. There we go. Okay, there's the homework. Ha ah, there. Ah, there! Oh, no, that's... Okay, that's a bit more what I was expecting. Who's raiding? It's High Wang. Hey, buddy. I'll run countermeasures in a minute. We're trying to... Trying to make some homework appear. Four of them. How many do you need? Six, I think. Six. Go, 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 go! Five. And that makes six. That's another homer piece. Nice. I fucking hated this game as a kid. I hope you're handling it well. Uh, the overworld segment's harder than I remember it being, but we've got three pages so far, and we've got a full bracket. Actually, before I run countermeasures, damn it, never mind, should have ran countermeasures. Okay, fine, I see how it is. <laughs> I'm just gonna go run the damn countermeasures then, game, if you're gonna be that way. I wanted that third pillow, but nope, nope, gotta get hurt by a fish instead. Yo, hi Wang. Thanks for the raid, buddy. Hopefully your stream was good. And yes, as you've seen, we're suffering because we're playing through Bart's nightmare in an attempt to get revenge from her child me who could not beat this game. Bad news, adult me is also struggling with this, so uh, this ain't gonna be an easy win. We did beat Home Alone 2 for the Super Nintendo earlier. We actually beat it earlier than I expected to, so we're gonna be on this one for quite a while tonight. Unless we get really Cat lucky. Chat also missed the very high in-depth conversation about Kool-Aid. Yeah, I said I want a Kool-Aid. That was that was the conversation. 
Have I? I have Kool-Aid and he doesn't. He is sad. I thought you said you were out of Kool-Aid. I have more in the fridge. I'm j or not in the fridge, in the cupboard. I just have to make it. I'm out of re uh, hand ready Kool-Aid. Okay. I've had okay. like Kool-Aid like once in my life. And that's pretty much it. I remember they, I just they used to actually be get them in like juice packs, like those Tetra packs. Like those were great. Oh. I remember having those a bunch as a kid. Don't oh. remind me of the little plastic jugs that of Kool-Aid with the twist off tops. Ah, oh, those were neat too. Yeah, yeah. Man, that was so much plastic though. <laughs> I was more of a so Capri much I was plastic. Active. I was more of a Capri Sun kid. That's fair. I wasn't super into Capri Suns at the time. God, Capri Sun Fruit Punch, that was my shit. Blinky, 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 blinky. Blinky, why you gotta be in the middle of the road? Oh, come on! Don't be off screen, don't be off screen, he's gone. You know what, chat? Let's... He's back! You know what, chat? I'm curious. Capri Sun or Kool Aid? What do you prefer? There we go, we, we got three pills. We have a continue. And we got homework for it, too. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Green, I don't think we've done yet. That should be Bartzilla, right? Yes. All right. It is exactly what you think it is. Bart, Zilla smashes things. There's four different methods of attacking. You just need to figure out what line of, what plane of existence everything is on and learn to attack it. This is not as easy as you think. Oh no, it's actually like five or six options. It is a bit weird there's no music. <laughs> Yeah, there's no music and there's no health meter, so you do not know how much, how many hits you can take. Hmm. There's also no progress meter, so you don't know how close you're getting. You just gotta pray. Also, I suck at making polls because I forget how to do it. Someone make the poll for if Kool Aid or Capri Sun is better. Because the answer is high C. <laughs> you know what? Hold on. Hold on. See, we're changing the answers on the fly here. <laughs> Listen, there's a reason why people position to get it back into McDonald's, all right? Okay, I'll take it. Oh, damn it, we ran out of health. Damn it, someone made a pull before I could do it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get the homework here? You just survive. It's just an auto scroller. I was trying to be a good mod. Aelita, you beat me to it. <laughs> Question mark. Homework is this way. All right. But yeah, like uh, it was fruit punch Capri Sun and strawberry kiwi Capri Sun. Those were the two. Nice. More gum for more health. If we're just gonna talk about other stuff that we ingested as children, Trix yogurt, the pure sugar Trix that had that is. yogurt. Yeah. Do you not know about that? I think I've seen that I don't before. I remember yeah. it. I, it I, doesn't. <laughs> it's weird. It doesn't. It's not around anymore. You can't find it in stores, but they still sell it. You can order it online. What? Apparently. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I. So, I was, you know. I was never oh a big. Oh uh, my god! I can't remember half the fucking buttons for this, and I just played it. I was never so, a big yoga guy, honestly. So the Facebook. Oh, this there. is X. This is A. This is B. Y does nothing. And the fireballs I've been shooting are up, forward, and down. So it's a little control confusing. You basically need, there's six planes of enemies you need to pay attention to and just know which button is the correct one. Weird. Actually, one snack I will talk about. Does anyone remember, uh, anyone ever have like the Kellogg's fruit snacks as a kid? Yes. Because I remember, I remember having like the strawberry, uh, like specifically the strawberry Kellogg's uh -oh. fruit snacks. Uh -oh. I, I need, ate I those up like crazy. Like, I, was I need a slower snack. basketball than that game, thanks. I'll also take I the mean, homework I page, fruit I guess. Snacks. I actually remember specifically um, whenever I went on swimming lessons, they always had a vending machine and they had uh, fruit snacks in there and I always got strawberry Kellogg's fruit snacks. I was addicted to them. I think I ate more of the the Welch fruit snacks. Oh yeah, Welch's. Welch's I thought were okay. okay. This is what I get now as an adult. Starting to Honestly, remember. Starting to remember. Honestly, I would if if people if first they say like, hey, I have some strawberry Kellogg's fruit snacks. Do you want them? I'd be like, yes, I would still eat them. 
I'll just take any fruit snacks. Fruit snacks are delicious. Oh yeah, they're full of sugar. <laughs> exactly. Delicious sugar. Hawaiian fruit snack, fruit punch. I don't know if I've ever had Hawaiian that. Hawaiian punch was pretty decent from what I remember. Fruity yeah. snacks, that might be what I'm talking about, yeah. The annoying thing is that if you if I wanted to get the strawberry one specifically, you would have to get like a multi-pack from Costco. All right, them. we got the first homework pitch. I think it actually remembered our progress because that went really fast. Ooh. And now the second stage and the one that people probably remember being a bit more annoying. Ooh. Do you remember Fruit by the Foot? Oh yeah, I remember Fruit by the Foot. You have to climb remember, to the top of the tower. But however, uh, part ways through, you have to worry about, uh, I'm trying to remember, Marge Fra, the Mothra Marge. Hmm. She might have a slightly different name than that. I couldn't remember how it actually goes. Uh, but yeah, there's a weird, like, kill plane that's slowly chasing you that you don't quite know where the cutoff is. Ooh. Ooh. See what I mean? So mm -hmm. you have to be kind of careful, but it's all about dodging. And the only way to dodge Marge is to go to the side, but you can't climb as fast. Okay. Oh my god. And then, of course, there's the fact that the attacks are random. <laughs> so, so you don't have health. It's just don't fall off. Basically. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be on kill plane. No, 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 no. Come on. They need to demo this building at some point because it's, or evict the people who are living here because they're just littering. Yeah, the streets, like the sidewalk must just be absolutely destroyed. Like people are throwing safes. Oh, this is a bad place for her to be. Oh. No, come on. Oh, what? You can't go to the side at that top part. So we just got screwed over. You have four pages, but be wary. Slenderman might be nearby. <sighs> Do we have four? I thought we still had- No, you're right, because we did the the first Bartzilla one. Wait, I thought Fruit Roll-Ups and Fruit by the Foot was the same thing. What? They are. It's and Fruit Roll-Ups. Fruit Roll-Ups, they're Fruit by the Foot. That's their, <laughs> that's their slogan. Who put it in twice? <laughs> Maybe they thought they were different things. <laughs> oh my god, there's just so much garbage on screen right now. Skateboard, let's go. Wait, they are different. Wait, they are different products. What the no, fuck? No, 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 no! Come on! <laughs> Why are we going backwards again? Hold on, I gotta look uh, this up. Yeah, by the I, foot. I need that right now, Skinner. Thank you. Oh, right. Roll-ups are the, the the sheet, not the entire like. Right. Ro uh, like the entire three-foot rollout. Right, but they okay. are essentially the same otherwise. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, they're both fruit snacks. It's just they're in different shapes. Okay. Usually, uh, roll-ups had, like, the put-on-your-tongue-for-tattoos-and-crap at, like, Halloween. Yeah, right. those are cool. Right! I remember those now. God. Game, can you just give me back the homework page or something? Come on, now. No. Or put some Zs on screen so I can actually get some health back? Used to get How those some confused fruit all snacks? the time, Want too. Some fruit snacks? I can yeah. go for some fruit snacks right now, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Amazon. I'll, I'll send them to your P.O. box. Yeah, that, that's perfect. Alright, that's gone. Oh, thank goodness, some Z's finally. Even if it's just one, it's still better than zero. I can finally send those cookies. Damn it. I don't think even you are gonna get that one. That's a very old joke for me. So apparently nope. I can buy, uh, apparently I can buy Kellogg's, uh, fruit snacks off Amazon. Nice. Oh, I'm not shocked. Can you get Trix, uh, Trix yogurt? Is that on Amazon? Or is that from, straight from the distributor? Let me check. Uh, I see M&M's, but like, that, that, that's like yogurt you can put M&M's in. God damn it! Please, just let me go <laughs> forward! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Ah! Oh. You can buy it. Yes, yes. You can buy Trix yogurt straight up from yes. YoPlay's website. Nice. Unfortunately, they are sold out. Oh wait, Trix! I thought you meant oh, I got Trix and Twix mixed up. Yes. Trix is the cereal. God damn it! 
Ugh. Remember what you said about this being easier than Bur Virtual Bart? This is still easier than Virtual Bart! I am not changing my stance on that! This is still easier than Virtual Bart! Uh, Anyone who's played right, both I will not deny that to be the case. I got. Uh, You're allowed wait. to choose the hill you die on. I will not deny that. No, like legitimately, like I watched Late Night Retro play through both games somewhat recently, and Virtual Bart was just a nightmare just because of the clown stage. The baby stage takes forever. You only get a couple lives, and any screw up, you die. So it's just mean. Like, it's like, oh, okay, that's my own fault. As bad as the Indiana Jones stage is in this one, like, it's just 10 times worse. Because it's an auto scroller that you can just immediately fail. Okay, good, I can still control this while I'm in the suit, nice. I'm gonna be honest, I almost started with this game because this I thought it was going to be easier than it has been so far. I legitimately was like, oh, maybe we'll get this one done in Home Alone and Home Alone will take longer. No, no. The Home Alone start was the, the correct choice. Oh boy. I'm just genuinely impressed we still have our... Get out of here. Still have our health bracket. Very least we've completed one game tonight, so that's good. Yeah. But yeah, no, this, this, if this... This is gonna take all night. <laughs> Let's be real. Oh my god, oh, especially if this halfway there. shit like this keeps happening. The real problem is we need to figure out what we need to do to get the homework to appear again. Because we haven't destroyed the TV. That's a page, if not two. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we haven't done for homework yet. You still god, those are so much faster now. <laughs> Frog. Let's see, I can take a peek into the uh, good old Game Facts guide. Yeah, I will accept that. I will accept the Game Facts hint. Because, like I said, this game, and as you've clearly seen, this game just becomes bullshit by the end. Okay, we're getting a little bit of health back. We're in a better spot. But we still have no idea where the homework is. Favorite gummy. Um. Oh, you know what? I think I, this might actually spawn one. Do you oh, mean crap. like crap? Crap. Do you mean like flavor or brand, Colin? I think the homework appears oh. based on how the wind's blowing. I think that might be the hint for where it is, but like, they activate based on certain things. Like straight up, certain actions do actually spawn pages. Go, 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 go. There it is. Uh, sure. I'm gonna say cherry for that, Colin. I'll say cherry. We had to do this at some point. None of those paths lead me. Okay, that one does. Oh, shit. Yeah, so the devils are faster now, and there's a green one, which I think moves twice as fast. He's got a gimmick I don't remember right now. Uh, but we gotta be extremely careful with these guys. So is this the first part of the temple again, or...? This is the second part. We don't have okay. to do the first one again, thankfully. They are not that mean. The problem is, like I said, eventually all paths lead to... Oh, there's the green one. Wait, what? Yeah, so I don't know why I died there. <laughs> I generally don't. I'm going to assume it had something to do with the green what? devil. But yeah, uh, they just they just do bullshit like that randomly that makes no fucking sense, and it sucks ass. It is also possible for me to press up here and jump off. Oh! That's, okay, not, that's, what ha that's not what happened earlier, just so you know. I wasn't holding controller, the space that we were standing on disappeared. But it is a thing that can happen. 
That's... You just fell to your doom for no reason. The game just said, haha, fuck you. I'm pretty sure it's the actual green de- Oh, you know what it is? I remember the green devil's gimmick. Any space the green devil lands on gets affected. So if that switch lowered the one I was standing on, that's why I died. Oh. Oh, wow. actually, wait, no. Sorry, someone else says you cannot whip the green ones. They kill you. I thought it was if the green guys hit me, I died. Not if I try to hit them. Is it the other way around? The green devils kill you if you whip them. So that's what happened then. I whipped him. This should be where the green devil showed up last time, I think. Yep. So, aren't you glad for this? Oh my god. That absolute nonsense? No. What? What? <laughs> Isn't this game great? Isn't this game absolutely great? You wanted to beat it. Yeah, because I want fucking closure. That hasn't changed. I want fucking closure. Fair enough. <laughs> but now... It'll just make it even more sweeter. Yeah, for now, like, if anyone wondered why, like, so many people hate this game, now you're fucking learning. Oh, this is man. an educational stream now. <laughs> Professor John is here to teach you about total bullshit. Also, Highway makes a point. Could the closure be that this game sucks? Oh, no, I already knew that. The closure I is I never you. have to play it again after this because I would have beaten it. I don't Hopefully. need you to be a professor in my life. My teacher, or our sister's already a teacher. I don't need you to be one as well. My mom's a teacher, so I feel you on that. Oh, you, yeah. I had no choice there. Oh, I had no choice. God. I had no choice. It might, it straight up might come down to the fact that I need a guide for the exact movements I need to take for this. Like, straight up. Gerard did mention earlier that guide you, has one. Yeah, Gerard did mention earlier you basically have to memorize essentially the entire path. Yeah, because it is total horse shit. You can at least wait for the blue guys, but yeah. I know the general rule of thumb is stand on the tall ones to hope that it lowers the uh, raises the ones you need. Well, we're out of lives on this one, so we've got to get it now or not at all. I hate that this is the one that got two pages and not, like, the Bartman one. The Bartman one deserves two. This doesn't... We're dead. At least you have a continue? <laughs> Question mark? No, I still have health. Like, the game's not over. It's well, just... If you, lo if, if you lose all your health, that's why I meant. Yeah. And 16 of those watermelons that you still have that figured out how to use. Oh, I found it. It's A button. I've gotten it to use, but there's oh. nothing to hit except for the TV. Because I can't shoot uh, those guys. What did the guide say to shoot specifically? TV was one. TV is for a page. Use them on TVs or any enemies you can't avoid. Specifically. I'm going to assume that is just TVs then. You can avoid the TVs though. Whoa, fuck! Maybe, why maybe the, the mud... bus? I don't think you can hit auto. Why, why is the mud moving? Because it's Bart seeking mud? Oh, damn! I missed. <laughs> that is not mud, then. It doesn't have to make sense. It's Bart's nightmare. We've been on this game for an hour. We are halfway done it, but uh, it is fighting us tooth and nail to make sure we don't get that win. Oh, the worst part is like I don't even know if we'll get enough score to actually get the A plus. Which if we get the A plus, that's a complete, not a beat. But How then much again, was it? 100? Sorry, go ahead. 
What do we have left? We have two Itchy and Scratchy stages. One Bartzilla and Indiana, or in Indiana Jones or Idaho Simpson. Those are the four we have left, right? Yes. Yeah. Someone said if I need a path for the minigame, someone found it, apparently. Yeah, it will, I mean, yeah, I, I have had it for a while, well. so. Okay, okay. I'm just pretty much waiting for the the confirmation that I could just give it to him. I mean, I want to, like, I can get three quarters through it, but I know there's a specific part later on where eventually you need to follow a very specific pattern, otherwise you soft lock yourself. Like, I don't remember how far, like, where we've been getting is, but I know that's at least three quarters. Or it should be, I hope. It'd be sad if it's not. Game, please, where the fuck? Oh my god. Why must everything spawn right now? No, get out of here. I'm trying to go to the left, for the love of god. What would be considered a beat? Just getting all the pages, right? Yeah. Okay. Because you only get credits if you get all the pages. There's, oh, there's a TV, but I'm a frog, so I can't stop it. Just stay on screen. For the love of God, game, please spawn an old lady so I can actually get that. Game, please. <laughs> you will be on the other side of the street. I'm calling it now. Uh, I'm going to try something. Nope, that didn't work. Damn it. I hoped that would work, because that counted as destroying the TV, but no, it did not. <coughs> are, you are you actually controlling that bubble, by the way, or no? Yes, holding Y does that. Okay. So I'm trying to keep it on screen so I can get more Zs, but the game's not spawning many Zs for me anymore, because I'm far in the game. That's also why the basketballs are going so fast now, because I have such a huge health bracket and I'm far enough in the game. So they, they don't want me to just spam it. Mm. Not that we've had great luck with the skateboard lately. Actually, I think I learned that you could control the gum because of Austin. There we go. He was a skater boy. He says he God damn it, I couldn't see him because of the tree! Ugh! He said, fuck your skateboard boy. <laughs> uh, this, they said go right for the page, right? Please don't remind me of the song. I have to listen to it at work. Ew, why? Is it just that on your mix? Yeah, our store's mix sucks. <laughs> Apparently. If you guys want a funny version, look up Twitch Makes Music Skater Boy. <laughs> oh god. It is hilarious. My favorite version of a song is the one from Game Grumps to where it's just our house in the middle of our <laughs> house. Our house. I don't think that was even Game Grumps. I think that was just straight up Barry. Probably. Either or. Skater Boy is great. It is great, but it's all It's a good life. song, but it's also, if you've heard it 30 times, you're, you're done with it. Because as we all know, she was a skater boy. She said, see you later, boy. He wasn't good enough for her. Okay, hold on. I think I need to link the Twitch Makes Music thing. Hold on. <laughs> it's on Game Grumps' channel, but it's definitely from Barry. <laughs> yeah. Uh... But now he's a superstar. Is it? Was she the superstar or was he the superstar? I can't remember which. I also said she was a skater boy, so I think I also got that part wrong. He was a skater boy. I keep going to the right. Okay, game. He said, see you later, boy. I, I like the Kermit version. The Kermit mix is also pretty good. He wasn't good enough for her. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, let's try Bartzilla again. When I'm through with you, they'll, <laughs> they'll never, never find, find your you. body. And even if they did... All their left would be what? I guess all their left would be teeth. <laughs> I think that's how it goes. Something like that. <laughs> Get, 
go, go to the side, go to the side, uh, go to the side, go to the side. Kermit's rehab sessions and entertainment to children. <laughs> Wait, are you... Which channel are you guys talking... What channel is that from? Because that sounds familiar. Is it actually Jax? Is it actually... Is it actually Jax Films? People are saying Jax Films in chat. Is it actually Jax Films? Might be. Because that sounds familiar. I remember he he did he had animations of like a very very offensive like Kermit. Oh, Poke right. Prof, what is this? Why does that surprise you, Proka Prof? John is a nerd. It is Jack's film. Okay. What, what gotcha. is the thing I'm being nerdy about? You're just a nerd. He's calling you a nerd. Of course. Are you gonna stand for that? Is that yes, because that's literally who I am. <laughs> no, you fucker! Come on, that was the end. What was that camera? It was like that was camera, like... Pam, because I'm at the end. Jeez. Oh, Oof. But because these okay. assholes are opening the door, the windows right in front of where I need to be, it's fucking up. That is rude as fuck. Okay, so I need to let Homer gr camera. Whoa. Whoa. The kill plane caught up. We lost. What the wow. fuck? <laughs> Wow, that's horseshit. So all we needed to do there was let Homer try to punch us while we were electrocuted and we would have won. That's all we needed to do. But because the camera caught up too fast, we we lost. That's okay, gross. so now we have no idea where the paper is again. We have three hit points left. Other than our continue. Come to think of it, did we finish the page of homework we got from hitting all the blinkies? Because uh, we may have to lose a continue just to make them spawn again for the page. Uh, um. Crap. All right, so here's the problem. That, oh, never mind. We're saved. Okay. I was gonna say if we lose one of our Z's at that point when we only had two left, the bracket disappears, and then whenever we get another Z, wherever that one lands, that's the size of the bracket. So if it's right next to the other Z, our health meter is two Z's. Oh. So that's wow. why it's a big deal to keep this full bar if you can, because otherwise you're literally fucked. The only way to re-extend your health meter is to ride the skateboard. And since we're so far in and the skateboard's going so fast, uh, it ain't gonna go smooth. Ah, crap. Well, I guess I'm keeping this one with me now. Apparently I was messaged on, or mentioned on Twitter. My notifications have been blowing up. What did you do? I don't know. I think it's just a bunch. I, I think it was just like a, a few clips. Or something. Yeah, it's a bunch of clips. Oh, okay. okay. That would do it. Yeah. So I did retweet one of those at least. Fuck it, I'm taking it. That would be it. And right into the cracks. Yeah, I don't know if that was clear, but the cracks on the sidewalk make you crash, or if you hit any enemies. So you have to avoid. And I think you have to avoid the cracks in the road and the manholes. I think you have to avoid all of those if you want to stay on the skateboard. Dude, what do I need to do to get a page right now? Oh, okay. Well, let's take that then, I guess. Auto, I can't see shit. Thank you. Oh, that's weird. So the itching scratchy is two parts? Yes. But... You have to find this another page to get to the second part. Yeah, it's the only one that does that for some weird reason. But it is another itching scratchy thing. It doesn't go automatically in like Indiana Jones did and like uh, Bartzella did. That okay. I think is a little weird. That that's inconsistent. Yeah, I mean, but let's let's be real. This uh, this hasn't exactly been a consistent game, unless you mean consistently meh. It's been consistently bullshit. Yeah, it's definitely been that. Okay, so we have no idea where the next page is. Let's try the idea of following the wind. 
Uh, which says go to the right, I guess. Or it's to the left now, I guess. I don't know if that's actually a thing, though. Because now it's saying go to the right. Follow your hearts instead. Don't I think follow you need to wind. follow the wind. I don't like. Okay, so this—they're all going right now. Okay, no, this time it's not. Okay, that's weird. I thought earlier it was also going to the left. Okay, well, let's let's see if the wind thing is real. I don't know if that's actually a mechanic. What's the difference between the blue Z's and the red Z's? The red Z's pop my uh, my gum. Okay, now I have to go to the left. Oh. Those words. Are you, are we oh, sure that the animation is just not bullshit? Like I, I'm like pretty that... sure it's random. Yeah, because like now this this says to go left, and over here says to go right. So I think that's just bullshit. I think it's just animation. So. Oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Get it, get it. Oh my god, please, game. Oh, oh my god. Yes. Uh, Woo. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just. This is itchy and scratchy, right? Let's just do itchy and scratchy. And somebody's got to be careful at the end. Okay, so we know this part's fairly straightforward. At some point, you show up with a flamethrower. There we go. One-ups. Crap. Uh, might need some of those. Get another one. I don't know why that one didn't count as hitting me, but I'll take it. Now that's another weird thing. Almost all the early Simpsons games were Bart focused. Bart was the most popular character back in the day. Easily. I can understand that. He was he was literally all the marketing. That's why like Bart man don't have a cow man, like all those catchphrases. Like he was the marketing for this show. Even though Homer's the better character, in my opinion. I mean, nowadays, like back then, probably was Bart, but definitely since. Personally, I always like maybe it's just me. Maybe like every time I saw like snippets or like commercials, I always like, oh, like Homer is like the person they market or something else like that. I mean, like I said, it's changed since, but at the very beginning, like Bart was definitely the most popular. There was no question of that. That's, there was literally a dance. Like the Bart man is a dance. He was heavily marketed when, like, The Simpsons really took off. <laughs> Say the line, Bart! Exactly. Okay, avoid the phone. Uh, duh, I forgot the damn ground is slippery here. I'm pretty sure you get something for taking out the fire here. It might just be a one-up, which we could use next. No, never mind, I'm out of cans again. We don't actually have to do that, it's just, I think it stops the fireballs from possibly killing us. I'm just gonna stand up here. Just, um... <laughs> just sick of this game's shit at this point. And now that I think about it, who is the worst reoccurring character in The Simpsons? Patty and Selma? But they're supposed to be hated. Um, well, yeah, that doesn't mean they're... Just because a character's designed to be hated doesn't still mean they're good characters, because that's what they're for. Besides, most characters like that get retribution. Like, most... Ned was designed to kind of be, like, annoying as hell. And then they gave, they fleshed out his character a ton, and he became a lot more interesting. And then they made him one-dimensional. Eh, you're right, they also did do that. 
Hence the, the, the term flanderization. If you don't know what that is, it's when a character becomes so one-dimensional that they're literally known for one attribute or, like, personality trait of some kind. Hence, hidely ho. Mm-hmm. Hey, we got our screen nuke back. Cool. <laughs> At least you're up to five pages. Yeah, three pages left. We st that still leaves Indiana Jones, second Bartzilla, and... Oh, right, the second, uh... Itching Scratchy, which we haven't done yet. Which so I, have, from what I've seen, that second Itching Scratchy one is mean. So it's basically just all pure bullshit now. Cool. Yeah, we have the, all the hard stuff left. But now we need to figure out what we need to do to get the pages to show up at this point. We still know that TV has at least one. But I don't know what to do anymore for the other two. Do we trust in the wind and just hope that wasn't just pure coincidence what happened? Mm. Eh, no, because it's pointing to the right here and these are pointing... To, that's pointing to the left and this is pointing to the right, so... Unless I'm supposed to stand here, I think that's just pure coincidence. A little bit, yeah. You think it would just been easier at this point for him just to get another sheet of paper and rewrite the homework? I mean, he's asleep right now. He's doing all this in his dream. He's literally doing his homework in his dream. And but if he gets it right in the dream, like if he beats the dreams, he actually somehow gets the questions on the homework right, which is honestly impressive. Is it like, maybe it's just like a... It's like a metaphor for, like, memorization or something else like that. I mean, it's just the plot of a video game. That's all it is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's probably nothing to look too deep into, but... Bartmosis? Bartmosis. I'm surprised uh, the game has an ending where Bart gets an A+. Doesn't he fail a test he studied hard for in an episode? Well, that's that's the thing. Like, that's literally... Oh, shit. Um, Orange is Indiana. Eh, let's just do Bartzilla. Oh, okay, bye music. <laughs> I'll miss you too. He's like, fuck this game, I'm out. I'm done here. Yeah, but the, the actual ending screen of the game is based off of Bart Gets an F. The the hole where it's like a, posted on the fridge. Mm. I think that's literally the ending shot of this game, is that. Oh yeah, there's one more bullshit thing about this stage I haven't shown off. Is that UFO there? If ah. If I am on the sides when they come near me, they kill me. So they don't want you just cheesing the stage by using the, the sides. If memory serves, that's an actual mechanic. Like, it's insane how much bullshit they put in here. Mmm, okay. <laughs> His neck's gonna hurt when he wakes up. Yep. What have I not done yet? Like, we- that- that one spawned when we were a frog and got rid of the bullies. Have you tried asking nicely? Nah, I'm a Bart. That doesn't happen. Hey game, That's can you fair. please show me where the pages are? Thank you. All right, bullies again. Let's see if just as Bart this works. Please, not that lucky. There's a non-zero chance that you have to be on one Z to meet a condition. God, I hope not. That would suck. Wait, what was that? Why did that sound different? That was weird. Give me them Z's. Damn it. I hate that you can't see these enemies half the time. That's what the whole damage comes from. Let's just be a lesson for anyone who's trying to make games. This is a, an example of what not to do. Yep. 
I feel like it'd be less of an issue, honestly. Like, the one thing that I think would make this game just a little... Honestly, ten times better. Just give a hint for what you need to do for everything. If they actually gave hints, I feel like that'd be better. I don't even know if the manual even tells you anything about how to get the pages. I... I guess I could read it. I have it right next to me. The manual's how I knew how to hold the damn R button to avoid the, uh, the pacifiers in... in Idaho Bart. Or Idaho Simpson. Yeah, someone posted the manual in the mod room, so I can check that out. Oh, crap. Crap. Lisa, get out of here. Mm, yeah, I, I think the Genesis version is supposed to be either a slightly easier or slightly harder. But that might be Virtual Bart I'm thinking of. I think Virtual Bart's like water slide stage is harder in the Genesis one because of it not being able to see the hint. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, hell yeah. This manual's got an ad for Terminator 2 on the back. Fuck yeah. Uh, back down to three Zs. No, Blaze, uh, Blaze Dart, I know about the, the question marks by jumping over the mailboxes. The mailboxes aren't spawning, that's the problem. And all it does is tell you where to go, it doesn't guarantee, because eventually you can get them, grab it, and it just says, I don't know. Yeah, like, the game just doesn't want to spawn any right now. It's spawning Lisa's and, and Jebediah's instead. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's any hints in the uh, manual. I can't find them. There we go. Is this in a Nintendo Power magazine? It might be. Wouldn't shock me. Is that an image in the manual? Which image? <laughs> Shit! This one. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw that one. Go, 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 go. All right, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh my god, what is that picture? <laughs> that is in the <laughs> manual. All right, it's a picture of Bart, for those wondering. It's just, why? It's just uncanny. <laughs> <laughs> Do the Bart man. <laughs> Early Simpsons, everyone. I don't even know what the Bart man is. <laughs> it's a dance. It's a dance you gotta do. I, know. I don't. I don't know what the dance. Crap, 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 crap. I don't know what to do for the dance. <laughs> I don't remember either because that's from like the late '80s. Where? Oh, am I supposed to be to get the damn thing to spawn now? Yes, get get back here. Nice. Uh, I'm trying it. Itchy and scratchy too. I don't think I ever did this one as a kid either, so I have no idea. Oh, cool. They start you with. <laughs> yep. No hammer and. Uh, oh. Would you enjoy giant itch? I'm sorry. What? Um. <laughs> Okay, please tell me there's something that can- Oh, fuck! Oh my god! I think that is the first time I've seen something in this segment that doesn't just immediately kill you. Is it the eyeball? Yes, it is the eyeballs, thank god. I knew there was a way to get extra one-ups in this one. Okay, where's the thing I need to kill? I know this is basically what I need to do for the rest of this. It's just, mm, nope, there we go. Tell me I have my hammer at least. Nope, of course not, that'd be helpful. I'm expecting this game to be helpful and fair. 
a guy can hope and a girl can dream. Come on, move your damn tongue! You can't dream, it's Bart's God. dream. What? Oh you get God. no iframes from anything that insta-kills you. That's insane! What? <laughs> Come on, we're fucked. We are so what? fucked. Get out of here! Oh my god! Fuck! What? Yeah, that was the last chance. That was the last enemy I had to fight, so I didn't get a chance to spawn anymore. Ew. There's another way to get one ups here, and I have no idea what it is. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what, what the? That was a giant angry bubble. It's the Dirty Bubble's cousin, the Clean Bubble. <laughs> it kinda just does look like it, the, the Dirty Bubble from Spongebob, doesn't it? A little bit. Oh, there's a giant knife. Yeah, and we know those are insta-kill, so let's stay away from those. I'm afraid to try to go look around for one-ups right now, because this is this is working, what we have here. As long as we can hang on to the dark gun. Is that a special stage floor? <laughs> yeah, John, just just think this is a Sonic 3 special stage. There are, just imagine these are not the orbs I'm trying to collect, sir. Well, what if they are? Just imagine they are, and everything will be alright. So, uh, you said special stage floor. The first thing I thought of was Mario Bros. Arcade. Okay, there's a lamp, and there's eyeballs, which means one-ups. Okay. Does it have to be projectile to get rid of these? Uh-oh. Oh, this is, this is tell, mean. tell me, tell me, don't tell me. Oh, I think it does. Ah, shit. Uh, what? <laughs> what? He's throwing what? mouse traps at you. Jumping apparently counted as me being higher up, and as a result, that got me. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, fuck off! I'm not in the range of you! Get out of here! I need one ups. Oh, it's not gonna spawn any, is it? Oh no, it's not gonna spawn any. Oh no! Maybe a different lamp? Because there was the other one. No, that's the end of. The oh no. The eyeballs, maybe? Oh, please don't tell me we're fucked. We might be fucked. Shit! Uh, this is the final screen. I do remember this, at least. From what I've seen, but uh, I think we're SOL. Is it really just the hammer? There's nothing else? I think it's just the hammer. Oh boy. How is that not hitting? What the fuck? <laughs> What's perspective? An illusion. Oh my god. Yeah, everyone, I think everyone has insta kill weapons now, so I have to be careful. Oh no! Here's the thing uh, the boss is also insta kill, from what I remember. Wait, there's a boss? Of course there is! What the fuck? You think this game was gonna go down without a fight? You're insane. Jesus. Shit! I think this is the best place to bait them out. Oh! Get out of here! Fuck! Oh my god! Damn it. That's why the hammer sucks. Oh. Yeah, like, Rambo's right too. You gotta carry that fire extinguisher into that because A, range, and B, the boss fight sucks. Oh. Crap, we have any hits we take, we lose our bracket. And the game has decided suddenly it just does not want to give us any Z's at all. Oh, there's the, the basketball would have helped.
There we go. There we go. Okay. Peachy. Hmm. I could really use that basketball, but it shows up so fast, I've got, like, no warning. I'll take this. Uh, at this point, it's better than nothing. Yeah, no, the final boss is a furnace, so... It just sucks to fight without any projectile. Uh... Dun, 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 dun. Come on. What can we do to spawn homework at this point? If the TV shows up again, we can still get a page from it. I don't... That's 90 minutes with this game. The, the guide has said literally nothing on how to get a page. Fuck. Oh, that's a bad time for that to run out. Oh, no. Please keep the bracket. Please keep the bracket. Please keep the bracket. Okay, thank God. Oh, my God. I just want to make forward movement. Please, game. My God. Where are the blue Zs? They're not... Uh, they're not showing up anymore because... Oh, I'm also out of bubble gum, by the way. I didn't notice that. Oh, no! That's extremely bad. And the things that are supposed to fucking drop it aren't spawning! Get out of here. Uh, get out of here! Gum, there we go. No, oh, where, where, where? To the right, okay. Amazing, amazing. Nice! Ooh. I forgot that they can be scared off by the bubble gum, even if they've grabbed me. Ugh. If we could get that skateboard and hope for the absolute best, we might be able to at least get another Z or two in our meter, but I think we're just straight up doomed here right now. Ugh. This is just rough. No, this... This is just mean, man. I'll keep going to the right, because they said there's a paper here somewhere, but we're going to lose that bracket here in a minute. Someone might have found out how to spawn the TV faster, maybe. How's that? Uh, it's from Peggy, uh, George. Walking directly under Shit. the dotted lines in the middle of the street. Uh, this tends to bring up TVs much faster. I kill at least five TVs a minute while walking that line. You just Oh my god, I didn't everything. even see that fucking basketball. Oh, please, just give me the damn suit. Just to be dodgy about everything that pops up. Also, you don't have to worry about the bus taking you out. He can't hit you while you're on the line. If you're on it exactly, I think that's how it works. Okay. Here's the problem. I can... The problem is I can't attack... Oh, get out of here! Oh, unless you're gonna spawn a page. Fuck off. Oh, okay. Thanks for fucking off. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Bye. That would be... No, his suit didn't wear off. Ah! There we go! I knew there was a way to get rid of the suit like that. Shit. Neat. <laughs> well, well they were right.
And now we need to jump over Blinkies again to get those three pillows back for another safety net. Ugh. Shit, that's what I get for looking at chat. I'm out of gum again! Uh... What? I'm gonna guess they're not stopping simply because I'm too far in the game. But we're Bobby running out of health. We have four Zs left. Four Zs left, no gum, and next to no heads up for when that thing's gonna show up. And also, it's they're just putting more trees in the damn foreground so I can't see shit! I get no time to react to that. Blinky, blinky, blinky. Two pillows. Game, I really need gum right now. Please, please gum. Please gum. Please, bazooka, zooka, bubble gum. I was hoping for at least one more chance at a page before we went to, oh, I don't know how that missed us, before we went to break, but uh, I'm beginning to think our run might actually end here instead. Okay, that was close. All right, let's try to, hopefully for the, get the Ugh. I wasn't even there. Come on. I know. Dude, we're fucked. We're fucked. Fuck. Next hit, we're dead. No! Shit! Oh. What did we get for a grade? Oh, yeah. We got a decent grade, but not a end of game grade. Uh, you know what the worst part is? Maggie's closed. I think I think if we had gotten a, like five thousand more points, I think we actually would have gotten in the A's. But yeah, well, there's that run. We'll go to break and we'll come back and try again. If it's a B plus, can we call it cleared? No, there's actually credits if you get all the pages. Like literally the last page of the homework when he wakes up says the end. So, yeah. <sighs> close, but not close enough. We'll get him next time. Are you sure about that? Hey, I, I don't mean... know about that either. I'm I'm kind of kind of with them on that. <laughs> Gerard, Tropic Sky, and Captain Joe, thank y'all for the gift sub bomb. Special shout out to Tropic Sky for the tier three gift sub bomb of all crazy things. Fancy Father Artist, thank you for the brand new sub. Welcome to the stream. Sorry it had to be Bart's nightmare that brought you here. Uh, Patrice seven eight nine seven eight nine for fourteen. Mister Moody for forty one. Lundea Darun for twenty three. If there's a proton John and electron Jen, what's the neutron? I think I think we had we said Joan was the with the mid between that or Joe yeah Joe's the in between for that. That's the non-binary John is Joe. Joe. The, com the completionist for 82. Alex Mitz for 44. I am Chunky J for 10. Uh, f and Great Man Gray Yellow for 21. Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks, as I suffer through Bart's Nightmare. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of at least Game Fan. Was there anyone else in there? Gokai's in there as well. From Game Fan, Bowser just wanted a friend. Weren't your conceptual nephews also called the Neutron Nephews? I think that was just the alliteration thing. That's all that was. Bowser just wanted a friend. You
Yoshi poked him in the eye. <laughs> and from Gokai, happy birthday, nice. Cole. Give me a sec to put in the VHS tape. Oh, skip 13 if you don't want to invoke memories of putting in a VHS tape. Gokai, what'd you do? Something for your birthday, apparently. King Cole's party. You have a <laughs> castle, apparently, Cole. Congratulations. What is this? Giant plastic turkey! What the hell? Risk party. <laughs> and from what was the last part of the message there? King Cole's uh King Cole's party belongs to We Sing, gotcha. Alright, we're gonna go to break. When we come back, God help me, we'll try again. See you guys in a bit. <laughs> we'll see. Can we can we just play Risk on Wednesday? <laughs> uh, Wednesday is planned to be uh, whatever Wednesday and VR themed for at least a bit until my eyes can't handle it anymore. So that's going to be a thing. VR risk. Oh my god, no. Oh my so yeah, plan for the week. Schedule for the week. Wednesday is planned to be whatever Wednesday, but VR themed at least at first. Because I'm going to see if I can get my VR headset actually streaming. Uh, Thursday's top 10 perspective, Saturday is fortune cookie, and Monday will be the last of the revenge game clearing streams. It could be attempting to beat Bart's Nightmare again. It could be something else. We could continue Stanley Cup. We'll figure it out. But I need to go get a drink and use the washroom. Be right back. Oh boy. Hi chat. You wanna do questions? Let's do questions. You get one. You get one. <laughs> you could shop at five or six stores, or you can go to just one. <laughs> one question? That's your one question, Rhyme. You're done. You ruined it. You're done, congrats. <laughs> What? Excuse me, who was that in the background? Was that John? Wait. Shamrock? Shamrock? Wait, wait! <laughs> Am I alone now? No! Chat, I'm alone. Who the f No. No, Deef! Why are you here suddenly? What? <laughs> Shamrock, Jesus! Jesus Christ, Shamrock! <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, since Shamrock's obviously back, I'm gonna dip. Okay. <laughs> Just didn't want to leave you alone. <laughs> I'm fine. Holy coal hours has begun. No, it's my birthday! No! Boo. Blech. Am I home alone? I am not home alone, but everyone else is asleep. Hey, Jemini. Thank you. For, thank you very much, Jemini. I appreciate it. Disc only. If I had my stream deck connected right now, I would play the Bart's, <laughs> the Bob Barker fail sound. I would do that. Best Dairy Queen Blizzard. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. 100%. Special bully hours. Okay. The lion before the lambs, and they are not afraid. <laughs> no bully. Guys, have, a... have you ever had a blizzard cake? I've never. I don't think I've ever. I might have had it once, but never again. Deef. Is, is it bully? Is it bully? Coal hours? <laughs> are we there yet? Hmm. Hmm. I think it's bully coal hours. And what chat. What game do you really like that's in a genre you're otherwise indifferent to at best? You know what? I'm gonna say I'm... Doom. Doom 2016. I've never finished it, what... but from what I played, I loved it. What was the question? Sorry, I was too busy drinking my drink. <laughs> what game do you really like that's in a genre you're otherwise indifferent to at best? Doom 2016 for me. Uh...
Uh, Hold on, I need to turn back on his brain. Did that work? Oh no, I killed him. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> you go okay, Shamrock? <laughs> Try rebooting him. Hold on. Uh, shut down. Reboot. You okay now, Shamrock? <laughs> Hello. I don't know. We're contacting you today about your car's extended warranty. No! I don't think I have a game that fits that question because usually if I hate the genre, it's because I hate the genre. <laughs> hey, wager, I guess, but who would you who would be your favorite fictional goat other than yourself, of course? Uh, of of course. Of course. <laughs> I can't speak today. Uh, Rousey from Deltarune. One, probably my favorite companion character ever. Of course. <laughs> I came up with my own pun. What was the question again? You just said the question. That was the question. Shamrock is just letting me suffer here, <laughs> chat. <laughs> it's fun to watch you squirm. <laughs> Apparently. Most look forward to game of 2022. Uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Breath of the Wild 2. Mm. Although I will give a shout to uh, one game I've been looking at recently, and I'm actually kind of looking forward to. Rock the Investigator. That looks very good. I am very interested to see what that's going to turn out. For those who don't know what that is, uh, check it out on Steam. It's a punch-and-click game, essentially. It's a point-and-click meets beat-up, beat up and it looks fantastic. What is a question but a miserable little, little pile of words? <laughs> forgotten Lands? Oh, Forgotten Lands. Okay. Is that pronounced? Okay. Also, I'm free to play it, too, because I've been waiting years for that sequel <laughs> so that would be exciting to finally play wait there's a hug pile who are we hug piling <clears throat> who do i have uh, to suffocate with hugs uh, uh not me i'm out what's up oh cool he left fantastic Oh wait, no, shit, he's back. No, you you get out of here, shook. There we go. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You weren't supposed to come back. But what if I wanted to? Oh wait, no, I have I have a better solution for this problem. What are you streaming? Oh, no, that's the one sound of me getting moved. That's what that was. <coughs> hey. <laughs> I'm sure broke for that. <laughs> oh, I know. I heard him say it, but then I heard okay. I heard the jingle, but I thought he was streaming something. And I'm like, oh, wait, no, that's the sound I left on to warn me when someone moves me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this has been an interesting 10 minutes. <laughs> This is what happens when you just leave me to my own devices. My god, I went upstairs to take a piss and get a, an almond bar. Like, I wasn't gone that long. <laughs> yeah, you left the children unattended. This is what happens. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't tell if you're talking about yourself Don't make me, me install a baby monitor in the mod room. <laughs> what the fuck? I thought oh, that was Dragonfire. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's the babysitter. What's my general opinion on coffee? I don't like it. I don't like coffee. <laughs> like the smell, hate the taste. Honestly, same. Hate the smell, hate the taste. Ooh. Yeah, which sucks, because Reese loves coffee. And I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> no, I'm good. <clears throat> Alright, let's quickly read some alerts, and then let's go over to Art Block, and then... 
go back to Bart's Nightmare. Uh, let me see where alerts start. There's the Ryu from Relic. Uh, Lady Andy Social says, I heard cow, I give cow! Legend of Daniel says, I'll need some biddies for that. I always got a kick out of the Simpsons arcade beat em up where you can kick the crap out of Burns as, excuse me, in his robot suit. Yeah, that game is fun. It's an arcade game, so it's kind of, kind of busted, but. I thought you were all, yeah, coffee. Uh, yeah, don't forget, during that actual segment, I even say like, yeah, I hate coffee, though. I straight up say that in the TRG video. Stream man says, have a cow, man. Legend of Daniel says, give me an egg, please. Or John, give me an egg, please. And then Legend of Daniel says, they fight. They fight. They fight. They fight. They fight. Fight, fight, fight. Fight, fight, fight. The itch. The itch me and scratch me show. Uh, Lilith Am right. Amuni Akasha says, I heard you're supposed to siphon birthday luck from you. It technically is still my birthday on your time zone. Well, then happy birthday, or belated now since it has shifted. To Tuesday. Happy birthday, Lilith. Bleach Bummer says, Hey, John, been having good days at work. Yesterday, I actually learned something from a customer about hummingbird feeders. That being, apparently, they are smart enough to tell that hummingbird nectar feed is fake when colored. Who knew? Neat. Did you or any of your co-coms or mods that worked retail have any moments where a customer helped you learn something new about something you already knew a decent bit amount about during your work shift? If so, do you mind sharing? Uh... I'm sure that was the case, but I can't think of anything at the moment. What about you two? Uh... Do it again, I wasn't looking. <laughs> Did you or any co-coms or mods that worked retail have any moments when a customer helped you learn something new about something you already knew a decent amount about during your work shift, if you worked a retail job? Never worked retail. Oh wow! No, you. because most most of the people that I tend to deal with are kind of assholes. Oh yeah, I hear horror <clears throat> stories about people working at, at retail. So. Yep. Or, or rather, just not assholes. It's just condescending. Very yep. condescending. That sounds right. Uh... Put on that fake smile, and slide along, do the rest of your job, and murmur under your breath how they're terrible at human beings. Fun. Crash Ryan says, Retail's okay. Fun. Yeah, no, it's really not. It's really not. <laughs> <laughs> Crash Ryan says, okay, can someone please explain the story of Bart's nightmare? Because this game looks off the wall and wild, yo. Uh, Bart was doing his homework. He fell asleep, and he's having a nightmare that all of his pages uh, of his homework got blown away. If he finds the pages in his dream, the pages exist in the real world, and he gets a good grade on his homework. If he doesn't, he fails. That's, that's the story. Cole's taxes say, Happy birthday, Cole. Don't forget that I'm coming up soon. Would be a shame if I wasn't, you know, paid. Mega Nerd says, Since Disney bought Fox's TV and movie dis division, which includes The Simpsons and Family Guy, does that make this game technically a Disney game now? Technically. But to be fair, it's still, like... Fox's name is, I don't even think, on this, except for, like, a mention of 20th Century Fox on, like, the first copyright splash. It's otherwise just a claims logo flashing all over and the Simpsons logo. And Bleach Bummer says, additional donation. Looking forward to your VR-themed stream on Wednesday. Hope you don't mind if I ask that day of how your setup is. As I struggle to prevent mic echo and being in Discord calls while streaming VR myself, mainly like tips is all. I have to try to set everything up tomorrow. That's tomorrow's job, so I might not be able to fix that, to be perfectly honest. We'll see. I mean, it's just as bad as a Disney game. There are some really good Disney games, because Capcom made them. So, I wish this was a Capcom game. It would be way better, hopefully. <laughs> the Simpsons for Kingdom Hearts 4. It is entirely no. possible. I want I want Simpsons, Star Wars, and the Avengers all in one Kingdom Hearts game. It will make no fucking sense and be stupid as shit, but I will love it. Then it would I... be a Kingdom Hearts game. Um, womp womp. <laughs> Give me... You know what? No comment. <laughs> oh, you're right. The Muppets, too. Fuck, there's a lot of things we could put in there. You know what? The Muppets... Oh, yeah. I'd, the Muppets, I'd be more... 
like, willing to pass, honestly, for that, personally. <laughs> Oh my god, a Sora Muppet. That's- that's just cursed knowledge, no. I want it, I want it. I want this to exist. I'm sure there's fan art of it already, but... Why would you do this? proto -gen John. I would have made it blue, but this was a white board and I had already chosen the red color. Also, this was my first time drawing a proto -gen, so it could definitely be better, especially since I drew it on a whiteboard. <laughs> Thank you, Solok. I'm gonna butcher this. Uh, Solokasina? I think is how you say that? Sol Solo Casina. I think that's how you say it. But thank you for the protogen, John. Protogens are such a neat design. I love the aesthetic of them. From Ditto. Had this idea in mind when you were playing Simpsons Hit and Run on Fortune Cookie and figured I should draw it now since you're playing another Simpsons game. I drew John in the Simpsons art style, based it off of Bart. Yo, Ditto, you did a really good job on this. Like, I would have thought this was a creator you used, honestly. You got the look down really well. Nicely done. Next up. Don't know what that was. I'm going to assume that was an intermission gift based on it, which means the last one I got here for Art Block is I am thou. Thou art I. Open thine eyes and call forth what is within. Puff Sona. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> By Sam, spotted alien monster. Not going to lie, wasn't expecting this direction from Persona 6. Just got this in before I was out of the one week of relevancy rule. Wanted to do more, but I'm happy with this. Yeah, so we played last week on, uh... Oh, it was no, it wasn't even Power Trip. It was, uh, the Cookie Jar. We played, uh, Puffin's Island Adventure. Still had it on my desk. And, uh, we made our own Puff Sona, I guess, which was Puff Fieri. Which was Guy Fieri as a, as a Puffin, so... Clearly, Sam took it one step further. Thanks, Sam. This kicks ass. And with that, that was it. Three pieces in art. So let's just go right back to it. <sighs> let's go again. I want to beat it. I want to beat it. I got to get closure. I played this game so much as a kid. I have to beat it. Let's go again. <sighs> okay. We need... If anything... A lot of things. Well, right? Will the image I put in mod room cheer you up? What did What did you put in mod room? <laughs> I don't know I who thought... made this. I see ZM as the uh, as the signature for it. Give me a minute. I'll find the artist. Find the artist and share it in chat, cause uh, that's kind of great. It's kind of great. <laughs> Still don't know how to feel. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess they're gonna give us the page right away. Uh, blue was Bartman. Yeah. Okay. Not a good start. Hi ho! Did someone mention darkness? Hi <laughs> ho! Did someone mention the door to darkness? Oh my God. Oh, Sorry, I'm fuck. a little stuffy right now because I just like down two almond bars, so it's just like I can't quite hit Kermit yet. Mm. Cloud, please go away. Cloud, go away, please. There we go. Come on, where's Sherry and Terry? There they are. God, I wish I had a rapid fire button. Well, that'd be helpful. Wouldn't it Where's just? The Where's the turbo button? Oh, is it Popsky that has the turbo controller? Let's go ask him for his. I mean, to be fair, he has it for, for like the Switch. I I don't think he has a SNES one. There we go. What animal Muppet would Sora be? I have no clue, honestly. Hmm. I generally don't know. Someone said, although someone suggested Sora would be the human guest character. Oh, there you go. Yeah, like name. like Scooter, I think was his name. I or, mean, based or is it Skeeter? I mean, based on how they handle things in Kingdom Hearts Three, yeah, <laughs> he probably would be the guest character, human character. 
It's just literally an episode of The Muppet Show, like, straight up. Oh no, Skeeter was Doug, so yeah, no, it's, it's Scooter. Also, also, since we brought Kingdom Hearts, I'm going to give a probably very obvious PSA, but also I'm going to say it anyway. Do not buy the Kingdom Hearts cloud, cloud versions on Switch. I tried the demo. It was fucking terrible. <laughs> Do not buy them. I mean, gen in general, probably don't buy the cloud versions of any Switch game. Really? In general, I, I've heard very few good things about them. Yeah, it's... Everyone is basically just like... And, like, the way they're going about it, funnily enough, is that they actually cost less than the other versions. But, like, I mean, ten bucks less, but still less. So that's probably how they're getting around. Being like, hey, it is a cheaper version. Mm. But, yeah, a cheaper version of a game that runs terribly. <laughs> also, even though they're running it through cloud, still doesn't run at 60 all the time. Good job, guys. Yeah, you need a good... You need a really good internet connection. You need to be reasonably close to said internet connection, too. But even then, the picture looks awful. I was on wire connection, the picture looked terrible, so. Based on picture alone, do not buy it. Get the collections on PS4. Or any other console. Or Steam, then you can mod the ever-living hell out of it. <laughs> Is it on Steam? I thought it was only on Epic. Or did they it's finally- epic. Or Epic. It's epic, yeah. it's Epic. Yeah. Regardless, mod. Oh, fuck you! Mod the hell. Floss was dead and off screen, man. Yeah. Ooh. I do kind of want to get 1.5 and 2.5 on Epic maybe sometime so I can actually do the randomizers because they have uh, the randomizers are now compatible with the Epic version. At least nice. Kingdom Hearts 2's randomizer. <laughs> yeah, there, there's your one positive for it being on Switch. It is portable. But it's not because it's on the no, cloud. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not. It really is. It's, really it's not. portable in the fact that you can sit on a different couch in your house if you have multiple. Oh, fuck off. My situation is probably the like the best case scenario. I have one gig internet and I was playing on Ethernet and it was still bad. So just take that in for a bit. I'll be the test of that. My router's literally at my feet. <laughs> But also, I am also a person who thinks that uh, cloud gaming is still not great, so... It's cloud not gaming still yet. has a way to go, but it will eventually. If internet, if local internet can catch up, it will be worth it. it that's just a uphill battle. Just keep it supplementary, uh, supplementary and I'll be fine. <laughs> You know what? I bet I know what will happen with it. It'll fade out for like 15 years and then we'll fuck. see it again out of nowhere. Maybe. Smithers, you have no health. Why the fuck are you not dead? There we go. It took another three hits. All right, Apu, I'm at full health, but I'll gladly take some more. If you want to drop a one up too, I would really appreciate that. Something tells me we're not gonna get as lucky this time with Mr. Burns. We're probably gonna at least lose one life. I mean, yeah, Megan, if you're fine with 30 FPS, that's fine. But the, I mean, frame rate was like that was also probably one of the least like that was probably one of the lower issues, honestly, with the cloud version. So I don't care if a game is at 30 FPS as long as it's running it smoothly. Crap. Does Xbox Game Pass count as cloud gaming? Partially, no. because it... Well, okay, you can you get the cloud gaming with, like... You get the xCloud thing with, like... Um, oh, well, that's not... That's not the thing, though. That's a different service that's also on... On Game Pass. Oh, okay. Cloud gaming is literally, like, you have to connect to the internet to actually even play the game at all. Like, you cannot download it. I thought it just came with, like, all versions of Game Pass. Maybe I was wrong on that. I think that's specifically tied to Game Pass Ultimate. Oh, okay. Damn it. Well, he's had extra lives this time. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's on Ultimate. Okay. I was wrong. My bad. <laughs> 
Yeah, I've tried xCloud. It's like, it's okay. But also, like, I tried playing, like, Doom on a wired connection, and they were still, like, artifacting everywhere, and I was just like, this is gross. <laughs> no, thank you. All right, first page down. Should probably expand that bar while we have the opportunity to. I need a basketball to spawn in. <laughs> I'm at the mercy of whatever the game decides to spawn in right now. Case in point, I have 11 gum. All right, game don't spawn a basketball. Well, good news, so far it's listened. Shit. This is a win-win for me because I'm right either way. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> uh, oh, Blinky, Blinky, Blinky. One pillow. There's the basketball. Look at how slow it is now compared to later on in the game. It's so slow I screwed up jumping over it. Wait, how did... Uh, wh what? A what? Okay, the first one I'll give you. The second one? Thank you. Fuck off. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <sighs> it is just not in the mood today. No, this game is trying to stop me at every step. I'm sorry? It counted um, the head, not the ball. No, you can jump over all of them, though. Uh, I'm sorry again? What is happening here? I must just be moving enough that I'm not getting credit for it. Actually, can I? No, he can't stay in the middle, can he? Actually, can if I could time it right. There we go. Let's see if this works. This is not going to work, is it? Oh my god, it's working. Oh my god, it's working. We've done it. We've done it, chat. We Not necessarily. Out. We can still get fucked over, especially by the TV that runs by. Uh, didn't we just pass a page? Yeah, but I also want more health. Yeah, there it okay, is. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, we oh have lots god. of health now, so it's good. Go, 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 go. Is Blinky gone? Mm, I can catch up to him. Go, 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 go. God, why do I have to move slower on the... There we go. That's two. Nice. Oh, you're gonna tempt me like this? Okay. First off, no. Ugh, first off, I can't even shoot another bubble gum until she leaves. No, come on! Oh, that sucks. What? That is rude. Ew. Ugh, hang on. Wait, no! Get out of there! What the? Get. Oh my god. The game's just giving me everything at once now, suddenly. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> Get. The what fuck? the fuck? Get the <laughs> oh my god, get me the fuck out of here. Ugh. Sorry, were you having a good time with this game? Nope, fuck you. Okay. about that thought I had one more I could move once you grab an egg they never spawn again right uh yes Ugh. would this likely be the most frustrating game during game clearing of January 2022 at this point easily easily the worst the most frustrating one so far this year and I had a feeling it was going to be to be perfectly honest Shit. 
It's kind of funny. Be fucking man. What one moves any of these? I'm dead. Oh my god. It's Hello, funny. I, I how long have you been ahead. on this game? Uh, now about an hour, and, an hour and 45 minutes. Mm. If we're not counting break time, yeah, an hour 45. I'm looking at, like... No, 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 no! Ah, fuck. Aww. Like, I look at the frustration of the game and I, I, I think back to, like, um... Because I, uh, I beat Dr. Mario 64 for the first time, uh, earlier this week. Or... Last week, I mean. Um, and I just thought that game was pretty bullshit. Oh, Definitely yeah. would play that over this. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, no. Before. Dr. Mario is frustrating to play if you don't like Dr. Mario, but, like, yeah. This this is a whole different level. This, Like I said, this is the shit that I grew up on as a kid. Like, this is the stuff that basically tested my patience, and it's why I have as much patience as I do. Because I kept trying to beat this over and over again. Yeah, at least... At least Dr. Mario has unlimited continues. Except when you beat the game, it's just like, lol, beat it again without dying. And I'm like, ha ha ha. I mean, no. that's, that's just to unlock a secret character or two, if memory serves me. What, I beat the game, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> the final boss is such bullshit. Ah, oh, crap, are we in the same situation again? No, oh, no, maybe not. Dr. Mario isn't even that hard. Uh, Dr. Mario 64 isn't even that hard. I might disagree with you on that. If you are not good at Dr. Mario, Dr. Mario 64 is frustrating. Because yeah. Dr. Mario can be frustrating. But it specifically hinges on you not being good at that game specifically. It's got it's got a, a frustration point that many will not hit, but some will. Oh, thank God. All right. That's one down. And to be fair, I'm not looking to like complete a lot of games this year. I'm just looking to beat games, so getting the credits is good enough for me. Number two. Alright, well, we're at the actually difficult one now. I'm not even sure if this game could be beat. I got uh, Budoka Tenkaichi 3 today. Can this be beat? Tenkaichi 3 doesn't have a story mode? I thought that had a story mode. I think it might. Hey, can you fuck right off? Jesus, there we go. Uh, at least they just go away after time, but man. Get rid of you. Far enough to get rid of I grew up on Ghouls and Ghosts for the Master System. Would you trade revenge games? Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> the Master System one? Ooh, that's... Mmm. I think we're both it's going like to that same special kind of hell. Who said that? Nico Source. Nico, I think you and I both went are going to the same hell at the end of the day. <laughs> is it like is it like a really, really difficult version of Ghost and uh, Goblins? Uh, well, A, Ghost and Goblins is just kind of one of those frustrating games to begin with. But yeah, no. Yeah. Master System games were known for for interesting uh, tweaks to make them harder usually. Maybe the nice way to put it. Also, yes, oh, it is the PS2. No, 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 no. Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! <laughs> wow! Where's the one I need? Where's the one I need? What the fuck? You're done. You're trapped. That was the okay. end. I saw it. I literally saw the end. Oh. <sighs> you could see the fucking thing that the page was on. That sucks. Do I have Beavis and Butthead? No, that's another one I want to beat, though, at some point. Alright, sorry, I do have that game, rather, but uh, I don't have as much of a, let's say, rivalry with it as much as I do with Bart's Nightmare. 
Like, I played it when I got into emulation. I didn't actually, like, rent it. But I loved Beavis and Butthead at the time, so... I forgot to mention it earlier, but the only game I think I can think of that would be, like, a quote-unquote revenge game for me is Shadow the Hedgehog. That's fair. Oh, but, but Shadow the Hedgehog's amazing! Hmm, <laughs> okay. Uh, I remember playing it when I was younger because, like, it's like, oh, Shadow, that's kind of cool. I played it for a bit. So, like, I rented it one time. And then, I think it was, it was Portland Retro. I picked it up in 2017, and I decided to stream it. I did one route, and I was like, wow, this isn't great. Then I did another route, and it just kept getting worse and worse until I was just like, fuck this game, I'm done. It is, I, I, I legitimately couldn't play it anymore. It was that bad. If you like Shadow, I'm really happy for you. I fucking hate that game. I know, I know for a fact there are plenty of people here that love that game. Again, that's great. More power to you. I'm happy. I absolutely hated it. It is Slippy Slide the game, and I love it. Oh my god. that That's what makes me hate it so much! <laughs> <laughs> the controls are, like, so Let's bad. fucking go! Woo! Oh yeah! Yeah! We just had to ignore it. That was the- that's the strategy. Man, fuck Indiana Jones. <laughs> oh... No, fuck Idaho Simpson. We actually did get both pages in one, by the way. Someone just pointed that out in chat. I didn't even realize it until I saw it. We actually didn't continue. Holy shit. Good shit. Maybe we just needed to reset. That's all we needed. Alright. That, so that's one of the really hard ones out of the way. What? Okay, okay bye. Bye, Jebediah. Oh, that's our third pillow. TV, you want to come back? I have some words Turns for out... you. Oh, goddamn it, bullies. Turns out Shadow the Hedgehog is the key to beating this game. <laughs> so me talking about <laughs> my revenge game was apparently the key. Okay. Should have known. Oh, I hate when that happens. Go, go. But yeah, for, for anyone... Know... Go ahead. Oh, I'll take that. No, you go. Uh, sure. I'll let you go first, Cole. Okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> um... Oh, I remember, okay, I remember what's Throws his hands down, uh, the worst one. This game is easy from here on out. And, I mean, we still gotta figure out Itchy and Scratchy too. And we were getting bad, bad luck on Bartzilla too as well. Mm. If we can, if we can get past those two, we are set. Oh yeah, uh, flashing light warning. Oh, right, sorry. Yeah, hang on. A second, thanks for the reminder. Really like the shadow game, assuming you're not trying to get all if you're trying to go for all A's in that game, God have mercy on your soul. Oh, that's a hard thing to do. That I can agree with. But yeah, the one stage I got stuck on, it was one of the um No 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 Oh my god, that was so lucky. Uh, but yeah, it was one of the eight carrier stages, and I kept falling off the the platforms that were falling because the controls were fucking slippery. And I was just like, fuck this, I'm done. Three. Four. The stages I remember hating were on the bottom side of the, uh... Yeah, that's the, the worst layout. part. Yeah, yeah, that's the worst part. I never did the worst stages. Which is funny. No, 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 God. <laughs> I know where there were the stages that were, like, super fucking long and had Six. no map. Yeah. Nice. <sighs> da, 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 da. Sounds like Sonic Unleashed on PS2 Eggman Land. I mean, that Eggman Land in, like, Sonic Unleashed just sucks. <laughs> it's fun as hell in Shadow, though. Who was right about running in the middle of the road is what summons the TV. Like, they were dead on on that. But we gotta be careful, because he just seems to run at us straight on if we're here for too long. Also, Megan, you're correct. I think you just need to get every- you just need to get every ending to get the final story, correct? It's just, you have to get all A's uh, if you want to get, like, the expert mode. Bartzilla. Oh, for Shadow's true ending? All you need to do is face each end boss once. So every boss at the end of every- at the end of the line there. 
I thought I was to get all ten innings. You think there's ten endings? Yeah, there's way more than ten innings from what I remember. <laughs> In Shadow? There are 326 or something like that. It's based it on the specific order you go, it changes oh. small details. Oh, oh, wait, really? Yeah. Yes. As someone who has done over 250 of them, I can attest. That's so fucking unnecessary! They were trying something The names different. are hilarious, though. <sighs> There's a lot of funny names for them, though. I just hate Shadow, okay? <laughs> but I all hail like Shadow! It's a good no. song! The Crush I know that's a different better. game, but I'm still saying it. It's still it's still Shad it's still Shadow the Hedgehog, it's just they redid it in 06. Oh, you know what? Uh Bleach Bumber's right. You have to do every stage and face every boss at least once. Okay. Right. We're so close. Come on, game. No, let me through! No. Come on, the shrink rays around here somewhere. Damn it. <laughs> Thank you, Camille. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Page five. A list of all three. Camille, why? <laughs> of course, Sonic Retro would have that. <laughs> These names are great, though. Machine, machine. I love machine, machine. That's double the machine. <sighs> Miracle of love, the world's demise. <laughs> this one just called imperialism. <laughs> Marge, would you please kindly fuck off? Oh boy. Oh boy. I've done oh it, boy. Sonic. I've created the greatest empire in mankind. The British Empire. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that lady just threw a cat out the window. And that we're, we're like abuse? 60... We're like 60 stories up at this point. They always land on their feet. Uh, I, I don't think they're going to survive that big of a drop, though. They'll land on their feet. I, I, I said they went... I did not say they would survive. I said they would land on their feet. Ah, oh, shit. Almost. No, 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 we're so close, come on! I was just a baseball, come on! Okay, let's try this. You fucker. Wow. Really? Yep. Well, you got those done. Uh... Well, we still did get one page out of that attempt, so can't complain too much. Will you resummon a page for me if I do this again? Because I didn't. Oh no, I got a page. I got one off that, so that will count. Damn. Oh shit! I just want to jump over the damn basketball. I think after all that talk, I think I might can just I have to be shadowed this year. Can I jump over the <laughs> basketball? I think beating Shadow has to happen this year. I think I, I think I just need to do it. <sighs> now I just need this to wear off. Anytime this wants to wear off, I would really appreciate it. Thank you. No! <gasps> yeah, that sounds about right. Wish. Oh, come on! Why are they so annoying to fight? Don't force myself if you really don't want to do it. I mean, I've thought to myself, I'm gonna have to do it eventually. Like you, so. fucker! <laughs> He's over blood, <laughs> dude. It's in fucking insane. So I was right, if I'm off the street, he doesn't auto-lock onto me, but if I'm on there, he just goes right for me and runs away. <laughs> Obey traffic safety. Yeah, I didn't realize it was a traffic safety TV that was going after me. Well, that's not gonna help. 
Oh, come on. Ugh. Did we already get the page for getting rid of them? I think it's maybe as a frog. It's definitely going better than the last run so far. I uh, mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you got past, you got past, like, all the Indiana Jones stuff. Getting That's past Indiana better. Jones was surprising. I didn't expect to do, pull that off. Oh, get out of there with that nonsense. Clearing those heads just makes the weirdest noise. You know, like the brow, brow, like pseudo no, lightsaber no. sound? No, can't say I do. Nope, lost I would also it. kind of appreciate if they would uh, not be as frequent either. Yeah, no, I would appreciate that a lot too, trust me. <sighs> TV, please show up. You are a guaranteed page. About the TV, it might be worth to try again. In the IGN guide, it says it does not pop up a new page. It might be the first few, but when you get to page eight, it doesn't do anything at all, but gives you points. Yeah. Interesting. I heard you that time, fucker. Uh, Bartzilla or Itching Scratchy? Let's just get the let's just get that out of the way. And you can't do those back to back, can you? No. Mm -mm. All right. They specifically can't be done back to back, which they're—it's a weird exception. At least Etchy and Scratchy well, one's pretty easy. Well, the Etchy and Scratchy. After, after you do the Etchy and Sketchy ones, what's the last one you have to do? Etchy and Scratchy. Afterwards? Itchy and Scratchy. Sorry. Uh, there's two um, Itchy and Scratchy ones, and then Bartzilla two. Oh, okay. Is that it? Oh shit, right. I think so. Because we're at five Good pages Bartman. currently, right? This would be page six? Yes. Give me them one ups. I feel this game would just be infinitely better if it just didn't have the oh. overworld with the school bus and yeah. Jebediah heads. I, I mean, there's well, so many things that would make this game better if they weren't in here. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's better, it'd be better without the fire. <laughs> Round one went terrible. In 90 minutes, we got to six pages and then we just got combos. All right, well, that's why I'm trying to beat it. I want revenge. I tried beating it all the time as a kid. Yeah, what's up? Alright, I'll check. I am i don't have a break for a while, though. He's good. Kitty. Okay, can do. Love you. Reese has gone to bed. There's a cat on the loose. Yep, he's guarding the neighborhood as he always does. Making friends with the skunks. I, legitimately, every time I smell there's a skunk, I'm like, oh man, where am I gonna find Bagel? And usually he's just hanging out with a skunk. Comes in completely clean, doesn't smell bad at all. And I've always heard that cats don't, like, skunks hate dogs more than they hate cats. Like, they kind of tolerate cats, but they, they hate dogs. So I don't know dogs what in the world that cat does, but man, he makes some interesting friends. He's the bad boy kid at school. He makes friends with all the juveniles. <laughs> I like the idea of Bagel being like a Disney princess that someone pitched before. They're just like, yeah, he's, all the animals are his friend. He's a Disney princess. Come on, how did my projectile miss but theirs didn't? Get out of here. Oh, get out of here. How did that miss? What? Hit detection is again not again, this game's non-existent. Strong yeah, no. All right. 
Alright, last area. Alright, let's just stay up here. Let's just do what we did last time we were in the kitchen. Calm down. Some yeah, heavy Bart, breathing Bart's there. Bart's got like a high adrenaline right now. Like he, he's about to have a heart attack. I was gonna say, Bart, you might need to calm down a little bit. You're breathing a bit too fast. Yeah, he doesn't want to get killed. He's been burned alive what three times so far since we've been in this house. Find your happy place, Bart. Find your happy place. <laughs> this is where I live. Why is where I live trying to kill me? Nowhere is safe. Page six. So what is it? Is it this minigame and it's this minigame and Bartzilla? Which is funny because I actually, la when I last played this game, I got that Bartzilla one down pat. It's funny how I can't just figure it out this time. I'm getting bad luck on it. And like, we're not too far in the game yet because like the basketball's not going stupidly fast yet. Yet yeah, we have six pages. Yeah, so I think it's just based on either score or just how long you've been in the damn game. Probably length. Alright, so one thing we might want to try next is being a frog and getting caught by the bullies, because it looks like we got a page off of that once. Like, there are specific page triggers, I just don't know any of them other than the ones we've- the few ones we've figured out so far. Oh, does the mud stop me? I don't know. And there's the TV again! Oh, I'm right of gum. Shit. And that's what spawned earlier. Crap, crap. I think it's like every five of these guys you jump over, you get an item. It might be more than that. But also, like, one of the items can just straight up be... Uh... The hint to where the page is. Speaking of pages... <sighs> Alright, here we go. Let's try Bartzilla again. Do you get any bonus points at the end if you collect all the pages and win? I don't know if you get bonus points for doing it, but you get the ending if you get all the pages. So if we want the A+, um, the best grinding strategy I've seen is in Itchy and Scratchy 2. Problem is, we have to get to the boss of Itchy and Scratchy 2, which is already kind of annoying. But we have to get there specifically with the fire extinguisher. So that means it's not taking a hit for... Three rooms? Oh no, come on! Apparently I was too high to grab the ledge. I don't know if it's three rooms, I think it's two, but it, we have to hang on to it for a bit, yeah. And then if we can do that and we can get to the boss, we're home free. But this part is... And giving me more trouble than I expected. There's twice now he's done that. Just immediately opens the window where you are and just drops a TV on you. Oh, come on, come on, come on. No, come on, I don't have enough time to dodge! Okay, we gotta get this. Fuck! Dude, we are just getting denied wow. on this. Why are you in the very top one? Fuck off! <laughs> what? <laughs> this is so annoying as it is! Ugh. Really? Arden Jesus, not on your side. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, we have gum again. Okay, good. Thought we didn't. The worst part is, if this keeps happening, we're gonna run out of easy pages. Like, we're, we're gonna get in trouble in the same situation we had before, where we're just struggling to find a page. Oh, who's raiding? Yo, Smite, how's it going, bud? 
Hey, Smite. We're trying to beat Bart's nightmare, and unsurprisingly, it is fighting back. We're so close, though. We're so damn close. Smite, thank you for the raid. Come in and enjoy as I suffer attempting to finish Bart's Nightmare. We have page six out of eight in our possession. We have two left to do. But I'm getting nervous because OBS is suddenly saying that my stream is in the yellow and red. Oh yeah, we're dropping Ooh. frames. Uh-oh. Oh, don't fucking uh -oh. drop frames now. Yeah, I'm, ge I'm getting some drop frame warnings. Uh-oh. You can kill Cocom feed if that's necessary. Uh, if it becomes necessary, I will. Like, like uh, OBS is, you know, when it says KBPS, like it's showing yeah. multiple colors, which is frightening. All right, it's gone back to green. <laughs> now it's in yellowish green. It's, yeah, it's dancing. I'm, it's dancing. It, it's showing its pride. <laughs> at the most frustrating time. It's showing its pride. It's pride in <laughs> fucking murdering me. the stream. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, which do we... Uh, you know, we gotta do Bartzilla, because I want the chance to try to get those points on Itchy and Scratchy. There's gotta be something I'm doing wrong at the end. It can't just be an RNG... Attempt. Oh, okay, it can be, but I can hope that it's not the case. I love that dancing emote. Because <laughs> what I have to do at the end, I have to get up to where Homer's fist is and electrocute myself, and then if Homer grabs me when I'm electrocuted, that's it, we win. But we have to get to that point, and we have been getting shite luck every time. Ugh. Last run, you had a person open up and drop a TV on you right when you were on their window. Four times. Oh, that was- I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what the hell? Did the same item hit us twice? I think, I, I think, I, I think you got hit by Marge and then you got hit by the item. It must be, it must be. That, that, because I think most of the other items bounce off, so. Oh my god. It just really looked like the same item got us twice because it was traveling with us. Move, 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 move. Oh. Okay, how are you supposed to dodge that? Yeah, you're not supposed to. Like I said, it's basically RNG. If I stop, if I am more careful, oh my maybe. God. There's just, there's just some situations I can't get out of. Just straight up. What? Just straight up. There's just situations I can't. There's nothing I can do. Oh my god. Ah, oh, I didn't want the damn suit for once. All right, whatever. All right, first thing you're doing in the VR stream on Wednesday is that you're gonna load up a blank room with a Super Nintendo cart of virtual, or <laughs> not virtual card, parts of Nightmare, and you're just gonna smash it. That's all you're doing. <laughs> Just a solid half hour of just smashing a Super Nintendo cartridge. Not gonna that lie, would... a little tempting. It it would be probably. Be it's just those old screensaver games where you could destroy your your desktop. 
<laughs> but it's just specifically with a, co a copy of Bard's Nightmare. Excellent. There's gonna be things in VR chat where it's just like physics-based stuff that you can just destroy. Camille, no, I'm good. I, it's just, it's just we just need to get lucky. That's the thing. We had a, this run has been stellar up to this point. Yeah. One thing, if I ever get a VR headset, I want to play Yu-Gi-Oh in VR chat. Oh yeah, I've seen footage of that. I'm, I know you can do it, and I want to do it. God damn it! I can't. He he moves slower up and down than he does left and right, and it really messes with me. Whoa! Whoa! Ugh, do we chance it? I think we do. Damn it. I don't think we got any health off of that either. Alright, let's try Frog Bully, I guess. Frog Bully. Bully Frog. And of course now they're never going to show up. Oh, oh no. crap. <laughs> the one time! Which They're means the bullies up. are now about to appear, yeah. That's, yeah, I've been expecting it, to be perfectly honest. There we go. He's ready for that time. But I can't hit the button that fast if it doesn't respond that fast. Oh. You jackass. <laughs> Get out of the road! I... I just want the basketball game. Shamrock, Get out of the road. I, Shamrock, I Fuck. don't think this is a good way to teach uh, street safety. Get out of the road. No, come on! The one time? Are you kidding me? Wow, this game is a bitch. You fucker. Get back and go! <laughs> Is there a way to save progress? Are you kidding me? No! Of course there isn't! Someone asked earlier if this game had continues and I just laughed. That's basically the exact same response that would get. Ugh. And we're, now we're starting to run out of health. Yeah, now we're starting but, to run out of health. Then you you lied then. The game does have a continue. You have the pillows. That's Well, that's not a continue continue. That's just like a reboot, essentially. It's a literal safety blanket. How was that not clear? Dude, it's just not giving me... Anything right now. Come on, please. Where are the bullies now? Like, this is when I need them to show up. It's the only reason I'm even staying as a frog. Alright, whatever. Wait a minute. <sighs> what? With crossing the road as a frog and then having the bus come by one. Why is that door see through? Why am I see-through? Why are you see-through? Um... Oh... Oh... Well, I, think, I think the game's getting mad. Oh, or no. I'm getting mad and I'm manifesting dis game-destroying bugs. I'm gonna assume oh, it's a little no. of all- th This better still be solid. Ah, we're never gonna get a chance to fucking check that. We're never gonna get a fucking chance to check that, because Marge decided not to let us. Yep, still works, although my sprite changes a lot. Uh, oh, oh, no. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. This isn't distracting at all. No, what are you talking about? All right, uh, notes for all you lore takers. Uh, John's anger manifests as glitches. Thought that was already established. Just confirmation at this point. I guess. I guess. I feel like we're establishing all the lore lately for all the alts. And myself, apparently. Okay, I just we might just have to go slow. Nope, nope. <clears throat> the game really likes to just jolt up suddenly. 
That's because it's telling me like you're in range. Oh god, I can't even see where I'm supposed to go for. I got it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> May the power of glitch. Uh, Bart, your homework may not work. Your homework may not work for what you're trying to do. It's missing some pieces. It would be the glitch that we got through. It would be when we glitched the fucking game. <laughs> so good. So good. All right. All right. So, we are now on the final page. We can get... We have gotten to the boss before. This is entirely possible. However, if we somehow beat the game with 125,000 points, we actually get an A plus on our homework and we get the best ending, even though it's just only a slight difference. We get an actual ending if we get all eight pages, but we get an A plus and the best ending if we can pull that off. There is a grind point on the boss of the Itchy and Scratchy page. Uh, but we need a specific weapon for it to work. So if we can get there, we'll push for it. But I don't, like, I don't think I'm gonna, like, die if we don't get it, if that makes sense. Yeah, if we get I, it, we I'm, get it. I'm, I'm just don't. saying wishful thinking more than anything at this point, I feel. At also, this point, I am getting need... points for also jumping over these guys, but I think it's also the points that are fucking me over. I think straight up it's actually your, the higher your score is, the harder the game gets out here in the nightmare. Mm. I mean, that at this point, sense. once you beat the game, that's like, that's what you're looking for, man. So. That, what I want is to beat the game, yeah. It, anything else is a perk at this point. Oh. <laughs> well. But right now, the real issue we have is we can't seem to get... No, 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 no! I will take the hit at this point, because I'm trying to get that... Okay, I only wanted one hit, not two. God damn it. Skinner, fuck off. I don't want to go to church. No. No, I was in... Uh, I don't want to go to an unforgettable luncheon. Okay, what do we do? Do we hope that the... Um, that the uh, TV will drop another page? Do we just hope we get lucky with something else? We didn't get Frog and Bully yet, so we know that one should still be available. I thought they, uh, one of the people said, or was it you, Cole, that said the TV won't drop a page on the final one? There was Cole. somebody else who was talking about it earlier, so... Okay. Oh, that's gonna be a hit. Just afraid of that. Nice, 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 nice! Oh, not as nice! No, 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 oh. no, no, please steal his bomb! No. Okay. I hate that I have to jump on the fucking page. Just let me walk on it. One more! Oh, okay, so they're both just yellow. Yeah. Are the Red Z's bad? Yes, they are there to break the, uh, the bubblegum bubble. They're literally meant to prevent you from getting health. Oh, that's the wrong button, John. Uh-oh. Fuck. Go, 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 go. I don't get how I can- Right, that happened last time. That pissed oh. me off last time, too. God damn it, come on! I just want to be free of this. Ugh. <laughs> How does that even? Wait, no. You're not supposed to win. I'm supposed to get my egg points. Wait, no. No, come on. What? I just want to get to the one-up spawner. No, 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 Get the fuck out of here. They're not gonna spawn one-ups unless they have projectiles. I hate this. I hate this. We're gonna fail this. Fuck! Oh, thank God. There's one. There's two. Oh. There's three. There's three. Oh. It's not spawning anymore. Three is all you get. We need more. We there's no way we can beat it with just these three. Why? 
do iframes not work in this game? <sighs> and that takes away my attack, too. Stay above the vacuums. I, trust me, I tried. Ugh, all right. Well, we know this method works, but now we're out of lives. The guy says that there is a chance to get extra lives in the third part. In the third part? Okay. Yeah, the the lamp to the left, specifically. Lamp to the left. All right, well, we got to hang on to, I assume, the, the plunger gun here. I think we lost it immediately when we got there last time. Well, the fire extinguishers are the next part. Oh, that's true, too. Are the bubbles not even worth points? No, they're not. That's so weird. That was a Bubble very like, loud hey, hey, and dangerous plunge. Bubble gonna be like, hey, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, fuck! I almost got you. I'm almost gonna get you. Almost there. Almost there. Nope. Nope. Not even close. Ah. Fuck. Mere seconds of existence, and you deny him the right to live. He's trying to murder me. I'm not one to choose one's purpose in life. If he came in peace, I'd be like, yeah, sure, live, live your best life. But if, if your if your immediate thought is, I'm born now, let's murder that small child, probably probably gonna take offense to it. Okay, how did we lose this last time? Something got, oh, that's what happened last time. And I missed? Fantastic. No, 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 get up. Get up, Bart! Bart, what for the love of God! Is that wow. horse shit! So, it's, so here's the thing again. Jumping does not go up. It goes along the plane, so any projectiles above you are now on you. It doesn't understand your Y position. Bleh. Or like, a, an actual like, I guess in this case it would be a Z position. Bleh. Fuck! I jumped again like an idiot! Get out of here. Okay, so it can reach me down here. It can reach me down- Uh, I don't think it's gonna spawn any one-ups. I think we're fucked. It's not spawning one-ups, we're fucked. Yeah, it's just giving points. Fuck. <sighs> Sigh. No, it's supposed to spawn the one-ups like immediately. Like there's a set amount of time it will it will spawn one-ups for you. That's how it's supposed to work, anyways, but as we've seen, not everything works the way it's intended in this game. We gotta get the page off of doing that, right? So this isn't gonna do anything. Hmm. Well, again, the good thing is that this is it. This is the last page that we need, so... It's not like we need to worry about bullshit RNG, for the most part. It's about actual manipulation now. We just have to keep our health stocked up enough, and we need to figure out where the fuck that page is. Oh god, did you see how much that sped up suddenly? Yes! A little bit. Lisa, Lisa, please, Lisa, this is like the perfect time for you to- You have got to be kidding me. She's not gonna show up now. Lisa, for the love of god. And the bullies are speeding up now! Neat! What? Great! Fantastic! What the fuck? You think you can outrun us? Risking it. Ugh. 
Yeah, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. We can lose this. We can very easily lose this. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, oh, no! 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 <laughs> what the fuck? What just happened? Lisa's scared of the bubble, and uh, because the bubble was positioned exactly above my head, the one that's supposed to free me couldn't stay there. I thought we were about to get soft locked for a moment. I did too, and I got very scared. This game is horseshit. This game is horseshit. Oh, no. Get we're back. learning a lot. Get back. Get back. Get back. We're learning a lot of things today. Oh, we sure okay. are. And I hate everything. All right, here we go. What 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 is it me me being here and it's always just games that just cause you frustration. It's it's also the revenge theme which is all games that cause me frustration. It's not really tied to you being here at the moment. It's just my childhood. You have a lot of pent up aggression. You fucking think? Oh, <laughs> hey, at least the life's right there. Yeah, at least there's that. Come on. All right. Well, we've got four lives. We know being above the vacuums doesn't damage us, for the most part. It's just when- oh, but we have to go back anyways, because there's one that stays over by the piano. Oh, 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 oh fuck you! Oh, fuck you! I thought that got me for oh. sure. Oh, we are so lucky on that one. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, okay, come on. Part two. Okay. Oh, what? It fucking spawned me on the hammer. Oh. That's rude. I don't think we've done this with the hammer. Uh-oh. Oh, they're... Okay, they're not insta-kill. I thought they were for a second. I got very scared. This game does not want to be finished. Mm -mm. Like every, I know every game we've done for Revenge so far has fought us tooth and nail for the most part, but holy shit. This is going to go down kicking and screaming. Yep. 100%. And again, I still stand by my stance. I think Virtual Bart's harder. Because somehow it controls worse than this does, which is saying something. I have an alternative. And that is? They're both bullshit. I mean, yes, but I'm saying one is more bullshit than the other. Also, this game at least gives you the illusion of choice since it gives you two doors to pick from. Virtual Bart is literally, yeah, here. You can, you... Virtual Bart is stupid because one of the options is straight up on the roulette, lose a life. Just straight up lose a life. Forgot about that. If the game, if you have too many lives, the game punishes you. Absolute insanity. Staring at you from the you're doorway. Gonna, what the fuck you think you're doing? You're gonna be driven insane by this music, John. Oh, I love the song. All right, here we go. Okay. Nigga, ha, ga, ga, ha, ga, ga, ga. Put you right next to the fuck hammer. yourself over there. Yeah, oh, that's shit. why I was making those noises. Because <laughs> that realization <laughs> hit. Oh, okay. Oh. We have to be careful about when they show up with the bazooka. And right, the bazooka. Throw. I don't think they can reach us when we're up, like, up at the top top, but, we s yeah. We still have to be careful in case they run in. Ooh. 
Okay. All right. Where do I have to stand for this to work? Here. If I stand here, I can get all the points we need. It will be slow, but it will guarantee what we need. I think that it's story time at this point. Does anyone have a story? Because we're going to be here for a bit. We have four lives, which is good, but I think if we lose the fire extinguisher, we're in trouble. And as you can guess, that is fire. So that will fuck us up if we uh, get 130k? I thought it was 125. I literally, like, I, I looked at a long play to see what the number was, and they said, yeah, get 125, and I think they ended at 127. What do the watermelons do in the overworld? Uh, they shoot seeds, and those seeds can destroy the TV. I think we're gonna turn down the sound, because I am not digging this, uh... This, oh, I also just realized flashing light warning's still up. Oops. That's been done for ages. I think they're daring you to get 130k? I mean, I don't need a dare. I think they might just be saying that for safety's sake. I mean, well, since this only needs one hand, I'm gonna use the other hand to check Google and or in that long play and just see what their actual ending score was. Uh, I'm not seeing anything for a score. I've seen a few people consistently say 125,000, so... Okay. Let's just assume it's that. Oh, man. This is a bit unnerving, not gonna lie. <laughs> well, I'm out of range of them. I'm fine. Ugh. I'm, it's, sca it's scary, though. Like, it really is. Cause you... You loot... You know, I'm not even gonna say it. Never mind. YouTube world record Bart's Nightmare A plus grade. What's their score? Uh one two seven nine six five. And they got an A plus, so. And I assume we get points for actually killing the, the boss here. You're in there. Okay, so here's the question. For those who know this fight, uh, what do I do? <laughs> Shoot him. I'm gonna look at the long play. You narrow that long down, long. thank you. <laughs> it's what I'm here for. Well, here's the better option. What do I do if I lose the fire extinguisher? <laughs> that might be the better question. We've hit our point total. Yeah, I'm gonna get that buffer just in case. Would you, <laughs> would you say the insanity you, of... Go ahead. What do you do if you lose the fine weak extinguisher? Don't. Is that what the guide says, or is that just what everyone's saying? Because I'm seeing a lot of people giving, <laughs> like... Whatever. Yeah, no one's giving me an That's actual answer, saying. basically. I, I don't think there is really a... Just try your best, I guess. All right, I'm gonna, push, gonna I'm gonna push after this group. Let me turn the volume back up a little bit. Let's see what happens. Fuck! Oh fuck! Yeah, I think you kind of just have to like wait until it's gone and then just go back and forth. I think that's why I see, that's why I seen the one play. All right, if that's all I gotta do, then I'll just do that. I mean, this is better than using the damn hammer, I'll tell you that much. It might take a while, but... God, if I knew I was gonna get this many points off of just doing this part, I would've, like... Yeah, I'm getting, actually, points for every hit on that door. 
Jeez. It's only 10 points per hit, but it's still a lot yeah, of points. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. What did, what did Commander Proton take. just put in chat? Can you read that out to me? After the furnace... After the furnace yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Alright. <laughs> After furnace has released the sparks, it will close, and that's when you attack. Run forward, and you should be able to get exactly three hits before it opens up again. When it opens up, you run back to drain and repeat the whole thing. Run back to the drain and repeat the whole thing. So exactly what we're doing. We're, we're doing the actual strategy. Okay. Pretty much. This is taking a lot of hits, though, which is making me a bit nervous. You need to be doing it right. No! Ooh. The animation Ooh. priority is very much a thing in this game. Even if you just have to do two hits. Got it! Oh, Hell yeah! GG. We're done. We're free. GG! Oh. Fuck, I've lost 30,000 points. God damn it. Let's go! Oh. Oh. We did it. Two games. Two Holy games tonight. Shit. The end. The end. Cowabunga! A plus, baby! Woo! Lisa is just like, what the fuck? Yeah, she's like, holy shit, Bart. 149,045. We're done. The game is finished. And we never spoke at this game ever again. <laughs> and now the actual credits. Damn. Thanks for coming, everyone. We're going to be holding a therapy session at the beginning of Wednesday stream. <laughs> <laughs> God dang, dude. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Oh, God. That one, that one evaded me for decades. That is so nice to have done. The people who voted yes, enjoy your points. And because we got the A+, that is in fact a complete and not a beat. So Yo. we never have to play that again unless we want to. I want my points back. Give me my points back. Uh, <laughs> this is my first time here, and things really are as chaotic as the stream highlights. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Firestorm, welcome to the stream. It is exactly as advertised. This is an intervention. We need to get you to stop playing terrible games for revenge. Dude, no, this is all shit from my childhood. Like I said, this is the, like, yo, childhood me. I fucking got you back, finally. In, like, enjoy I, I, some closure. Yeah, I was just like, like obviously, like the game is hard earlier, but I, I understand wanting to like have closure for something you've never beaten. So, any other games that need revenge, or was it just the mouse that escaped scot free? I have another like twenty five games written down. Oh my god. <laughs> there's not a shortage, is what I'm saying. In fact, there's still another Simpsons game on this list. But we're Is probably it Bart? no. But we could do that because technically that would be a stream revenge. I think the credits are looping. Yeah, they are. They are. Okay. <laughs> Acclaim development by the Black Team. They were mm. actually. It's actually the Black Team because they're all Undertakers. So they just wanted to make sure that like everyone's souls died as they enjoyed this game, if they did either. Black, the black team more like the black end because they wanted everyone dead from this game. <laughs> the black plague, I believe you mean. The black plague. Well, yeah. I'm playing Dig and Rumba right now, so I say black end. Fair enough. Oh, black end. Okay, there you go. Bart vs. Space Mutants was the, uh, was the other Simpsons game I had on this list. Technically, I could add two more Simpsons games to that list, too. Because my cousin had uh, Escape from Camp Deadly, and I played that a bunch and couldn't figure it out. But at the same time, I know that the Game Boy ones are pretty bad, and I even know uh, Bart's Prison Space Mutant is also pretty bad and bullshit, so I don't want to go through the effort on that. Especially considering I'm only planning on doing Revenge on January. Like, we might bring it back in a later month, but 
This was otherwise, like, next Monday is the last revenge stream. Everything else after that is just whatever. So based on what happened in, in today's stream, the way my year is gonna go about is basically, it's gonna be a fucking hard year, but I will come out victorious. Essentially, That yes. will be my year. That, that is what your year is going to be. Looking forward to 2022. <laughs> Edipta says, I made the egg pack play Camp Deadly. They still haven't forgiven me. Yeah, cause that game is shit. Although I believe there's like an overflow glitch you can do for health and either get like a ton of lives or just like a ton of health. I forget which it is. I'm gonna go beat up 2022. I'm gonna steal its wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I need rent money. To be honest, I came by months ago for Paper Mario with Chugga, but I stayed for the chaos and retro gaming and I haven't regretted it. Yeah, no, chaos is, is not in short supply here. I'll tell you that much. Mm hmm Okay, so here's the million dollar question now. Um, well, first off, can I get off this screen? There we go. Uh, the million dollar question is, do we play a round or two of NHL Stanley Cup? Just to, uh, just to make some more progress on our playoffs file for that, for, for revenge. Yes. We can Would do, like, we can do a short Q&A on that as well if you guys want. Yeah, I'd be down for that. I'm, I've seen a lot of yeses in chat. <laughs> yeah, alright. So, let's say we're gonna do... Oh, actually, the timer says we have about 15 minutes left. So, yeah, let's, let's do another 15 minutes of hockey. Yeah, let's do it. Just want to enjoy that A plus again. Enjoy that A plus. Honestly, just honestly, I'm just even just watching it. I'm glad you beat it. Oh man, I am so happy. <laughs> Fuck, dude, that is just a relief. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie, that that's oh a God. fucking relief. For all, for all the rage in my voice while playing it, and I know I had some, I can definitely hear it and feel it still. Uh, the second we got that final boss and that page showed up, just this wave of like, oh my god, we finally did it, just washed over me. So satisfying. This, that's the feeling that, that's what I used to do, like, in university. I would play hard games, get absolutely frustrated, but the second I beat them, like, I felt happier than I could ever possibly feel. It, it's essentially, like, as a schadenfreude in a way, it's like f getting upset and, like, feeling the pain of beating the game, or at least trying to get to that point. And then essentially, like, using that feeling to supply, like, your, uh, your actual, like, happiness. It's, it's a bit risky, and it, it, you know, it's a little rough, because it definitely does make you feel annoyed if you can't make progress in it, but man, when it feels good, it feels fucking good. Yeah, it's cathartic. <laughs> Everyone's saying it's, cathar it's catharsis, yeah. I it's think that's really a sign good. of a problem. I mean, it kind of is, but, that's, but I, it's not like I have never had an anger issue. Also, I think it's only a problem if it's the only way you get catharsis, or the only way you get, like, that actual happy feeling. Put the game back in its box. Well, if you excuse me, I think I need to go have a word with my doctor. That's always a good sign when someone says that. Any Pyrrhic victories? Uh, yeah. But man, I feel like we had one recently this year, too. I'm trying to remember the fuck game that was. That was a joke, and it was a bad joke. Angel Stanley Cup. Let's play some hockey. You subscribe the entire appeal of Dark Souls. Fair, and that's why I find it so funny I don't like Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's continue our season from last time. The Flames are in game five of their season. Player 14 has 13 goals. Player 10 has 10 goals. Player 26 has 17 goals. Player 20 has four. Player two has four. Because we turned off line changes, so we, it's been the same. It's been the starting lineup every time. You'd probably like it if stamina wasn't part of it? Yeah, I probably would. Oh no. 
Metasonic got Exodia in the first turn on Master Duels. Ooh. Oh no! I mean, it had to happen at some point. Ooh, the goalie's ready this time. Uh oh, this might actually be a game this time. Have any questions, Chet? Yeah, chat, go ahead and ask some questions. Uh, the others will read them out to me, and I'll make sure they get answered. There we go. You assume I know how to read. How dare you? There's a game <laughs> based on that feeling called Catharsis Effect, and it's gotten a sequel. Cool. I mean, I'm not surprised. Like, that's literally, like, the reason people like games like uh, Super Meat Boy and, uh, like, I Want to Be the Guy and I Want to Be the Boss, you know, all those. Because, like, the feeling of getting, like, grounded into dirt and then finally defeating the game feels amazing. Favorite Celeste. hard game? Ninja Gaiden Black. Favorite hard Celeste until Chapter 9. Chapter 9 can fuck off. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I'm not going to get any I goals. Can't I can't think of that. any. I mean, it's also fair to just say you don't like hard games. Like, that's a fair statement no, to make. I've played some. I just can't remember them because it's been so long. So I was asking, uh, John, are you still playing the Fist of the North Star? Gotcha. No, I stopped that like a year ago plus. It was overheating oh, my phone, I so I just stopped. Ooh. If How it counts uh, beating Yakuza games on the, the hardest difficulty. Specifically Zero. I remember that one being bullshit. Fitting you're playing this game tonight, given Calgary Crush the Blues 7-1 to one tonight. Holy shit. Well, here's hoping I can hit get that seven goals here. Like we're we've been struggling to get number two there. Oops, too much. It's the last chapter nine where you want to start doing speed run tricks. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that last time we talked about Celeste. No spoilers, but it gets bad. I, I saw some discussions going on in the YouTube comments, actually, about the Celeste thing, where uh, the point of the game and the the game has an assist mode. So, the whole point of the game is telling you that it's okay to accept help. But the funny thing is that uh, <laughs> the game itself is antithesis to me about wanting to use assist mode for going through them because it doesn't feel the same, if that makes sense. Yeah, I, that's I know it's completely thing. against the point of the game and the story. I am 100% aware of that, but that's a personal thing. Like, I understand accepting help. It's just that's one of the... A game is one of the few situations where I'm like... No, that's not what I want. And the thing for me personally, and again, not going too much in the spoilers, it's I, I feel like the whole the, uh, it's the problem with that. I think is that I think it's also sort of using assist mode, having to use assist mode for this one chapter. It's it's because the whole game is kind of like I'm of the opinion that the difficulty in the gameplay goes hand in hand with the story. I mean, that's so the point. That is 100 percent the point. So it, it's just weird in this one instance where you have to go through and use a system for this one part. If that's the point of it, great. It's just it, I was to the point where I felt like I had to do it without help. But I guess if the point is you need help, then I don't know. It's it's very weird with me. I am also of the opinion they should not have called it Chapter 9 because I think that you should have been required to do both the A, B, and C sides to get it. Because you actually have to. It should to just be like a super prepared. secret, like here's a super secret ending kind of deal. A hundred percent. Instead of just instead of just being named like it's actually part of the story. Yes, I think that naming a chapter nine was a mistake. Oh, or at oh. the very least, shit. Make it downloadable, but don't have it unlock until you've beaten all the other sides. That would have been better. But that's just yeah. my opinion. Yeah, like, I I don't, like, if anyone wants to use the, the assist mode to get through Celeste, more power to you for it. It's just not what I want out of a game. It's not a case of, like, not being able to accept help. It's just a case of this is not the experience I want with a game, which is a completely different argument than what the game's trying to make. Mm -hmm. So Here just to clarify for what, those that are wondering about that. What is your favorite video game merchandise in your collection? Mine is a four-foot-tall Mario store display statue from the N64 era that I found on Facebook. For a hundred bucks Canadian, right before the mean. pandemic started. I from Peggy. Actually, I Peggy actually Jewel. have to think about that a bit, honestly. Um, hmm. I have a few collector's editions I really like. Um, 
I don't have a lot of like merchandise per se. It's mostly just the games themselves. I do like my Lapras plush though, so I'll go with that. Uh, someone gifted me some of the steampunk Kirby stuff, which is really neat. So I've got a couple of plushes of that. Um, otherwise, I'm looking over here. Uh, I don't know if I really have an answer to that per se. Um, official merch, anyways. If I were going like fan made stuff or like Etsy stuff, like I've got a bunch of uh, Lumas that are like little statues mm -hmm. that the, that a group was selling at Magfest, and I love those. Those are great, and I guess a super crown too. So that also works. So I'm gonna say three way tie. The Ori Collector's Edition from I Am Meat Bit. I absolutely love that collection. Uh, the Hall Knight Collector's Edition from Fan Gamer, and the Undertale. Uh, Five uh, uh, the uh, the Undertale complete vinyl soundtrack, which includes five vinyl records, <laughs> and it also has, I believe, um, it actually has a forward from Go. Uh, uh, I think Ichinoshi. Uh, I can I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but he's basically one of the composers for Pokemon. Hang on, I want to go back to the Celeste thing for a second because someone said something interesting, and I want to see people's take on this. I, I pause to so enjoy the instant replay for a second there. Someone said, uh, and of course now I'm not going to be able to find it now that I've said I was going to read it out. Thanks, Twitch. Appreciate you doing that for me. I had it marked off for the side here, and now I can't find it again. But it was something along the lines of, I understand having that stance on the difficulty but uh, and not wanting to use the assist mode, but uh, that also means you forfeit the right to complain about the... Yeah, I, I mean that's fair, but I feel like taking that attitude means you forfeit your right to complain about the difficulty. No. <laughs> that's no. not how that works. That's no. not how that works. <laughs> also, go Ichinoshi. That's what I meant. Thank you, Lundia. I... Again, I, 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 I personally disagree with that fact. I think that... and. Like, okay, again, the whole thing with Chapter 9, and, I, 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 and I'll go ahead and say it again. I think that if the game wants to be bullshit hard, fine. If it wants to take in all the things you learned from all the sides, fine. Don't call it Chapter 9, because that is, in my opinion, not the right name for that for that uh, DLC. It, like, it should have been... It, yeah. Sorry, it should have been called Epilogue, honestly. Honestly, Epilogue would have been a way better name for it. And don't make it unlocked... Until you beat it on the other sides, because you need to do the other sides to understand it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, to, for my point, other difficulty and assist modes existing in a game doesn't negate the actual difficulty of a mode. So, mm -hmm. the fact that there is assist mode in that game doesn't negate the fact that normal difficulty for Celeste can get brutal. That doesn't negate it. It's just meant to be an assist. That's exactly why it's called assist mode. So, and, and to put it, I guess, into perspective a little bit better, too, uh, I'm not complaining about the difficulty of getting to the end of the game. Mm -hmm. I am complaining about the difficulty of getting to the end of the game as the developers designed the default difficulty. Yes. That is what I am commenting on about. Mm-hmm. And, and again, I, I said it before and I'll say it again. Other than Chapter 9, Celeste is, like, my favorite hard game of all time. Mainly the A sides because I feel like it's such a great balance of difficulty and story and gameplay that really works towards the themes of the game. But yeah, like saying that there's an assist mode, even if you use the assist mode, does not negate uh, any complaints towards the difficulty in the slightest. Ooh. Same person says Ooh, the game. It. The game literally gives you the means to get past it, and you're refusing to use it out of personal preference. How is this not your fault then? What? Again, I'm not saying like. I'm not complaining about getting to the end of the game. I'm complaining about getting to the end of the game the way the game is designed without assists. That is it. And to be fair, if it was really meant to be how they wanted you to get to it and not feel any different about it, again, it's worked into the story, which is what makes the feelings about the game complicated. It's the fact that they specifically point out that you're doing that. If they really really didn't want anyone to feel any awkward about that at all, they would just not give it a name. They would just, like, do it automatically. And I know and that's gonna... not what they're going to do for people, and that upsets some people a different way. So it's, like, a whole different argument. But to say that I can't complain about the difficulty because I refuse to use a mode that they are that they add on there, 
that it makes the game easier intentionally, it seems disingenuous, if, if that's what I'm saying. Like, yes, it is a feature of the game to use it, but I want to beat the game my way. And my way is how the game was originally designed. And, and it is still a valid way of playing the game. Mm -hmm. That's why I specify I am not using the assist modes, and doing that, this is how I feel the game is. That's the and, argument I'm having. And also, because we were talking about earlier, is like maybe the story was trying to imply that you're supposed to insist mode. I mean, if yes, that's trying. exactly what it is. The, the literal story of Celeste is there's no problem with getting help. And they're right. But that's not... I. <laughs> this is why but I said I don't like Celeste, because it's not the game for me. It's not a game for me. When I play a game, I don't... I want to be able to do it on my own strength. And the game is designed to... This, this is so annoying. Like, it's the same thing that I don't like about the uh, the assist modes in, like, Mario games and stuff like that, for example. Like, it's, it's cool that it's there. It's great that other people can use that if they want it. But I want to do it on my own merits. And I know, again, this is against the story of Celeste. The point of Celeste is that it's supposed to be, you don't have to do that. It's okay to ask for help. But I do not want help in this. And that's the clash here. I don't think that negates my ability to, to talk about the difficulty of the game, because again, I am talking about the base difficulty of the game. It doesn't negate that part of the argument. And also, and this is more of a personal opinion, if the game was supposed to imply that a system mode was a way being like, oh, you need help, I'm going to be honest, that went over my head then. Because I felt like that making it an option and making it an optional thing, I get it. But at the same time, I always, maybe maybe it's just me being like, going down, like being a very directional person and having tunnel vision. But it's, I don't know. I, whatever, I'm sorry. I, I, I sure I'm kind of angry about this. I felt like we're, we've been going on a rant for a while. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but like I was like, it's the same reason I did, like just did Bart's Nightmare in like a huge marathon and didn't go use save states or anything like that. Because it's the way I want to beat it. The whole point is that also, like, you're... This is also another side of the story, too, for Celeste. And you can look at it this way. Yes, it's also okay to ask for help. But if you want to take the journey, take it the way you want to. Yes. Exactly. There's no wrong way to take any journey for either yourself or for any experience you're trying to have. If you feel you need to do a, a journey a specific way or beat a game a specific way, more power to you. That's how, that's, that is your decision to make. Just as and, it is my decision, if I don't want the help, I don't want the help. And also, Celeste never insults you, I don't think doesn't insult you at all for using a system no, mode anyway. No, it, it, it so doesn't, like, it does not at all, which I will give it credit for that. There are plenty of games that do do that, and it sucks. Mm-hmm. And I think well, that might also be the mentality of why I don't like using the assist mode in Celeste, is specifically because of that. Other games have kind of conditioned me to not feel that way. I should also point out, just in case anyone thinks this, I don't think Celeste is a bad game. I just don't think it's for me. It's not the experience I want in a game. Mm -hmm. And assist mode will not change that. If you could be included as any character in your choice of any game, what would it be? Hmm. Put me in Deltarune. Just, just put me in Deltarune. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so cool. I absolutely love that world, and I love the characters. I, I just can't resist. I would absolutely love being in that world. Or, or Undertale. Either, either, or honestly, just put me in one of Toby's games. Wouldn't mind being in one of the Pokemons or Minecraft. See, part of me is the like, my, my immediate brain went to Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, don't do that, John. You're better than that. So I don't have an actual answer. Pokemon would be neat simply because just to have that experience. But also my mind kind of went, I would love to have the experience of Nathan Drake, but also not have the experience of Nathan Drake, if that makes sense. That guy has like great stories he goes through, but also has the shittiest life. <laughs> You want you want the thrills, but you don't want all the baggage. Yeah, and God, does Nathan Drake have a lot of baggage? 
poor John guy. just wants to be on the beach. <laughs> What's wrong with being on the beach, John? <laughs> What's wrong with just playing some volleyball? I don't know how I feel about the silence here. Sorry, so I, I, I'm my voice is shot right now. <laughs> I was worried. Did I fuck up? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, go to the Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball Universe, but be the guy who sells all the overpriced bikinis. Get rich quick. But they're Zack dollars, though. They're literally currency that only works on that island. And the island gets destroyed in two weeks, so it's just like, cool, I've just got a suitcase of paper now. That's the downside to it. See, the real plan Start is you, you gotta become one of the character, the actual characters, because then at least you get to go on adventures. Or you can be just like, no, just keep me in this universe so I can just stay on the beach for two weeks. I don't even like being on the beach that much. Why the fuck would I want to be in the DOA games? <laughs> <laughs> I like the beach. I we know the real the time, reason. But... It's, yeah, you're right. It's the water slide. I just want to be able to survive the water slide. It's fair. It's a rite of passage. What's the conversion rate from Zack dollars to Bison dollars? Oh, I'm sure it's one to one. I'm sure that's one to one for sure. One to ten. In what's who in whose favor? I'll let you decide. <laughs> or better yet, whoever wins volleyball that day. Is there a day for you and Greg doing Gears of War 2's campaign? Nope, not yet. Not yet. All right. We haven't, we haven't, aside from when he popped in the chat the other day, we haven't talked to each other yet. Favorite obscure old PC game? Halloween Harry. That's when I remember playing uh, as a kid in in the school. Uh, someone snuck it onto one of the school computers. And every now and then I would try it out. That's actually how I played Prince of Persia for the first time, too. People snuck it onto the old computers in the Comp Sci Lab and no one noticed. See, what people did in our school is that there was the, the community folders where we dumped, like, projects and stuff. Someone dumped an entire emulator with the entire GBA library in there. Nice. So we just had emulators on every school Dude, computer. I remember oh I, used to, I, like, I used to put early MAME on, like, the computers in one of the other computer labs. So I would be, like, playing, like, the Punisher arcade game on there when, like, the teacher was out. But I think someone else found it and started playing it and, I got, and they got in trouble. Oh, Damn. No. I also remember getting in trouble. No, this is dumb. This is absolutely dumb, but this is 100% true. Uh, our school had a contest where you could win CDs, like music CDs from there. And one of the CDs that they had to give away was Britney Spears' like, first album, like the one with Hit Me Baby One More Time and all that. And it was a it was an intelligent CD, so like it had like an actual like videos of her on there and stuff like that and I remember trying to install QuickTime 3 or whatever the fuck version came with the disc in the comp sci lab <laughs> trying to just listen to the to the music and watch the videos in in there and I got in trouble with the 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 current tech for the uh, computer lab at the time because of that they're like don't you dare install them like I know what I'm doing he's like no John please stop like I didn't get in trouble because it was the teach it was the school my mom teached at, but at the same time he's like, yeah, just do not do that again. You should know better. I'm like, I know what I'm doing. I'll be fine. Like, no, you know, no one's allowed to do that. Oh, quick. <laughs> then I'm like, you don't want to know what's in all the other computers then. <laughs> but yeah, no, I almost got in trouble because of Britney Spears. I have a weird history with emulation because like I discovered emulation as like, like the first time I remember, I told my dad like, hey, I can download this thing and play this game. My dad was just like, okay. So I downloaded like. It was like a, I think it was, it was Virtual Boy Advance, I think. Visual Boy Advance, that's what it was. Yeah, that sounds right. To play, to play Sonic Advance 2. And then I was just like, oh, I can download all these other games. Oh, I can try these, all the other emulators. And then eventually I felt bad because I found out about like, it's illegal to keep this. And then I, <laughs> I remember I went to one of my parents being like, I downloaded illegal stuff and I feel bad. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for doing that. And they were just like, it's okay, honey. Nowadays, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I was going to say, nowadays, it's like, yeah, piracy is just a thing. 
like I abandonware mean, I'm, I'm, piracy, basically. Like, I, I'm, obviously, I'm obviously not going to download everything, obviously, but my stance is like, there's a reason, like, it's basically companies' fault that piracy still persists as much as it does. <laughs> yeah, it Smite really brings is. up a good point. Remember, it's okay. You're allowed to keep those ROMs for 24 hours. God, I remember that too. <laughs> that I was that's that. I, I believe that's been disproven, or like it's just one of those things that just started for some reason. Oh, it's it's probably some kind of bullshit thing, yeah. But I remember seeing that just being like, okay, plays for twenty four hours. Okay, I'm gonna delete it now. <laughs> I wonder I if I someone remember. actually did that. Like someone genuinely every twenty four hours they deleted it and re-downloaded it again from somewhere else to recharge the twenty four hours. <laughs> I bet you at least one kid did that. That sounds like what? something Emil would do when he was 10. <laughs> I, I remember, though, like, emulation, it, it, like, even even though, like, then I did feel bad, it's it's how I discovered, like, a few other games. For example, the Mario & Luigi series. I played the Japanese version of uh, Bowser's Inside Story when that leaked. I played that on an emulator. That's how I found out about that series. And I remember playing also, uh, I think I played Sonic Rush Adventure also, because I really like the Rush games. And then a couple times I tried Sonic Brotherhood, <laughs> Sonic Chronicles Dark Brotherhood. And that game is not very good. Um, but yeah, it's yeah. I just have a very weird history with it. From like I feel bad to like I'm not gonna emulate anything. To like okay, I'll use emulators, but I'll rip my games. To like fuck it, this is too hard. <laughs> just download the games. Also, emulators were not the only thing that they were put onto the public folders in schools. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, yeah, not surprised by that. That's our, our <laughs> school eventually installed Net Nanny. They uh, they got smart after a while. Mm. Sonic. It's fun walking. It's fun walking into the computer lab and seeing all the screensavers turned to specific images. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and that's when they had to start locking down things for us too. People figured out. It, for us, it was just people figured out how to turn like the screensavers with the text on and just put in swear words. I, I it was just shit at porn. <laughs> uh, honest, yeah, no, porn. yeah, we were we were in junior high. No one was that brazen. Half the students were from the Christian school anyway, so they didn't want to actually test their luck. I'll, I'll say this, Megan, because you pointed out like piracy is the fault for piracy. Always, always, first and foremost, rests on people wanting things for free. And yes, I will agree. Think people will always want stuff for free. But also, if companies are just not going to really... If they're going to keep putting on a bunch of DRM on their shit, if they're not actually going to re-release their games, Nintendo, it, then people are going to resort to piracy. It, it Here's the thing. There's good reasons for piracy, and there's bad reasons for piracy. That's that's yes. the best stance on it, essentially. Mm -hmm. and, and essentially, what is considered good and bad for some people can be razor thin, and for other people, it can be a mile wide. It's, it, a, it, like, it, it's an argument that's been going on since piracy was even discovered for, for software. So, like, it's one that there's no point kind of getting into simply because no one is going to be happy with any answer. My stance is essentially, like, yeah, if it's abandonware, fucking go nuts. Uh, if it's software, you... this Like like I said, it's abandonware is, like, an easy, like, fucking go for it. Like, I think if Nintendo's going to get upset that any system they don't support anymore, people are playing, like, Dolphin and GameCube, like, why? Like, if anything, that should be showing, like, people want this stuff, Nintendo. Make a legal way to access it. But also, like, I, I'm i also the opinion that the reason why these companies do this is, like, and again, this is only speculation. I don't, Like, lots of companies, the reason they do this is not because, like, oh, we're stopping piracy. It's because they want you playing their games on their systems. Mm. Oh, yeah, Meg Megan, I'm just talking about in specifically in, in the software sense. I'm just talking yeah. in that sense. Yeah, yeah. Emulate, like, in my opinion, piracy, at least in terms of, like, video games and maybe even in terms of, like, movies or books, is ultimately a necessary evil because it's probably one of the biggest tools we have in, term of, uh, in terms of preserving any form of abandonware or anything yeah. that's been lost to time. Media preservation, and honestly, there are, in some cases, like, it's the only way for people to even see certain things. Yes, yeah, like even with new stuff. That's that's why I'm like, I don't get super mad at people who pirate brand new stuff, even though I'm like, well, if you can afford it, please support it. But like, if you are never going to get a chance to see this for like three years or something, and this is the only way, then I'm like, all right, you've got a, you've got a case that I think is viable. But again, this is where the whole like a game of inches, the whole thing comes in. Like, this works for some people, but now you've said it works for this person, so why wouldn't it work for this person instead, et cetera, et cetera. It, it becomes this whole messy argument. Someone, uh, someone pointed out in chat, this is why cloud gaming is bad. I don't think cloud gaming is entirely bad as long as it's a supplement 
to PC and consoles. When you get into stuff like Stadia, that's where I have a problem. Because any games that are exclusive to that platform, once that service is gone, they're gone forever. So, like, th that, that is the extreme that I hope we never, ever adopt. Because if games just end up being on a server, then uh, preservation is essentially dead. So It's not dead. De uh, it's not dead if you can get the source files, but it is going to be complicated. It's going to be way harder. So, yeah. But yeah, that, those are my stances. Yeah, sir, the phrase I was trying to remember was give an inch, take a mile. That's that's the one. Someone in mm -hmm. chat just mentioned it, so. Oh, come on. Get, get that puck out of there! I did a bad. Camille, what'd you do? What'd Camille do? <laughs> Hold on. Not on there. Look at the Discord. Hang on, I'm playing hockey. What am I, what am I looking at? I don't see anything. I don't see anything either. Uh, I mean, my Discord's lit up. Maybe she DM me. I yeah, will check once I hopefully get this goal. There we go. No, that's Bubba. Uh. Oh. Did she I get it. Change her name. I get it. I get it. Check the li oh. <laughs> she changed the live room to fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm like looking at my DMs. I'm like skimming through the mod room. I'm like checking the user list. Checking everywhere but where I'm actually supposed to, apparently. <laughs> I retaliate, Camille. Oops, that was a mistake. Oh, no, we're good. All right, let's get this one, hopefully. Damn it. 11 to 1 against the Winnipeg Jets. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh. Sorry, we're having. Sorry, we're having fun in, uh, in the Discord. What exceptionally exciting NHL action. Our final score was 11 to 1 in favor of the Flames. Let's see this game stats for the Flames. Five goals for player 14, 10 for player, or sorry, five for player 10, and one for player, for hockey member number two. And then one goal for number 27 from the Jets. Player 14 of the Flames got a hat trick. Player 10 of the Flames got a hat trick. Please tune in again for more awesome NHL action. All right, I think we'll tap out here then. So we're seven games into a season. I assume we have to play each team once and then the actual playoffs start. Probably. I assume that's how this game works. You must play every team three times. <laughs> must take an actual total of, what, eight months? Is that how long the hockey season is? Other teams you like besides the Flames, John? I mean, I, I cheer, cheer for the Flames because I live in Calgary, but I used to cheer for Dallas, of all teams. I don't know what it was about the design. I just really liked it. I think it was back when they had, like, the stark black with the, uh, with the green star on it. Go figure. Something with a star, huh? Ugh. Sorry to disappoint, but if this is based on the real NHL of 93-94, that'd be an 84-game season. I don't think it goes that deep. <laughs> I don't think it goes that deep, thankfully. God, I'd hope so. For some reason, I don't even I think won't. it's against every team. I think it's straight up just your side of the conference. then let's drop some eggs I hive thank you for the gift subs gamer JG for 61 little glitch game for 45 lazy cat Rye for 23 wild torterra for 48 evil J Brian for 39 and soma Somaria moon for 39 thanks for seven folks your eggs tonight are courtesy of I assume it's just the classic in the carton actually the carton might be full I might have this no it's still got room Yep, playing the classic. You will give me an egg. All right, is there even anything? Oh, no, there's a couple things in that block. Never mind. 
There's about a row in Art Block. So, not even that much. So, for any of those that are going to bounce, schedule for the week. Again, Wednesday is a whatever Wednesday, so we're playing whenever I want. Uh, but we are also focusing on VR. Because we're going to see if we can get our VR setup working on stream. So, this is more of a test than anything. And once I can't handle that, because my eyes will... If my eyes get too tired, which is entirely possible, because VR is very taxing on your eyes, uh, we'll probably just shift to whatever games I'm in the mood to play. It won't be game clearing, it'll just be whatever. Uh, Thursday, top 10 perspective, Saturday, fortune cookie, and next Monday, the last of the revenge streams. I don't know what we're going to try to get revenge on next week. I generally don't have anything in mind at the moment. I've got plenty of games written down we could do. But, um, I don't know what it'll be exactly. Let me skim through this. Oh, no, there's a couple more Simpsons games on here that I forgot. I forgot about Krusty Super Fun House. Uh, oof, some of these are just going to be impossible to beat. Or there's going to be, a, like, a pain in the ass. Mmm, mmm, fuck. There's one I really really want to play but it is too long to beat in one stream I'm pretty sure and I would like to pick something that can be beaten in a stream so I might find some way to fit that into a later group is it risk no it's not risk <laughs> damn it is there an act is there a video game version of risk that isn't on steam yeah, there's a bunch. I, I have it at least for... I have a Risk version for PS2, for starters. Ooh. Uh, so, uh, speaking of games that I used to rent or uh, stuff like that, one of my buddies back in the day, he had a bunch of games that I really liked borrowing off of him. Like, he had, like... His family's game choice for him was, like, incredibly wild in, in variety. But, like, he had some actual absolute gems. Uh, he had, he's the guy I used to borrow Turtles in Time off of, so that's how I got to play that game. But he also had Ease 3, Wanderers from Ease, so that's how I got into the Ease series. He had Sonic Blast Man, which was a fun beat-em-up, but although it was really hard. Uh, he's also the same guy that had this cursed Super Nintendo that had, I, I've always wished I could have bought it off him to figure out why. But randomly, games would just not work correctly on his system. My favorite ones are in Mortal Kombat, anytime you punch someone or hit someone, their entire health meter drained and disappeared. They still had health, it's just the health meter itself disappeared, and you couldn't see how much health the character had. It was actually really cool. But my favorite and most messed up one that happened was NBA Jam, I don't know if it was Tournament Edition or regular. For some reason, his Super Nintendo would not let you actually throw the ball if you threw the ball it went straight up in the air and went back into your hands it didn't matter if you passed or if you tried to do a three pointer or just a two pointer it went straight up and back down in your hands huh. the only way to yeah. score in the game was to either Get stand directly under the net and throw or dunk, because dunking still works, but again, I think you had to stand under the net for it to work. So, the AI had no fucking clue what to do, because it was trying to throw three-pointers everywhere. So it was just hilarious to play. <laughs> he also had another, like, another game was, I think, D-Force, he had that, and everything was invisible except the ground. Like, it was incredible. I Like, it had to be missing a pin or something. But like, I was about the, to say, like the glitches that happened, I, fucking top tier. I wonder. I genuinely wonder if he still has that thing somewhere. I, if if I ever go home and he still has it, I want to buy it off of him because it, it was incredible what that thing could do. I was about to say because I've seen some Super Nintendos that have like issues not loading all the sprites, so that would be like why you don't see things. Yeah. But then just completely the, destroying a game of the, CPUs dude, not knowing the, what to the do. The NBA Jam glitch was my favorite. I will never forget that. I will absolutely never forget that. But to tie, to, but to tie the story back together, uh, another game I borrowed off of him was Adam's Family Values for the Super Nintendo. It is a Zelda-like. <laughs> Made oh. by Ocean. Oh, I, no. Yeah. You play as Uncle Fester, and you're going around trying to find Baby Hubert. 
It's based off of the second Adams Family movie. And it was so fascinating. I tried beating it as a kid and I loved the exploration, but it was difficult. Here, if you've never seen this before, hang on. I'm assuming it's nothing like Fester's Quest. No, it like I said, it's a top-down, like, it, it is essentially Zelda, but the Addams Family. Unfortunately, it's Ocean again, which made, uh, what was the game we did for game clearing that was Ocean? I'm trying to remember. Oh, Flintstones. right. Flintstones, thank you. Right, I think this, I think, um, I think I remember seeing clips of this off stream. Yeah, like straight up, yeah, you're yeah. Fester, you shoot lightning out of your hands, and you get it, you have a health bar with three hearts, in this case, three skulls, and you can extend it up to fill up the entire thing. You straight up just, you, you wander around, you pick up items, add to your inventory, you wander around a map, and it, it like, it's oh just, was this fascinating, like, Zelda-like, that I never was able to beat as a kid, just because it's a really chunky game and a really difficult game. Jesus, this is Zelda, holy crap. Yeah, but the big downside to this game, and the, probably the main reason I never ended up beating it, is that your attack strength is tied to your health. Ooh. Oh. And, sorry, let me rephrase that. Not your attack strength, your attack range. Oh! <laughs> if you have full health, you have full range attack. If you only have a couple hearts left, your attack is basically right in front of your face. That was the like biggest that. bummer about the game. It has passwords, and as a result, infinite continues, so it is doable. But anytime you run out of health, you're basically fucked. I like the point of this comment Pentaro, from Pentaro. Fester looks like Sans with skin. Oh god, he kind of does. Why did I uh. you me with this information? Let me, let me just skim towards like a boss fight or something here. And yes, and that's with me knowing there's human AUs in the Undertale fandom. This game got good to mixed reviews, surprisingly. Yeah, because like I said, it is a fun game. It is basically Adam's Family Zelda, and like the writing, from what I remember, is pretty on par for Adam's Family. But um, yeah, no, dude, I remember constantly trying to beat this game and constantly getting walled because like there's no map from what I remember. You just kind of have to figure out where to go. It was big on exploration. And a lot of things you needed to get were, you know, really weird, and they never really explained things very much. Like, that guy, you couldn't get in this warp because he's too fat to move, so you had to make a potion to shrink him down so you could warp through here and get to other locations. Like, it's just... It's just weird. It's just a fucking weird game, which is, I guess, super fitting for Adam's family, but... Yeah, this is one of these games I would love to eventually sit down and beat and I figure it'd be cool for game clearing but it is not a short game like this playthrough of a guy who knows exactly what he's doing is still two hours long and that's knowing exactly what to do and exactly where to go for us it would be two streams I actually really like the sprite work of this game yeah let me let me find one of the other characters because everyone has portraits and stuff like that, too. Uh, let me just... I can just skip to the end, because actually the entire family's lined up there. Yeah, there's there's the entire family. <laughs> the only one I don't like is Baby Hubert, because he really just has Gomez's head completely. <laughs> He's just short, fat Gomez. Despite being a baby. I just noticed, oh my god, the game, this video has 666 likes. That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Cursed. Quick, everyone get it up to 666666 views. <laughs> god damn it, Camille. It's at 65,000 views, so it's actually pretty close to 66666. Oh. Damn it, Camille. I hate it. <laughs> Burn it. Check there apparently is a map in the game, but some people are saying it isn't the greatest. I may have just forgotten it. That is entirely possible at this point. Because I'm talking about, like, I played this back in, what, 94? 95? I guess this says it came out in 95, so I guess it would be 95. Give me all I'm posting in this chat, in the chat, by the way. I just thought I'd let you know. Like, here, like, these are the two games I'm debating right now. 
Uh, Adam's Family Values. The Adventures of Batman and Robin for the Genesis. Uh, and I'm trying to think. There was a third one I had on here somewhere. Where's the third one I want to do? Uh, mmm. Make that a couple more. Wayne's World for Super Nintendo is another one I literally got to the final boss on as a kid and then failed. And then never rented it again. And, uh... Gradius 3. That would be a stream revenge. So, three childhood revenges, although the Batman and Robin's not so much a childhood revenge one as much. But yeah, those four are the four I'm debating on for next week. Tomoyo brings up a good point in the mod room. Wednesday is a whatever Wednesday. So you could do whatever you want. Mm, maybe. We'll see. I don't want to just be like, yep, it's just another game clearing. And the thing I like about Whatever Wednesday is just being like, eh, just want to play this for an hour. Eh, just want to play this for an hour and show off stuff, so. We'll see. I'm still in for the therapy session. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see those 90s Adams Family movies? Yeah, I love them. They're great. They're great movies. I had the biggest crush on, like, Wednesday Adams back in the day. Because Christina Ricci was, like, we were the same age, essentially, at the point. So I was just like, oh, she's super cute. For Greatest 3, would that include being distracted by someone else playing Lion King on SNES? I forget that story. Was that, was that what happened last time we played it on stream? Well, either way, let's start wrapping up, shall we? Because it's getting later and later the more I stall. Yeah. Who is Bluster Kong and why should I be scared? Wait. <laughs> oh, it's the fucking... Ask Maniacal. Uh, <laughs> he will indulge you gladly. Uh, Amy Lou, there's the link for you. Alright, let's wrap up, shall we? Let's read a couple quick alerts and then let's hop over to Art Block. Xander the Goose says, Just about anything would make more sense than the stupid Frozen level. True. <laughs> True. Kermit Mancer says, Hi ho, back in the ni my like I can't I can't hit Kermit voice right now. Hi ho, back in the nineties, the Simpsons were all the rage, so I knew eventually you'd play some Simpsons games on stream. So I made sure that this and Virtual Bart, for that matter, were as terrible as can be. RNG bullshit is my specialty. Ha ha. Well, here's the thing: all the Simpsons games back then kind of sucked. Back then. All the all the NES ones were kind of bad. No, I mean the Simpsons games, all right. Here's the thing: as like you might not like the current Simpsons games. But they're playable. Fair. And beatable. <laughs> uh, fun fact from Commander Proton. Bill Williams, the game programmer of Bart's Nightmare, called it the worst experience of his career. It was apparently constantly being reworked during development, and he eventually left and quit the game industry. I saw that. There's actually, like, straight up an article on Wikipedia for him. From wow. the Bart's Nightmare. If you go to the Bart's Nightmare actual entry on Wiki, there's a separate page just for him about the stuff he did, because apparently he did some, some cool stuff once he got out of game development. Unfortunately, he passed away due to... Uh, I can't remember the actual... Like, a medical condition. He passed away, like, fairly young, but... He had an interesting story from what I saw. Fox McCloud with a mission accomplished again. Bleach Mummer says, The feeling you described upon beating a hard game is how I felt whenever I beat a good hard but fair boss, like, say, Lingering Will. While bad hard bosses that are unfair leave me dissatisfied after I win, likely due to being to using cheap methods instead of skill. Fair enough. Got you there. Pyre Opossum says, Hi, John. Longtime lurker on the VODs here. This is the first stream I'll be able to watch live in full. It's past 4, past 4 a.m. here. One day I'll get the courage and motivation to make stream art. In the meantime, have a beef fruit. Thank you, Pyre, and I'm glad you're enjoying the VODs. Thanks for everyone who even watches on the VODs. 
Uh, I do keep an eye on the comments every now and then, so hopefully you're all behaving. I'll know otherwise. Or will I? I don't know where that was going. Let's let's do our <laughs> Art blog. While, while my voice is down in base mode, let's go to our blog. It's all about that base. Well, it's because I actually did like a two-hour recording for YouTube before the stream a couple hours, oh. so. So Yay. I have I've basically YouTube stuff. Yeah, YouTube's actually coming back again in February. Hooray! Yeah. So, but basically, yeah, my voice has been in perform mode for eight hours today, so my voice is just done with me. <laughs> Come on, second puberty. Commander Proton says he had cystic fibrosis. People that uh, with that aren't expected to live past thirteen, but he lived to be thirty-seven. Second puberty? Oh man, if my voice gets even bassier with second puberty. I thought the whole point was to be the opposite. I thought I was gonna get the boobs this time. I've been lied to. Art block, let's go. Art block starts here with a lot going on in this picture. Chinese New Year countdown challenge, day 25. Jonic, who's trying to grab that orb? Orb, little tiny orb. orb. Meanwhile, Robotnik is painting a tiger slime. <laughs> so I think it's an orb. Third puberty! Oh, even even better. Thank you, Junko. Next up, from Crazy Sunshine. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, you can't simply play a Simpsons game and not have me draw our favorite Canadian gamer in that style. Also, this is what happens when Final Fantasy XIV is down for the night and I'm trying to relearn drawing on an iPad. Don't have a cow, man. Nice. Thank you for the bagel hoodie, too. I think you even did a hi diddly ho on Twitter, too. Thanks, Crazy. Looks great. Next up is Cole. All right. <laughs> from Kyupo. Happy bus day to the goat. May you have many more so you can make Eudiptes age fast before our eyes. <laughs> and then you probably already saw the eventual follow-up. Enjoy mm. the big boob and the big butt. But where are my manners? I forgot the cake on the previous image. Let me fix that. Oh, God. Womp, womp. Thanks, Kyupo. He, he sent this to me to be like, hey, is this okay? And I was like, yeah, this is okay. <laughs> nice. You're good. Well, at least you asked for permission. Thanks, Cupo. Thank you very much, Cupo. I appreciate it. Next up, from that, uh, behold, terrifying, terrifying Rosilla. I was going to do something like Bartzilla, but changed my mind and doodled this. Actually, I think you took the right take on this. I like the, the Kigu look for it. Real cool. Although, that must be, like, the worst Kigu to wear, since it basically can close up and completely cover your head. Or maybe that's just the perfect part about it. That's what makes it better. Are you kidding me? I can completely make myself blind. Or black out everything so I can sleep peacefully. Thanks, Dad. The... God, I wish. Yeah, yeah, Dad even says, that's the point. Yeah, fair enough. The Simpsons, football in the groin, a true story. I love that bit. A football a football in the groin's a football in the groin. No, what's, what's the whole quote? Like, Barney's movie really has heart, but a football in the groin has a football in the groin. <laughs> so stupid. Thanks, Waluigi. Yeah. Someone grabbed a gif of Lisa being extremely surprised. Good intermission gift. It's perfect. It's perfect. I'll make sure that gets on intermission at some point. Borf. From Rhyme. Happy Borf Day, Cole. You are the goat. Oh. You got a little hat. It matches your horns. I really like it, Rhyme. Thank you. This looks adorable. I love it. Next up from Corel Leo. Doodly do for face and hair practice. This is supposed to be the hair design I did for Jessica last week. Yeah, nice. Looks cute. Good job on that. Good proportions on that. Thank you, Leo. Very nice. And the last one I've got here from I'm Not Batman. <laughs> oh. For this session of game clearing uh, are two troublemakers who have certainly made some sort of trouble. Two kids that routinely piss off adults. That is the theme of the games we play tonight. And sports. <laughs> Thank you, Batman. And with that, folks, I think we're done So, No, we're not. Two more. Oh, oh no. It. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait. Oh, oh no. no. Who did this? D'Lo. D'Lo. The world's <laughs> name is Rainbow Connections. 
Kermit, I'm glad we finally found you. We gotta hurry. The Heartless, they took Rolf. I know they did because I was the one that sent them, Sora. What? <laughs> the Heartless obey me now, Sora. Now I have nothing to fear. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> After it came up, I had to leak the storyboards for one of the scenes in the Rainbow Connections world of Kingdom Hearts 4. It's totally legit. I totally didn't just redo one of my favorite scenes in Kingdom Hearts 1 and replace Riku with Kermit. Totally. Oh my god, that is a scene in Cage 1. God damn it! It's beautiful. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. This is fantastic. You're stupid. <laughs> so good. You're stupid. Thanks, Dilo. This is perfect. Oh my god. And last but not least, looks like you got your birthday cake after all from Jumney. Oh hey, how'd that happen? <laughs> the world may never know. Thanks, Jumney. I appreciate it. Shout out to the should have known better tag. Should have known better. I look. You did this basically <laughs> when I announced my persona. So the fact that you did it again, I don't think I should be surprised. <laughs> I, I would like to point out, Jumpy specifically said it's a pie this time. He says that in the chat and also says pie over here. So it's it's not a cake this time. It's pie. Oh, it's pie. It's much better. <laughs> you still get cake from it though. Thanks, Jumpy, for the and pie. Which means it's a specific ingredient that can be contained within cake and pie. It is, but is it butterscotch or snail? I hope it's butterscotch and not snail. I think the answer is all. The answer is all ingredients. <laughs> all cursed ingredients. Oh my god. All right, and with that, folks, we're donezo for the evening. What is our rave message? I was gonna say you're stupid, but that's not a very good. <laughs> that's raid not message. a good raid message. No. Oh, did oh Shroomy just went just How are you went doing, off. Shroomy? We're he damn it. just left. Damn it. He's playing Ocarina of, Time, Ocarina of Time blind for the first time. He's been going insane. Damn, that would have been the perfect target for your stupid. Yep. <laughs> <You're> stupid. <laughs> I'm sure he would have loved it. Uh, guys, we're not gonna do of cults. I don't think they're gonna I see, get it. I see a lot of Bart gets an A plus. I think we should go with that. Okay, so there's a channel in Spanish currently streaming all of the Simpsons. I I was <laughs> Wow, apparently if you just want I'm just gonna show you this. Apparently if you just want to watch the Simpsons on Twitch, all you have to do is type in the word Simpsons when you're looking for a Simpsons game. Cause we got Simpsons, the Simpsons, the Simpsons, Family Guy, and I think that might oh yeah it's Malcolm in the middle for sure. Oh shit, no, 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 I didn't want to watch it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you're safe. Nothing showed up. <laughs> oh, well, that could have been bad. That could have been real bad. We can go right, Patty. We haven't rated him in a bit. I can go right, Patty. Bart gets an A. Plus. That's our raid message. He's currently playing, uh, looks like golf with your friends. Mm, yes? No? It might be a different one. It says mini golf with eye tracker. Oh no, this is not golf with your friends. This is something else. It looks like golf or it? Is it? Or is it, oh, is it golf it? It might be. Fuck monkey ball. Get out yeah, it's golf it. <laughs> Fuck monkey ball. Fuck you, Spider Man! Yeah, Oh, Do you think ball. Willem Dafoe told to Toby McGuire to fuck himself? Probably. <laughs> I see we showed up at the perfect time. Wait, what? <laughs> by, by the way, we're playing we're playing VR mini golf on Wednesday, so I hope you like mini golf. Dude, I can't swing. What do you think? he told him? What a great segue. He's not gonna notice this for a while. He's a little he's a little busy. So let's just wrap up. Love all y'all. I'll see y'all on Wednesday. Thanks for hanging out. Now that we finally beat Bart's nightmare. I feel much better. See y'all next time. Bye.
Holy crap, my voice is gone. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs>